up? This is Reggie the Bad Guy again, live in the kitchen. Let's say it again. <laughs> what's going on? What's going on, folks? It's Wednesday. Wednesday talk room. Shit. I don't know what I don't have. Nothing. I don't know. I'm going to take off. I said, let me come home. It's the end of the month. Let's come home. You know, shoot some breeze, I guess. Wednesday. I think the next two days I'll probably be busy, so um, I might not come home for about two days almost. We'll see. I might come home one. Maybe, maybe. It depends on what I can finish, what I need to finish. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I might be out for about two days. But I do some pre recorded videos. So I'm just, I said, let me come on today again, you know. Let me see what's in the chair. You got Ricardo. Y'all <laughs> <sighs> can hear me good. Should be all right. Okay. That should, that should be a little bit better. That should be a little bit better. Right, right. Alright. Yeah, get on here. Turn the goddamn game up and shit. Um, well, I'm about to get another upgrade, so. Um, <laughs> um hope so. So, um, the only thing we hear, this unit here, is you can't, you can't get, it's not like the Rollcaster, you can, you can actually crank up, crank it up, if I crank it up here, it'll start distorting a little bit, you know, um, so, um, it's not as good for you know, get game. So, um, I'm cool now, but at least I'm on um, Streamlabs so I can turn the game on, on this end. So it's all right now. So, yeah, I forgot. You just won't get on. We use these mics. Sometimes you gotta turn the game up on Streamlabs. A lot of people don't know that. You gotta go into the settings and turn up the game in order to suppress the noise or whatever. And I should do another tutorial on that. A lot of people don't know. Um, because the unit only go so high, you know, going through the streaming platforms, um, they might have it, their own individual game and shit on here. So you go in there and turn that up, and then you turn this down and stuff like that. But uh, that's why people like the roadcast. You don't need to do all that shit, you know, and if you need a cloud lifter, then hey, you know, this is added power and stuff. But all of them still get out done by a $30 mic, $30 head piece. <laughs> they come in louder than everybody and shit. <laughs> That's some crazy shit. Because I was always trying to figure out what, what, why they're louder. Now we know, you know, some people started to figure it out said, okay, they got these, these, these. which is crazy. Let's see what's in the house. Uh, Coma here, what's up? Ricky. Jerry Shaggy, what's up? Alright. 
So, first thing I'm going to talk about is kind of seemed kind of in the morning show. I guess the morning slot seemed kind of empty since the mill is kind of out. And, and um, Logic Fear is out too. I guess he got hit or something. Seemed like today Bernard Riley, you know, I guess some got some of those people over there to his channel. He had about, what, 400 people, you know? Because remember, he had them all in the slot for a while, and then... Every time Romero come back, shit, you can forget it. You know, Romero was almost at, what, 800? Almost 1,000? Where well, he always get hit, man. If Romero can find some way to... Say his rhetoric without offending the powers that be. I mean, I'm sure he can have about 2,000 people up in this shit on the morning show. Blow everybody out. But no, I'd rather have to go. He'd be fucked up. Because they really watch him than Bernard Riley. So I guess people over there now because they don't have no morning slot. What's up, Sandy? So, and then Red Supreme, he just, he just, he's a complete shadow bad man. You know, um, I mean, he was doing it for a while, you know, but now it just seems like he just, they're not going to let him, they ain't going to let up on him, man. And he's not monetized, so that's a bad deal if you can, can't get monetized. You know, maybe you could try on the second channel, but like I said, you know, once you build a rep on here, it's going in on women and stuff. I see. I mean, I know he's not gonna stop talking about Cynthia G or any you other know, women or black women. You know, you know, you know, it's, you know, it ain't gonna happen. So like, this is another situation. You gotta find out how the hell I can get over the hump. Still say my shit without fitting the power to be, cause it ain't, it ain't the black woman now. This this is YouTube shit. Some dude going on a remote pad of kind of messy with his channel up. Oh, kind of mess it, mess the channel up. What you saying? You think Edward got hit as well? Like I said, they, they targeting him, man. You know, all three of them, all four of them, was getting targeted, man. It's just hey, it is what it is. Now, I know it's kind of kind of fucked up. I'm going to say what they want to say, and then the men, you know, they get hit. Man, it's a Jap. He ain't putting nothing out in a while. I don't know what's up with him. It's crazy shit. So, today I'm drinking, this time, be careful. It's harder again, this is lemonade. 8% alcohol, oh, I gotta be careful with this. So, after this, that's it on that. You know, then I got them alcohol creep up on you, but that shit's pretty good. Is it what happened to Freedom, Jalen said, well, you know, Freedom of speech for some, but not all.
And I want the first thing I want to talk about is oh, hit the cash app. One dollar, two dollar, three dollar. One dollar, two dollar, three dollar. Yeah, let's put some in the beer fund. Let's do this, man. Let's get this zombie running, man. Let's get this zombie running. We can see it. We can we can feel it. Let's get it running. He's hungry. He ain't ate nothing in the world. Let him. Let's let's go. Now, next thing I want to talk about is um. Now I talked about it first, but now I got slide. And you know you got um. Ringo talking about it. This is this is Corey Kenshin. I need his brother. They got what eight million subs over here. He's one of the bigger, bigger YouTubers. I mean, bigger, big YouTuber. Apparently, he's uh, complaining of racial discrimination. Accusing YouTube of, you know, racial discrimination because, you know, he got a couple of videos age restricted and his white counterparts, they have about maybe the same sub, a little lesser than him, you know, um, didn't get it. He got it, so it's almost like being in school being downgraded, you know. <laughs> but he's complaining, and I said, I'm going like, how the hell this nigga can complain to YouTube and YouTube is racist when you one of the top dogs on YouTube? I mean, he just get put on the front page, and none of us shit will probably never have our videos put on the front page or even mentioned. On the front page of YouTube, but he said he just. I mean, I'm going like, what the fuck? I guess he do, you know, with children videos, whatever, you know, real watered down videos. I guess to get there. I'm sure none of our stuff will get there on the front page unless you know, the media put a spotlight on the space. And, but it has to be a positive spotlight. Um, that's the only way I could see any one of us getting on the front page unless you just completely sell out and do some cat videos or some shit like that, you know. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, this dude making it, what, at least eight? I mean, the video that he put out complaining got, what, over a million views? Two million with six million views. I guess it was slightly six million. God damn. So Cindy. So Ricky. Nice job. American Negro. Skizzy. No. Oh, come on, man. Shit. You know how much money he's getting off of one video. So this fool probably getting a check. <clears throat> At least thirty, fifty thousand dollars, man. Come on, man. Stop. Every month. Probably rich. Probably more than that. Probably rich. But he's complaining. Well, we've been complaining, but nobody hear us. <laughs> No type of sympathy for him because when you know the brothers over here, brothers in the space, playing the same thing for years, he wasn't saying nothing because it wasn't affecting him. But now, I guess the same thing is affecting him. See, a lot of you, you motherfuckers never stand up for us, the little dudes. Until it start happening to them and they expect us to do the Get on the bad wagon with him. Fuck that. Let that nigga have that shit himself. You see everybody trying to uh, sue all the social media websites. Yeah. You know, so like, hey, that's what it is now.
Let me see. No offense, but to the guy, but I can really feel sorry for someone that about eight minutes sub. Besides, I don't think it's like racism. That's what I'm thinking too. But um, they got their favorites. But you can't go no, there's nowhere else you can go. I don't give them the same money. I'm sorry, but YouTube is a big dog. Just that's what it is. There's no way. Well, you find find me a place where you can go. People try. Tommy tried. Nobody tried. I know every man tried. Came back to YouTube. I'm sitting try shit. That what that mixed little bullshit. <laughs> 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 You don't need ass in the super chat. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thing at the back over here. Ah, missing all that money for years. <laughs> God damn. Now, if somebody can come up and put up a site where it's equivalent to YouTube, then things will change over here. Really change, but then eventually you might start having problems over there, you know. But still, you have two places to go, two ways of making money. I know you want to keep your advertisers, but with the monetization, with this monetization thing, man, they should make it where everybody get monetized. You know, based on the channel, you know, he might be talking about this, but then on the other channel, he might be talking about this. Hey, give him the monetization. But, um, this is all because of the, the advertisers, you know, advertisers just dictating. Kind of got a lot of pull. That's why it's so hard to get to a thousand. You know, and then you get monetized, you gotta be real careful. I mean, you should be already get the thousand. That doesn't make no sense if you got a thousand over here, and you got a channel over here that's talking similar to the same thing. You should get a thousand over there. That's why I say that every channel is like an island of its own. You know, shit, you gotta start from the bottom. That's bullshit. Got a, they got a bad notification problem here, real bad notification. But that shit is used to dial back certain certain content creators. What's up, Antique? What's up, Brian? Mercenary man, what's up? Get that cash out. One dollar, two dollar, three dollar. One dollar, two dollar, three dollar. Yeah, man. Some bullshit. So, like I said, this this brother here, this Corey K. Okay, Kenshin. I ain't worried about him, man. This nigga ain't worried about us. He don't even know that that the black man is he, he's so big that he don't even know the black man is beard exists. He probably watch none black people channels. None. And we only was, only why we know it because some fools with a black man is really trying to beg him. See, see, he got problems now. Man, see, he, he's like us. No, he's not like you. He been here for ten years, so he probably had way over what fifty thousand, hundred thousand subs before you even got to ten thousand. Come on, man, stop it. We talk about years ago. That nigga ain't you. He over in that world. Just 
let him deal with that bullshit. But anyway, I know people are talking about Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi. Apparently the water is bad. They fucked up over there. Water's off. They trying to fix it right now. But this is like the second place. Is this second place? Well, I don't know what happened to Detroit. Oh, Flint, Michigan. Excuse me. And now we got you know, Jackson, Mississippi and stuff. That's, you know, hey, water's bad. You're going to have problems, I'm telling you. I mean, shit. You know, pray the mother get a hold of that bad water. Them kids don't come out looking like the elephant man. I mean, shit, you, you no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, I gotta clean that water up. And you really can't bathe in it, cause that'll, that'll fuck you up too. You know, fuck your skin up, it's just like that. Whatever, you can't do that shit either. None of that, on top of that, it smell too, so, <laughs> shit. Is it free big game? Let them out the clouds. It's free. Ain't nothing wrong with big game. It's free. I mean, let me let me bring somebody on. Shit. See you gonna come up. You heard the now that Taz turned on Sixty G. I didn't hear that, did he? I ain't even been listening to this because because of the situation with the passport brothers, this that thing is still going on. I'm telling you, man, they're not getting off this passport brother thing, man. I see more and more sisters talking about that shit. You know, niggas going over there to get better women because saying black women, man. I hear more and more and more. I think since you did a couple of videos about it, you know, you know, all of them over there. Damn, man. I mean, this password thing is not stopping, man. It's not stopping at all, man. And they're accusing the brothers of over the years of sex tourism. And all kind of shit. Why you can't find no women over there? Why can't you find women here? You need to stay here. But why would a brother? Now I'm going. To, I'm going to talk for the passport brother. Okay, now why would a brother stay over here if he been dating women here and the women don't respond to him? Women that he want don't respond to me. And all the other ones, he had problems with too. If you got a chance to be with some other women that won't respond to him, there's nothing wrong with that. You can go over there. I'm just, just saying this don't go over there just because it's just, just the fucking bitches. Sex, you know, I mean, I mean, you do it, but you want to go over there to, you know, see the sights and stuff. But, you know, that's another video. But anyway, if the brother having trouble, and he tried every women, all black women, and you know some black women over there that give him some, and these black women over won't give him some. And you can't shame him and stay here if he tried to talk to you. You told him no. See what I'm saying? Well, thank you for the cash app, brother. Appreciate that, Skizzy. Hit that cash app, man. Hit that cash app. Let's go. Let's go. One dollar, two dollar, three dollar. Hit the zombie, two. Let's see. Let me go ahead. So, I, I don't.
don't, I don't, you can't, if the brothers want to go out there, you can't stop them from going out there. It's just that the, I think the brothers, what's going to happen is the brothers is talking too, too much about it. They should have dialed it back a long time ago, but they didn't do it, you know. And then now you get the pookies over there, and then they're going to fuck shit up. You know how pookies do with shit. They're going to fuck shit up. Well, you know what motherfuckers be saying, huh? You don't want to get aware of the goddamn country itself start, start looking at brothers. What's up, Brian? What's up, Rich? Oh, I got everything going. All right. Okay. What's going on? Nothing much. What are you talking about? I'm uh, talking about a little, a little traveling thing, anything else. But, you know, I'm just saying that, you know, the brothers want to go, let them go. If they have, they can't get no women here, then I can see them going somewhere else. You know, they, if they just absolutely just, they just got, they just can't do it, they just, not cooperating, whatever case may be. I can see them going over there, you know. They're looking for a wife or something. Or looking for, I don't know. No, they just, I mean. But, you know, I just, just spending all the money is just, I don't know, man. I just. Instead of, that's what we got to, we got to come to something as a people. Instead of criticizing the action, mm -hmm. we should tackle the cause. So it won't be repeated in the future. Or oh, the situation that's happening here. Yeah. Why are they going? Why are they so? Yeah, that's what. That's the thing, and nobody's not been really say that. Okay, what is the why we have this problem? Man, but why? Where the men have to go over somewhere else to seek but other women. But why there's so much concern where a man puts his penis and spends his money? Not my money or my penis. Uh, there was, what? Okay, Richard said, as a read, until you personally know at least 10 brothers who went overseas and got a woman, it's not a movement. Do you believe more than a few thousand have done it? No, I don't believe it. I'll tell you the truth. Matter of fact, I don't know. I know one. I know one, but that was back when Buzz over here was going to Mexico. But he was going over there to fuck. He wasn't trying to find. He was not trying to marry none of them bros over there. He was trying to get hit it and come on back. Go we'll go go across the border. We we'll come on right back. Paying for two for one. <laughs> two for one, nigga. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, for real, he went. He, he got. He got addicted to it. He like he was every weekend, man. Right after Sunday, man, we made a big money on Sunday. That fucker was gone. And then my other boy, and I was surprised that he was doing the same shit too. It's not. This I'm talking about back. Almost ten years ago, who was last here to do? You know, short, short, like Prince a little bit. You know, had glasses. You see, but did he had he had women. He had two big baby mamas. But I was surprised that that nigga was going. I, like he was pretending he was getting women and shit. But apparently, he had problems getting women actually, or the women he wanted. But then he got the woman wanted. But then he got, you know, he had problems with him because he was always cheating. I guess. And that motherfucker moved, guess where too, Brian? Where? Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> he could probably got about four more people. I can't. 
Well, on that, on that can't get money bit. Like I said, I know a bunch of dudes that go down there, and uh, they all marry. So you saying what you saying? A lot of married dudes go down there just to you yeah. know, blow off steam. There's something going on. So it's not like you know they can't get women here. Maybe if not. No, they got they ain't that type of marriage where their wife is. It's just, you know, it ain't happening. Some of those married dudes do some shit like that. They do stuff like that, too. Every last one of them are married. Every single one. Well, those are the ones that got money. Those are the ones that actually work and they got money, too. So, because you, you remember, you can't really go down there if you don't have no money. You got to be making something here in order for you to travel back and forth. I mean, if you if you know if you ain't making a certain amount, you're not going to be doing that shit unless you know you plan for it and save and shit. But you know, I don't see I don't see it. What's up, NYC man? What's up, man? So, Anti Shannon B. So yeah. why is it that, you know, got to keep asking that, uh, like, you know, SBE and castigating these guys, asking them what's the deal. Like, you know. Yeah, one woman on there mad talking about, yeah, we want white men anyway, so. Hmm. Well, oh. is it SBE? I mean. Travel, yeah. traveling is not. I don't see that as as being traveling, because them guys are not complaining. No, they just no. actually going down there and say, okay, I'm not, I'm not doing. It. I'm going over there. That's so. I don't see that as as being. I don't think they don't want them to change. They can't make them change anyway. So they just say, fuck it. I was gonna go over here. Oh, I said, people are S B E N M. Oh, oh, reverse S B N. They S. Yeah, both YouTubers are SB and brothers that, you know, traveling. Oh. I mean, it's not, I mean, the way shit is going now, man, why not get away? Because shit is wild. It's, everybody getting robbed and shot. Who wants to be around this crap? And, yeah. And defend yourself, yeah. you know? Man, it's some crazy shit, man. In New York, man, y'all niggas are off the hook. I mean, they got something, yeah. what they said in New York, they, they put some. Dang, I forgot it. But they put some law or something like that out where I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I fucking remember it later. But I don't know. You knew New York is off the hook now, man. Yeah. I mean, shit. I mean, like I said, as a heterosexual man, like if these dudes, like I said, they not, if they not hurt nobody. I mean, let them live. You know. Oh, oh, yeah. I want to mention, yeah. In New York, they banned whipped cream. Gotta be 21. Now, you know, know you know the reason why? You know the reason why? Why? Apparently, I guess, to make the whipped cream, they put um, nitro oxide in it. Really? And then they, and they, they use it and they get high off of it. They call it whipping. Or whip it. The young kids are using it. So, you know, the nitro oxide is, you know, like laughing gas and shit. Yeah. So, that's what they're using it for. I'm going like, what the fuck? So, I'm going like, God damn, you mean whipped cream? What if you want to go to the store and you, you need some whipped cream for something? Uh, no. You want to you see your ID? You see your ID? ID for what? It's the whipped cream. What? They get high off the bitch. God damn. Well, <laughs> what can you say? You changed it. What can you, you say? You changed the subject, not me. Hey, I, 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 I
Hey, I was looking at it yesterday. I was trying to figure. Okay, let me see what the hell they talking about. Why they banning it? You know, I'm saying you had to be eight over eighteen to buy. Oh, it's gonna be twenty one to buy. Twenty one to buy it. Oh man. Now, Richard Connolly said that black soldiers been doing this since the military was integrated. It's nothing new. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Going overseas. Yeah. That is stupid. Well, just get a passport already. I right? I'm going to get one, man. But y'all making it hard, man. By the time I get there, man, it'll be $200. The time when I was there, it was like 130 Yeah, It'll be $200 when I time I get to it. Shit, nigga. I'm going to get one, Lou. And I'm going to go That's down what there. About, right? That's huh? what it's about. What? That's what it's about. Getting some? You said it's going to be $200. It's gonna, yeah, it might be $200 by the time I get one. Because these motherfuckers be trying to stop motherfuckers from going now. Why, why don't you just go just meet your nice young lady and you don't got to just keep paying for it? Well, I'm not gonna go down there and pay for. It. I'm going go there and travel. I ain't, I ain't thinking over there trying to go get no goddamn. I just, but if I do go, I'm going go there. I want to see actually what was really going down. So I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna see actually. I'm gonna look at these niggas over there and, and, and videotape them niggas. Why you want to tape them? Huh? Because I want to see what kind of niggas be going down there. And shit, because y'all say any of these niggas is. Got money, so I don't really, I don't know, I don't think so. <laughs> Little Mac Bone. Yeah, let him live. Get Mac Bone. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I mean, <laughs> I never was, 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 was trying to tell nobody. You understand this? I never was trying to tell nobody not to go travel. Stuff like that. If you want to go over there to hit it, yeah. But you know, you want. I'm just saying. Look, you want to go over there. Not you don't want to be known for going over there to hit it. You want to be known to go over there to look at the sites and stuff and do business. That's what I'm saying. They trying to peg all the black men going over there just to go over there and get some goddamn well, some other women, and that's the problem. That's the problem that they're trying it's to do. The problem. It's not the problem. They're what trying to do that is, shit. What is Yang? Is his business? I, I know, okay, yeah, I understand. I, I agree with you on that, yeah. When you travel, Reg, it's not all. You don't go there. You go straight for business. That's when, you know, they think something wrong. You got to go. They want you to go and enjoy the, enjoy the country when you travel. Who said that? That's a lot of, that's customer in a lot of countries. You enjoy the country. But they didn't say enjoy the, okay, you can come over here and enjoy and fuck our women. So that's what you said. That's part of it. <laughs> Some nigga gonna get mad. Come yeah, on, you go man. To Africa. I remember when I did, I know a couple of went to Africa and they went up. Thank you, D Knight. They had he had women first. He said, I got women for you." And he went to Africa. Who said he that? Had women for the guy. I know people that went to Africa, and that's what happened when they went there. They had women for him, so. And we could enjoy yourself. Oh, well, yeah, we know that. And he was doing business, wasn't he? After that, after all that. Okay, well, that's what, that's what, well, that's how businessmen do it. Businessmen always yeah. do the business first and then have the women. There's no problem with that. I don't have no problem with that. I got no problem business with that. After it. Business after. They want you to enjoy yourself. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't have, but see, I don't have no problem with that. But then, if you got motherfuckers going with it just for sex tourists, Niggas, fool ass niggas rolling around there talking shit, this and that, smoking weed, or the, doing the, the, you know, make it rain shit. That's that's the problem. If somebody want to go and get something, I don't have a problem with that. Go get yours. Why not? Go get yours. Go have fun. You guys come on up, man. Let's talk about this shit. Got oh, Brian yeah. up. It looks like we long got... Happy. Hey, long happy life. Listen, cracker. There's so many black men got businesses overseas. Sorry. Y'all sorry ass. Y'all starting to lose out. Losing your respect, your world privilege. All that shit's going down the drain. So, come here with that bullshit. You're dying out. But you know what? 
and tell the influence is growing. But to be real about it, the world gets smaller and smaller. So eventually, after a while, they gonna you're gonna have to have a passport. It's gonna be mandatory you to have a passport. For real though, I mean, for real though, because I mean, it's getting real small to the point where it's like, you know, it's not, it's not even going to matter no more. If you travel over here, it is. That'd be just like, okay, I'm going to the what to call it, real quick, well, Mexico. Going I'm going to the Dominican Republic. I'm going here and there. Sure. It won't be nothing. Okay. Well, if I can get a chance to say, when you go now, that real ID, whatever, the enhanced ID, mm -hmm. you don't need to get it. You don't need to get it. Well, I don't know. Well, you, well, the, well, oh, oh, hold on, Luke. Luke. What, no, uh oh, what's going on, Luke? Say, Luke, Luke, Luke. Let me read him up. Okay, I don't know. He's talking to somebody Mexican. Shit. That's his girlfriend. Jeez. Okay. No, 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 no. But like, like I said, the real. Yeah, I have to get a real ID, so I have to go ahead and do that, and I got to do that. Help my, help my mom do that too. But when I change my ID, they, he said you got. I said I got a passport, and I got a password ID. So you don't need that crap. So bitch to fly on a plane now. You have to have the real ID. I can't. You know, I can't. Shit. I gotta say, God damn. I gotta go ahead and upgrade that. I got a passport ID. I don't, need, I don't need to get that enhanced driver's license. And now, Richard Connor said that if a brother come to hello, can I get him a woman? I mean, well, I mean, I don't know because I don't really go to the clubs and go out there. You know, I mean, nah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, Rich, about that. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe with 20 years ago, I probably could. You know, we just hit the club, shoot, boom. She be fucking, fucking that night or the next night, for real though. But now, nah. It's, see, it's just like now, like Dominican Republic and all that. There's the new Atlanta. Years ago, everybody heard about Atlanta. How you know? I but I can attest to it. I was there years ago when yeah. you know, women was just like so easy. But those were the good old days when the shit wasn't, you know. Yeah. It was out there, but that shit not happening now. I mean, it's like something changed. It's still, but you got to put in work now. You just got to put in work. Well, you had to you put in work back then, way. too. You had to put I'm work in back now. then, too. I mean, it's not I'm right. Hey, Reg, you want me to give you my, uh, my website I use to book flights? It's called, uh, it's called <laughs> Skip Lag. <laughs> I ain't booking no goddamn flight. It's called, it's called, it's called SkipLag.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not booking no flight nowhere right now, nigga. What are you talking about, nigga? You, you, you're, trying to, you're trying to manifest, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to manifest a trip, man. That's what it seems like, dog. You can keep putting it out to the universe. Hey, skiplag.com, man. I'm going to help you out, bro. <laughs> you know, and pull up to Mexico, Mexico Red. No, we'll get some beers. We we'll get some. We we'll get some Indios, some Tecate. Okay, we you we can do that one day. I mean, I'm a I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna do it one day. One day, and y'all gonna be surprised where I'm gonna go when I do it. Y'all gonna be say, "What the? How is this nigga way out there?" Oh, I, I told you I was gonna travel. Shit. Uh, but I was saying somebody was saying earlier talking about some. Um, we ain't got no businesses. I mean. I was that white guy, long, happy life. He always going on in black men. What, 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 oh, he, oh he, he said, I ain't been nowhere lately. He said, damn, Red, you ain't been nowhere. Yeah, I ain't been nowhere really lately, but uh, that's okay. I'm cool. I'm cool right now. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission, y'all. So I got to stay at some time. The man got to be on a mission. I'm on a mission right now. So hey, my plan is working out, so. Hello. Is he here? What up, what up? I'm here. I'm here. Okay. What up, what up, what up? Now, do you hear the uh, passport bros? You ever hear them talking about pull up, nigga? I hear them talking about pull up. Pull up. Where you at, nigga? Like on the nigga? Uh, yeah. What's up, Village Arsonist? What's up, man? I ain't talking about that simp. That about, that about the only. That about the only one. Jesus. Who? 
Ronnie Peso. He cooked his ass last time he was over here. With Ronnie, him. oh yeah, he, well, we, yeah, y'all, y'all got that nigga out real quick out of here, man. I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all got him out quick. We went, we <laughs> for real. That, you know, look that simple. He got out of here with that shit. But you don't hear them. They, I mean, if you're happy, man, you're happy. That's less motherfuckers you gotta fight or argue with. Yeah, stay off. A lot of y'all niggas stay off. Stay, stay off like that at home. That's why BAH. Yo, we need to get that shit on a T-shirt. Stay your black ass home. I see. So, 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 Lou, you out there? Where you at now, Lou? You wanna see? Let me Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Yeah, nigga, I'm wanna. In, I'm in. I'm in Mexico. Oh, yeah, Mexico. You been there for a while? I've been here three years. Now, I heard a lot of people, a lot, a lot of expats going over there because the rent is cheaper, so they did a little... Yeah, a lot uh, of people... A lot of... Yeah, like tech dudes. A lot of tech dudes going away over, over there. Yeah, my... This like apartment building I'm in. Yeah. Right here. Uh-huh. It's, like a little, it's a lot of... Uh, what you call it? It's a lot of... Um, like tech workers, it's like project managers, you know, shit like that. Are here living here? Mm-hmm. Like developer, it's like it's like a dude across my hall. He, he a tech dude. It's like a, it's like a bunch of tech people. Yeah, they they did a report saying that the that the people they complained that the Mexican. I sent you just oh, go ahead. Get in the car. Five minutes. Five minutes, though. You just cross. You just get on the um. You don't all the way up to your job. You move to the most. I work for Moto. Mm-hmm. That shit love. Yeah, that's what they're saying, and they're saying that um. Some of the Mexican people complaining because y'all y'all taking the good place, good good nice places and stuff, and y'all up in the rent and up up in, up in the prices out here and shit. And, you know y'all. <laughs> hey, AC, hey, AC said that's not that said that's not passport. That's border. But hey, you know what? I, well, I lived in Colombia for like eleven months, so I did I did do that. But I like I do like I, I tell more people to come to Mexico do this thing more because. Uh, it's closer to the states, mm-hmm. and then you could kind of like it's it's you know it's it's a lot more culture like you know they I say they're more familiar, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, kind of in that way. But America, you ain't got a lot of you gonna have a lot of friction in my if, if, from my experience. It's my experience. No, and, I don't know, think I just, you have that much friction like, over there like, now because they used to a lot of Americans coming over there anyway. You know, so no, I don't think you have too much friction over there. That that happened when when I was going over there, all that bullshit. You know, that's all gone down. Most of that is, you know. Yeah, see where I live at. I would I would actually prefer, where I live at. It, it's cool because they it's really like it's like an American spot. Mm-hmm. I would prefer to live by the beach, but it's a little bit on it's a little bit further from the border. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's all the like the, the expats. I think what's there's some like people from YouTube that's that's, that's uh, I forgot I forgot the dude's name, but there's some motherfuckers, you know, there's some people doing it. Uh, yeah, like I said, here I, I call TJ South San Diego, so I, I got I, it's funny though, it's really not totally because I'll be honest, you really don't even need a passport to live here. To... Hmm. Yeah, he a vet, so he don't, um. So he'd be using his, but he don't even cross though, because he getting that hundred percent disability. Yeah, he don't even cross. Hmm. What's up, Joe? What's up, Joe? Yeah, Mexico. Oh. Yo, what's Yo, going what's on, Joe? What's up, there, Luke? Uh, Brian. No, no. Let me ask you uh. Luke, now. Do you need to um? What's that? Like they used to call them. Ne- let's see, going to Canada, they were, they were Nexus passes, but it's like a um, global something or other. I call it like a global pass or something. Do you still need to do that? Global entry is another one. Yeah, I think that's a good yeah, because it's like next. I think they changed the name. Joe, you hear me? Yeah. Okay, now I can hear you. Yeah. There you go. Uh, oh. I think they changed the name. Yeah. I think they, yeah. You're right. That's what I got. I got sent. That's, that's what. I, bro, I did a video on my <laughs> channel looking at the border, bro. That, that you ain't got sent. You got bitch like five hours to get to America. Yeah, it's it's work because um, what's the fate uh. She's on YouTube, which she used to be a lot. Um, cast, the cast life they called her. Um, she lives over there. And she's like right on the ocean and shit. 
And, that's, that's, um, hmm. Okay, I, maybe it's me. I don't know. That's Lou. He got Tijuana wires. Oh, okay. That's Lou. Well, okay, I was gonna say maybe it's me because I, you know, I'm out here like <laughs> hillbilly wireless shit. <laughs> yeah, because I know when they came up with them enhanced, the enhanced driver's licenses in New York, I had one because. Like I said, for us to go to Canada was no big deal. You know, when you lived in upstate New York, you know, when you lived in Buffalo. But, um, because before we didn't have to do all that garbage they made you do, because somebody in Texas was crying about it, some congressman, so they made it where both borders now we had to go through all that garbage. Because we didn't drive across. So, but them days are uh, over. Oh, my bad. No, see, yeah, it should be good. Now, now, you, you joke, you're okay. joking, Brian. <laughs> This T Mobile, bro. You talking about T Mobile? Why? That was T Mobile. Trash. Mike came to AT and T. This shit kind of trash. T Mobile shit. Oh get yeah. out! I thought T Mobile was supposed to be all that in the bag of chips now. Since they uh, what five G? Well, all of my five G now. They claim they're the biggest. <laughs> so, okay, so yeah, so now you got to um, so you just have to have that little. No, whatever card it is now, they named it. Oh, okay. You said, what? No, what they, so they, so so you said they changed, they said they changed the name of, you said they changed the name of it now, right? Yeah, it's called, yeah, it's called Century now, yo. Yeah. Oh, I, okay. I forgot what it stands for. It's some entry, that it, yeah, it's, 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 it's something, yeah. Yeah, it's like Nexus, the, like Global Pass, the same, yeah, same kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, because we had, we had Nexus. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny though. He said that's, that, that's border movement. That ain't that's border. That's border, bro. <laughs> that's border, bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. I mean, you think about it. And like I said, Canada. I don't even count that. That shit's like living an extension of living here. <laughs> Basically, but cold. See, Mexico operate. But see, Mexico operates so different. Right. Their life. You know what I'm saying? Like. It, see, it, it's crazy. Yeah, you know, I think though too though with Mexico. Okay, if I go in a little bit. You know, your border areas are your border areas. But like I said, you know, you go down there, like I said, you know, Oaxaca and, uh, you know, Chiapas and all them places down there. It's a whole different country. Canada, if I drive inland, a whole bunch of, you know, from the border, two, three, four hundred miles, it's still, okay, like living here. <laughs> but no, but right. no people. You still got to say, right. Now you're going to Mexico, nigga. You're going to see Spanish signs. You're going to see motherfuckers, they speaking English. You're going to see, uh, they just operate, they motherfuckers drive, supposed to be crazy, way crazy. You're going to see yeah, capital stands everywhere. Yeah, I mean, that's why I said, when I saw it, when I went there, because it was like, okay, once you get off the beaten path, and I said, oh, okay, that's why I saw the black Mexicans and stuff down there in, you know, Guerrero and, uh, you know, Veracruz and them spots. I'm like, oh, snap. I said, it's for real, huh? It's a whole different Mexico, <laughs> you know. Then, um... Canada or something like that. Sure. I mean, you'll get French. Uh, now you would you they, you get caught up in that uh that corridor up there in Quebec. Yeah, you know, they're up there and um, act like they don't speak English. Yeah. yeah. See, see, the, the homeboy I told y'all about from New York. That's I met him in this uh, apartment complex. He the one I told you about that VA man, motherfucker, man. He be he be talking like he a refugee in New York, boy. He said that nigga said he's so happy to get up out of there. Boy. <laughs> hey, the way he be talking about New York, I, I, hey, I be feel like I'm from New York. Like he just be talking about all the, he done broke down the boroughs, you know, the boroughs, like which one I can fuck with. He told me like word, like all these famous niggas. Like I didn't know Trump was from Queens and yeah, Trump's yeah, you know, Queens. He, he was, yep. He was saying how mm -hmm. he was saying how Queens is like you know all the black, all the you know the wealthy middle class black people was at back in the early '80s or whatever. They still there, Jamaica yeah, State. They still, still there, yeah. Jamaica State. Yeah, but now you think about shit. I could take you back to my grandmother's day and all them when they lived in Queens, and it was nothing but damn farmland. Damn it. So Queens has kind of like become developed over the years. You know, Kew Gardens, all that kind of. You know, you have your, you know, your Coronas and all that, and your Flushings and you know, shit. They was all you know back in the day, day. <laughs> you know, Astoria, but um, yeah. You know, New York is a it's a different planet unto itself. <laughs> it is. Uh. -uh. Yeah, if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for that damn. What's it called? I probably. I, you know, I I don't know. I just just that rent, man. That shit rent be crazy. Like, it's it's crazy in California too, but it's just at least you got the sun in California. It's, 
You got to get, what, six months of cold in New York? Is that right or is it nine months? Actually, only four. It's actually only four months of cold. Only four months? What's yeah, that, August? Yeah, yeah. Nah. What about, what about um, February? November to February. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah November November to March is about yeah. all you, you really start getting. Get. Right. Because you live in you live upstate, it's like November to about freaking <laughs> damn it, May. Depends on where you at. But if you live in the city, yeah, it's different. You know, so Yeah, like I said, I I'll get crazy up here. I visited that one time, but I, you know, I don't know about yeah. I was, I'm, I'm a soul. I don't know about living there, but I, I'll visit that motherfucker though. Like, he, nah, they get yeah. crazy up there. That damn near what um, against the law to freaking buy whipped cream in a can or some shit like that. <laughs> Come yeah, down, man. yeah. What's up with that shit? Yeah, you know. And um, I guess they got mad and got slick and got around the gun laws that the uh, Supreme Court hit them, you know, with. Now nah, you you pretty much can't carry one anywhere. So I'm like, okay. I mean, what was the purpose? And you know, all you did was get slick and, and go around the, what the federal government told you. You know, so I mean, what's the purpose of all that? I think if that shit wouldn't happen, that shit wouldn't happen happened in Buffalo. I don't think they would have. Right. I think they would have allowed that shit to go. But that shit yeah. in Buffalo shook them up because, and also the perspective of niggas in New York arguing and niggas just whipping out guns and just shooting each other. Because, you know, in New York, niggas really be beefing over parking spots, hot dogs, you know what I mean? No homo, all type of crazy shit. So they was just yeah. thinking about Maybe the interaction. They bang, the they bang at the hot dog thing? Uh, they bang everywhere. Man, over parking spots especially. Man, watch some damn Karen. They were doing that shit in LA. I believe that shit. Holding parking spaces for people and shit like that, man. Please. No, it don't work that way. Lou, that's why your man in Mexico, his 100% getting tore up in New York. That shit don't make nothing for him. You know what I'm saying? He just, you know what I mean? It doesn't benefit him. We said what now? His 100% doesn't benefit him in New York City. Oh, I was just about to get into that, bro. Yeah, financially, it doesn't benefit him. It, it don't. More, it, it don't. You know what I'm saying? It, it, anywhere else in the world, he can live good, no stress, no nothing. In New York, yeah, he he's good. gonna live now, all right. Lost, hey, that nigga yeah, done lost that. weight. That nigga. No, I was gonna say uh, real quick. He, he done lost weight. That nigga done been in the gym. That nigga getting. That nigga got that nigga. Done, he a whole new person, bro. He, when he came from New York, that nigga was like a. Where he was fat. The nigga was. Fucked up. Now that nigga done got some fresh clothes. The nigga wearing clothes. You know what I'm saying? That nigga out there, bitch. Walking around and shit, happy with his chest out. I think he and he told me a story, bro. He said that his apartment complex caught on fire. Oh, uh, who, who, who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Oh, the dude who I know from uh, New York that kept moved to Mexico. He was talking about how bad it was in New York. In New York for him. Yeah, he said his rent was like thirteen hundred dollars, and he said he was in some bullshit. And he said that nigga, uh, that nigga had apartment caught on fire, and, and nigga didn't even know, and the, like the shit that like wasn't no smoke alarm or some shit like that. He was saying, he said, it was crazy, but it, it, was, it was crazy. But I mean, it was some, it was a cheap ass apartment. But this was probably like an old nine, two thousand ten, so that shit probably like twenty three hundred pounds. Yo, listen, you paying five six hundred a week just to rent a room in Harlem, or just to rent a room somewhere. You know what I mean? You're paying damn near 700 a month. You know what I mean? Most people are roommates in New York. Most motherfuckers got roommates. $500? Shit. That's man, like, $800, 1000 A week for a room. Out. A week. I saw a niggas. A uh, week. A week? Wait a minute, a week? That's a week. That's a week. A week. Oh, That's hell week. no, man. Get out of here, man. Let me get tripping, man. Brian, 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 am I lying? 500 a week? Them motherfuckers in the ground. That's highway robbery. Yeah, let me tell you something. No, no, that's a week. Easily that's a week. week. That's some bullshit. And like, and let me tell you, you can't do nothing. Well, what can you do if you're doing... You got to handle it. Shoot, my cousin lives in the old club of nights. And it was like... Brian got to handle it. You got to handle it. I guess so. Oh, God but damn. Then, but then, shoot, bro, hey, housing prices ain't... Housing, housing prices ain't much better. You go buy a house... I saw, I saw a crib. They, they had a closet for $900. Mm-hmm. Closet. 
Oh, you shared a bathroom with somebody else. <laughs> if you shared a bathroom. bathroom. If there's a bathroom. Y'all know a yeah. lot of people live in like the YMCA and shit like that. Y'all like, it's a YMCA in New York. That's almost like a, a high-end apartment building. It's, it's so many white people and people living that motherfucker. 63rd, what is this? 63rd Street Y, Brian? What, what is it? Is it 63rd Street? I, I don't remember. Yeah. So I think it's a place. I know what, 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 what shocked me, there's a, um, like a shelter around here, like for families or whatever. And I'm coming up and, and I seen a, a white dude coming out with his son out the back. I was like, what the fuck? And this is, you only see like, like girls with their kids in here. But I guess it's a sign of the times. He was a clean cut white guy with his son coming out just to shelter. And see, it's, it's real. Yeah, it's yeah. real now. You gotta get up out of there, go, man. Go out to, you gotta go out to Long Island or something like that or upstate or whatever and get you something cheaper in terms of a home or living. But then you gotta continue with the taxes with your high right. And right. that damn house costs more. Well, Long know? Island is fucking <laughs> mega expensive. I mean, but it's beautiful out oh, yeah. I love Long Island. It I, is. I, that's it is. I, I'm looking at Long Island in Pennsylvania, but Long Island is crazy. It's five, six hundred thousand dollars for a house. But Soul had asked, what's the rest of New York like? The rest of New York is down south. Once you leave New York City, you are down <laughs> south. You are in. Oh, it's like a rule. It's like a rural type. It's Kentucky, it's real, Alabama, it's Georgia. It's if Kentucky, you, Alabama, Georgia. Let me yeah. see. It, uh, it's those put way, It's so. Uh, put this way. Once you get past. That's once you get past Rockland County, I will put it this way. Once you get past Rockland County, being fortunate enough to live, I lived in both situations, city and also in upstate. Um, you pretty much like like um, AC said, like Arthur said, it's pretty much south. Because you got areas where you won't see a black person. Yeah, you won't see it. But no, the thing is, you down here at least you see black people in these little country towns in these areas. There, you up there, you won't see a black person in like for whole counties and shit. Oh, okay, <laughs> you know, and you start going up there in the Adirondacks where they had the Winter Olympics and all that shit like that, and um, yeah. towards Vermont, you ain't finding yeah. no damn black. You ain't people finding up there. no black people like Troy and Rensselaer and all that. You know, yeah. you start getting up no. there. Man, y'all, got, y'all, got, y'all got sundown. Y'all got sundown towns out there, bitch. That whole shit yeah. sundown. Yeah, yeah, they do. They still do. That whole shit sundown. Orange County, uh, yep. uh, cat, the cat with Albany at all that now. Rochester. Let me see. Rochester, Utica be popping a little bit. Rochester, Utica, Buffalo. Now they off the chain. Rochester, Buffalo, Syracuse. Syracuse ain't really off the chain, but Rochester. Uh, Syracuse is kind of dead now because they yeah, pretty much yeah. left Syracuse damn Yeah, so Rochester, Buffalo, now they off the chain. They like Detroit, Chicago, shit like that. They off the chain. In Buffalo, we had more crime per capita than the city of New York did. You was more shot. You was more apt to get killed in Buffalo than you would actually in, in, in New York. Believe it or not, the numbers, uh, you know, the statistics I you know show it, which was kind of like, damn. Oh, okay, I guess you know it is a little crazy, but um, yeah. Once you start getting towards upstate New York, um, it's squat. Like when I went to college in Ithaca, it's nothing but. It's, I mean, it's cows, college towns, and and nothing else. <laughs> That's pretty much where all upstate New York is. You got a whole bunch of cows because they got a whole bunch of dairy cows up there. College towns, they all over the damn place. And <laughs> trees and forests and shit. That's it. Some inbred ass looking white people. <laughs> you know, that's about it. Uh oh, here's five all sitting out here. Hey, you know, um, hey, I ain't wanna, I don't wanna segue it too much. But you had said something earlier that I, that I did wanna cook on. Uh, when you were talking about that, uh, that dude, you were talking about YouTube is racist. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people doing the videos uh, about it. You fly did one last night, and then uh, Rigo did one this morning. I think about it. Yeah, but the same dude. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, man, you know, I, I can't. I don't know. Like, I, I, I was looking at that dude's video, and he had he asked good points. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to defend YouTube, but I think that people shouldn't even be using YouTube. In like a YouTuber type of way, you get what I'm saying? Like, like depending on AdSense, you know what I'm saying? Like, you crying about not getting my, like stuff like that. You need to be using YouTube to take niggas off YouTube and get them into your program, so you can like 
you know what I'm saying, get them in like a community. You should just be using YouTube. You, you should be using YouTube, not like using YouTube. I mean, excuse me, letting YouTube use you. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, I see what you're saying, but how, how can you do it when when there's no other place really you really can go on social media no, that, that's going to give you the juice YouTube gives you? Now on that and the money. I mean, some, that well, dude there is making at least, I know he, he's a man there. There's no way. It's 18, what, 18, what, 16 subs? And he getting a man, yeah, over man, like two, like three man, four man, like a view on videos? That nigga's in the front yeah, window, man, man, of YouTube. He's in the front, he's at the front desk. Right, but it's like, in, that, in, that, in his situation, though, he kind of like, he like working for YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you do it that way, instead of like, Having your own website, or your own—you know—you collecting people's emails. That mm -hmm. way, even if you do get taken down, you know okay. what I'm saying. You can always, shoot, you know what I'm saying. You can always shoot the email out. You're okay. Like, hey, man, I'm on this new channel. But, you know but, 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 but he hasn't. Oh, oh, go ahead. Wait, wait, let me yeah, get the only question I got for Lou on that is: Do you think you'll have the same traction, right? Do you? Because you won't have the, you won't have the promotion. Right, you won't have the promotion that you don't have to worry about. You know what I'm saying? Even though you have to promote your show by having good content and doing what you do, if you have your own network and all that, like that's cool. You're right, right? And and, and if you were able to keep your YouTube channel, you could do both. You could have your your own website where you have video and audio access where you can create your own content. Mm -hmm. But the only question I have for you, the traction. And the marketing and the promotion of your channel, will you have the ability to do that and be as successful and have that same engine like YouTube if you was to navigate on your own? Well, Jake Paul did that shit. That's a, that's a good question. And, and he got off, he's, he's out of YouTube, but Jake Paul did that shit. And that's what he needed to do. That's what he needed to do, but he don't, he don't, he can't find a way. I don't think he, he don't know how to do it. He don't know how to do it, or maybe people's not feeling him like that. Yeah, see, that's a good point, man. Like, he just, you just brought up Ridge. Like, see, they use them, them Paul brothers, they use YouTube when well, they was already. Yeah. But they, they sidestepped it into like Disney movies and the boxing thing they got going on. You know what I'm saying? They, you, they, they ain't really beholden on YouTube. They don't need YouTube. YouTube need them. And you want to keep right, them because, Right, because they built such a fan base and they had such a diverse attraction right like they do like you said they got the movies they do the boxing shit you know what i mean then they're just regular social media assholes and you know what i mean they go on speaking engagements and appearances and shit like that so they have a, a huge following already based on the work that they put in so that's why they're able to separate themselves from youtube and create their own buzz in comparison to people who are starting from youtube and don't really have that public eye on them like of Jake Paul you because I mean that that that's an exception they're an exception to the rule yeah anything but you know what hold on there's a good chance that he could actually at the point that he a actually outgrown YouTube and he need to go to the mainstream but how can he do it when nobody knows him nobody's fucking with him like that in the main if nobody's fucking with him like that, they fuck with Jake Paul then he's he's stuck actually he's at the very top but he can't go no further no, was well, I was just well. I mean, well, as you, you you said about the traction and getting the people. That's you know that's cool. You know what I mean? But like I had saw this one video. The dude was like, "Don't be a YouTuber." He was like, "Be a business on YouTube." So like whatever you selling, whatever you got going on, just use YouTube to find people. You get what I'm saying? And then you uh, can put them in your email list or send them to your Shopify store, where you might be selling an online course. Mm -hmm. Or you might you gonna or you might be selling merch. Oh, see, but I'm gonna meet Now, does he have an online? Does, does he have a, a website? And he should have a website, at least a website or something going on. If he don't, then that's on him. And that's what, and that's, being that's that what big, being that big, he should have been had a website just in case some shit went wrong. He can get people over there. Yeah, a lot of know. people don't really have that that business acumen. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah, they yeah, got yeah, that, yeah. They just think. You know what I'm saying? They just like, okay, I'm gonna make some videos. The shit gonna pop. It's gonna get the views. I'm gonna get the AdSense. But then when YouTube ain't fucking with you now, now your money ain't predictable. You know what I'm saying? Now you don't. Now you mad. Now you 
making videos, going at your employer. And now they're going to really fuck with you now. So, yo, but what do you think about that? I mean, do you think you'll be, if you, like, like what you're promoting and the idea of creating your own web, your own platform, do you think that you'll, what, what will be your strategy to gain the traction and to, to get the promotion that you got if you was on another platform? That would have value. That would have you that. Oh, free. no, I'm not saying uh, take it like you know, like these new platforms, like libraries stuff. Like that. I'm just saying use YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like use YouTube to garner traffic because it's the biggest search. It's the second biggest search engine, right? Mm -hmm. So make all your videos, get your people. But then, oh shit, hold on, I gotta, and, and then get your people that you that like you. Get them to sign up to an email list or get them into your course or. Get to buy T-shirts and merch, and I'm not even saying make a whole. I'm, you know, so I'm not even saying taking the rumble or any of them other thing. I'm just saying get them into your email list, and where you got direct access to them at all times. So if YouTube do take you down, you still got your people who rock with you wherever you go. So yeah. whatever the new thing is after YouTube, hey y'all, I just made a new channel over here. Y'all come see me over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that's probably the only reason why Tommy is surviving. If he's, because we never hear. Heard anything from him, but I mean, he got only fans, and he got his website, so people still fucking with him. Maybe not as much as was on YouTube, but they still fucking with him. You see what I'm saying? Bro, Red, there's people on YouTube with like two thousand subscribers making six figures just off, mm -hmm. not depending on AdSense. You know what I'm saying? They they selling merch or they selling courses or they got some type of membership program or you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like what I'm stuff that's like what I'm that. That's yeah. what I, that's my that was my so, initial. Yeah, I was, but I wasn't necessarily saying go just do a new <laughs> streaming platform. I'm just saying have some. But but but, but, but that's why I don't feel sorry for homeboy. Like oh, hold 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 AC I, AC hold oh, AC my bad, my AC bad, my bad, AC my bad. AC the, AC Luke Brian. Oh, what's up? What's up, bro? I'm good. Yo, I don't feel sorry for homeboy because homeboy had an opportunity to actually branch out further. You was already at the top. All you had to do is hook up with somebody, get some advertisers. And shit like that, with some merch out, and you could have, you wouldn't have to worry about that. If they did some funky shit like that, that's all right. You wouldn't have been worrying about it. You should, or matter of fact, you should already know they was gonna do some funky shit if you know that you black. But maybe he thought that maybe he was, you know, wasn't black and shit, and I'm just like, you know, bullshit. That, that, you know. Oh yeah, he did. Uh. He did. He did say that in the video. Did you watch it? He was like, he don't want to. He didn't want to go with the racist narrative. Yeah. See. But um. And yeah, like like so said, them kids channels, man, they got that affiliate marketing. They be having that affiliate marketing going crazy. They got all the links to the little toys and a description box. That's all I'm saying. You making you yeah. making millions of dollars without off YouTube. Yeah, and he ain't got no he ain't got no green. He, he got all green on his videos, man. Come on, stop it. We be battling YouTube just to get the green and shit. You know these niggas, this nigga got green for yeah, all my years. Shit, yeah, all my shit, all my shit say yellow. <laughs> well, now I started playing that that twerk, that twerk song on my channel. They they demonetize they, they, they uh demonetize when I play that. I got this twerk this this, this chick twerk when they drop some money on you when they drop money on you they hit that one. Yeah yeah when they drop money I, I play the, with the girls twerking but that's that new that new chick I got that song they keep. That shit hitting me. They they say they they keep be monetizing the shit. Damn. So they say that get my cash app. Get to get my cash app and not the uh, super chats. <laughs> well, no, no, no. They you still get the super chats when they be monetizing. So, they monetize you, know, you get the super chat, you know, but yeah, you uh, just don't get that when they watch it later. They just don't get that. Yeah, it's, get that ad revenue. but if you can get, you can get, you can get those views. You can get the money from the from the ad from the uh, from the money from the video. You you in the house, you ain't got to do nothing. You you be you be straight. Cash app is just, just extra shit. Then if you can get that, but then that's the problem. How can we get? We don't get that, and not defend nobody, not offend nobody, because you know some of us we got to tell the truth. So I mean, you are gonna offend somebody, you know? But it seems like you the guys that make the most money on this thing, though, I mean, are ones that don't do panel like what we're doing right now, talking on a panel thingy here. Uh -huh. They don't do it. They do pre-recorded stuff. Yeah. I look at, a, say, a Marcus Brownlee. Uh, okay. 
brother got what 15 16 million subs each one of his videos they got about a million two million three million views talking about some damn cell phones and, and um and iPhones and shit like that, <laughs> you know. And, uh, and then, uh, he does you know, the cars and uh, the electric vehicles and all that kind of shit. But then, too, he has people, I guess you would say, you know, Tesla and them might be sponsoring his shit, I guess, with, to a certain degree. You know, here, try our Tesla out for a while and uh, drive it around and talk Dude, about that's it. That's money there. You get that. Yeah, Elon, he chilling with Elon Musk. You know, you sitting up there, kicking, yeah, you you know, kicking it around. Oh, yeah. You know. And that's another. And that's, a, and, I, and that's to the point where I think AC was, was saying too, like it's a, it, it is some benefits to being, you know, getting that traction and getting up there with the subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Like it kind of does legitimize you. Like you got a million subs, yeah, that shit do open doors for you, you know what I'm saying? That is true. Mm -hmm. But I was just but I was just saying though, like, it, it, you know, still, still use YouTube, you know, make good content, grow and stuff, but at the end of the day, just know it ain't your platforms. You, all your subscribers, you you renting them, you know what I'm saying? They ain't really your people. They YouTube's people. You just renting them, you know what I'm saying? But if you get them to an email list, now you own your you own the audience. Then can't nobody take the audience from you. But YouTube can take your channel down any day. A lot of motherfuckers living living by the clock. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers living. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a timer on a lot of niggas in this bitch. Well, <laughs> they, they, they just they just shut down. Uh, um... What I mean, not what's the name? Uh, bomb or whatever. I mean, some of the as small as bomb cherries or whatever for some what minor little, probably whatever it might have been. <laughs> but you know, it, they had the control over it. Seems like you know, you know, you even though, no matter how many subs or no matter how much you have, if you say something that's out of, I guess, out of whack for them, or they don't like it, some monitor, it it, it can mess you know, it can mess the church's money up. I guess. So what, what do you guys think about? <clears throat> with Bill channel. I think he actually got flagged and um logic sphere. <coughs> you think about them? Yeah, I don't I don't know, you know, I don't know what's up with that man. I um I haven't talked to him about it, so I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't have any you know, I'm just speculating. Uh but you know, I would say that that just goes with what I'm saying, man. It don't matter what. We don't own YouTube. We don't own the audience. Like they can, they can take this shit down anytime they want to. And they don't give a fuck. They took down niggas with ten million subscribers before. They don't give a fuck about a nigga with a thousand. Yeah. So, so in other words, let me. Say, so RBR is right. <laughs> no, RBR is. is no, I mean. RBR is talking about the, an hourly wage. That shit. No, I don't know. I don't know about that shit. That shit is. I mean, outside that of that, that I mean, some of the other, but outside of that, that might be, I, mean, I, don't, I never heard of, I don't, you know, I haven't talked to him in a while, I haven't seen him in a while, but, you know, uh, some of the other stuff he was talking about, you know, about how they treat you or how they do, it sounds like he pretty much was talking about that. And that's what I'm you saying, know? Joe, like, if, if that's the case, you need to take your, you know what I'm saying, take your people off, take your people off YouTube and then have your own shit, that way you got a platform, like, you know, say, you know, Tommy, you know what I'm saying, he, he did have his own website coming in the game, right. so that's why, like, he never really, I mean, now it's hard for the, I, I, I think something's going on with the nigga now, I think he like, I think he's in jail or something. Who? That's why he ain't came back, Tommy. Uh, he, he fucked up. Damn. But, um, I know Bernard Wright was happy today, he had like, what, 400 in the tank, because of a meal wasn't on the morning. <laughs> Ramil <laughs> 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 was tearing his ass up, man. I don't know. Oh, God. But, yeah, had, a, had like 1K. We have like, I was like 800 niggas. I know, man. See, I'm like, damn. You kept going. He would have two. These smaller spots, though, usually they seem like they have more engagement numbers wise than, say, you know, what's his name? Phil from the advice, whatever. You know, if yeah. he does a live or whatever, he might get. You might see 300 or whatever. You know, he might have more than that. But some of the ones I've seen has been like two, 300 in the room. But you got over 100,000 subs or whatever. You know, we got over a million subs, I think. Something like that. So it's just, it's just, just, I think that as far as Ramil, I think a lot of people resonate with Ramil and a lot of people mm -hmm. more than they, they do with, um, you could say, you know, Bernard Riley or, you know, you know. So. Well, see, that's the thing, though, man. It's like, you know, that's cool and everything, but it's 
you know, I see I've seen cats that don't get no engagement, but they selling courses, they selling merch, they doing they you know, they selling like they got GoFundMe's and stuff. They uh they they audience uh supporting they they building out comic book series and stuff like that. I mean it's all I'm saying is like it's crowdfunding YouTube, and all kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just saying you use YouTube for your business. Use it as like your marketing engine. You know what I'm saying? Like don't use it as like you working for them when you gotta like put up two, three videos a day. You know what I'm saying? You fucking you know what I'm saying? You a goddamn goop. You a fucking AdSense employee like a motherfucker. And don't get me wrong, you get the money. But at the end of the day, just know you st- you not. Like, if YouTube take your shit away, man, it's going to be hard to get all your subs back. And if you never take, if you never took them off YouTube, that's all I'm saying. Who sent you that, Rich? No, oh, it kind of, it, this is all, all this, these news like pop up on my free feed. It's her sister, man. Her hair got tangled up in the, in the double actress thing. Damn. And she dead. Any of this social media stuff. Yeah. Hmm? What happened? That's a picture? Yeah, that's her. Holding a basketball? Yeah. What is it? What happened to the passport on August 30th? It's crazy shit. Her head got tangled in something and she died. Damn. Yeah, in the bag. She got scalped. She got scalped. She got scouted. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. She died after she was scouted in her horrific workplace. Oh, okay, because you got to see. Okay, it's, it's okay. Caught in the hey, can I be hurt? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yo. Oh, in the bag. Who are y'all talking That's about that guy? In the bag. I mean, Corey, Corey asked, can she? You talking about, hey, yo, about YouTube? You talking about YouTuber? What does that guy do? Anybody know what kind of content he, he does? He do, like, ga- he do like video game, like he do like playthroughs. Oh, so he's, he's a gamer like, then? He's a gamer then? Yeah, he's a gamer. Oh, okay. What's the play through? What does that mean? What's the play through? It's like, they, it's like he playing the game play and you game. see his face. You just play it. Yeah, yeah he like oh, you just play it. You see his face while he's playing it on the side like he has his little box and then you see him yeah. playing the game. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, who died? What, what happened? Who died? She was a baggage that's, handler, it looked like. That's yeah. a girl. The hair got tangled in Yeah, black girl. Yeah, hair. She got camera up in that motherfucker for bear belt. And a scalper and shit. Like some Indian Indian scalp you back in the day, I guess. Fuck, man. That's crazy. So her hair got caught up in the shit. Okay. I told you, ban all weed. Ban all weed, nigga. I thought he sent it to you, Reg. No, 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 no. I get a lot of other people. That's, that's just news. That's a lot of news I'm, I'm like to subscribe to, so I get that every once in a while. You know, some stories. Oh, the Daily Mail. Yeah. <clears throat> that sounds like some big since you see you. Nah, I wouldn't say nothing like that. Hell no, I wouldn't even watch nothing like that. But they put it on there, man. That's crazy. I told you, man. This they need to get rid of that weave shit, man. Shit. Yeah, that's but it what it sounds like she but, but, had but, but, real hair, though. No, that wasn't was real hair, dude. If, that wasn't real hair, got, if, she, if, she, if she got scalped, then... Uh, man, I'm yeah. thinking that would be her real, real hair. Because we would have yeah, got pulled out or something. Yeah, 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 yeah the we would have just got gay. I don't think that's yeah. the way... Well, well maybe it, it could have been a... Been a uh, it could have been a weave, real hair. but I don't think so. Because the weave would have stopped that shit from happening. Okay, the weed, but they sewed it in. They sewed the shit in, so... It sewed in, though. It sewed in. So if it's sold in, it's still gonna pull pull your shit off. It's a stocking yeah. cap underneath it, so that jacket. No, that's a wig. You talking about a wig? A wig? Uh, your um, your shit is sewn into their hair. So yeah. I don't know though. It could have been know. a wig, but I will have to look at it. I'm not gonna look at it. So. But you, a weave aficionado here? What? You do BBLs and weaves or wait what? No, it's just I mean you never you never see you never seen a chick put a weave in like. Like, I, know. I don't know. Do y'all hang out? Like, do y'all ever be around y'all girlfriends? Like, y'all wives and stuff? Or? This nigga said, uh, yeah. No, but they be sewing that shit in, man. He, he, no, I'm big game's right. He no, sewed that shit in with, on the hair. Go with, I, she, she just used to do, she no, used to do her own our sewings. Bitches don't be in the crib sewing weaves and bitches hair. No, they do not. No, but yeah, she used to do her own. Um, she was young. She used to do her own sewings, but yeah, that now shit. My, I was like, my yo, mom, what the fuck? My, my mom, my mom used to do sewing. Like girls would come over to the crib, and she'd be like doing their hair and shit. But yeah, I don't know why y'all think knowing stuff is bad. Like, y'all, 
I know this black man think knowing anything is is bad. <laughs> well, no, it's not. The, it's not the knowing part. It's the we just don't being witnessing that shit. That's all. It's not the knowing part. Like, like, yeah, if we witnessed it, part, we would know. know. Like we just didn't witness it to know. Like that's all. Yeah, I mean, I'm not around nobody who does weaves in the sense of my wife doesn't have a weave, so I mean, I don't. Do that. Nah, I feel you, I feel you, but nah, I, I just, I mean, just, I just be around chicks that do hair and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, if, right. if, if, if you, if you around, if you, if you, if you around black women, I mean, that's. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, coons. <laughs> Say y'all coons in the black lagoon. Hmm. But yeah, as, as far as that Kenshin guy, I don't. So you're saying that I, he sounded like <coughs> an anime type dude. So I, I, I figured that's what kind of guy he was, uh, either doing like gaming or like anime or something. But as far as, as far as him being Shadow Man, he may be Shadow Man. I don't see how he'll be Shadow with that many subs, man. Come on, hold this. There's no this way, way that dude's Shadow Man. Notice it's a certain sentiment where niggas like, who cares if he shadow banned? Like, you should care. Like, if a, just because a black person is doing well doesn't mean you should not care if they get discriminated against. This ain't nothing to do with black know? person. I mean, like, I don't right? think he, I don't think he's discriminated. To tell you the I truth, don't, like, I don't man, think he's discriminated. I don't think he's shadow banned. He just complaining because one, one, one of his friends got over that was white when he didn't get over. It. That's what it is, and he's mad. Yeah, they. Yeah, they they age restricted one of his videos, and he went to a white dude video, and he had the same exact scene from the game in there. It was like something about like depression or something like that. And then he said that all right, he said he sent YouTube the clip, and was like, why y'all ain't um, why y'all ain't flag his shit? Why y'all ain't age restricted his? And then then they took the age restriction off his, and then he started going crazy. It was like, man, y'all, you know, this some racist shit. Then they. They just thought they, they took everybody's shit down. All even the white dude, they took all their stuff down. So that was the whole yeah. point of his video. Yeah, and that's a cop out because he right, he right when they, they um because this is the thing you miss out on money when you um when you when they age restrict the videos. Oh, that first hit, that's when you get all your bread. Not to say you know it, it can't go viral later, but that first yeah, twenty four you got because you got to sign because you got to sign in on age restricted videos. Exactly. So that first, that first uh, fourteen or twenty-four to forty-eight hours, that's you're gonna be your biggest bread on your video. Well, you don't get no age money for you get, well, yeah. Once you get age restricted, you don't get no money for that anyway. Exactly. So yeah. So miss out on that. Then when they, you know, oh, they took it off. Well, they took it off. The nigga already got a fucking eight hundred thousand views on the video. And he and lost all that money. Yeah. He, he exactly. He already hit his hit the damn the the. The point of basically no return because unless it go viral again, it's never gonna be yeah. as it's never gonna get as many views as it did that first time. That's what you I was know, saying earlier. So that's bullshit. Being a YouTuber, you you beholden to shit like that, bro. That's true. <laughs> if, that, if that's your only income stream is AdSense, then you 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 you, you, won't, you do this shit long enough, you're gonna be mad at them eventually. Well, that's why I said I don't blame him because he should have expanded out a little bit. He should already expanded out, already had to deal with someone or something like that already, you know. But he, but here's the thing though, big guy. This is the thing though. He's not the only one that has similar complaints, and it's from like white dudes too. Be saying that like it's like a big YouTube. I've got his name. He he had like a video about this shit too. He's my man on YouTube playing favorites. He was like, y'all be letting. It was a white dude. He was like, y'all be letting Logan Paul do crazy shit and let him come back on, and but y'all be demonetizing us and shit like that. So a lot of motherfuckers have these type of yeah. So niggas need to hit it with a class law, a, law, a class action, because that's foul. YouTube be on some bullshit. Everybody know that YouTube be on some bullshit. But see, that's the thing. That's how that's how they tried that shit in the Senate. Though it's hard to like you know how you know. About the age restriction, how to slow your growth or slow your first video. The Senate, them niggas don't know shit like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't understand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't they understand how <laughs> right, right. They don't understand how that whole shit breaks down. So they can't really articulate that in like a lawsuit. No, I feel what you're saying. But yeah, so, I mean somebody gotta know something though. Like yeah, he gotta get the lead attorney or something to help him articulate it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, but he's trying to be a YouTube lawyer. Oh, oh, oh. He's like a divorce he, attorney. Hey, he oh, no. no. But, but he's a divorce attorney, though. <laughs> I don't know if lawyers can... I don't know. Can they, like, sidestep and other... Yeah, they, they, they yeah, they could do it, but then it, you might not get the results that you need to get. You need a speciality lawyer for that. They have, yeah, they have an area of expertise, but I think they can do whatever a lawyer can do. Like whatever a lawyer can do, they can do it. But look, certain lawyers have an area of expertise. Right, I that's what that's I'm saying. A, like, yeah, you got like contract lawyers, divorce. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't, no. Criminal, no. criminal, yeah. criminal. Uh, you got fucking ambulance chasing niggas. Yeah, ambulance. Yeah, better call Saul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone like yeah, you know, better call Saul to do it. Something. He'll get you something because he know how to do everything. Only lawyers better call Saul that are civil lawyers. Civil class action lawyers will be the lawyers that take care of this. The lawyers that like a Benjamin, not Benjamin Crump, but that type of guy. That does Dennis civil Spurley. Spurley. He, they need to get Dennis Spurley. Nah, he ain't. Uh, fuck that. No, he an ambulance chaser, ain't he? He an ambulance chaser, but he, uh, he be on big cases, though. Like, he, he he on one huge case right now that's worth, like, a couple hundred million dollars. He be on big-ass cases. That's, that's big a big case. Wait, didn't, didn't, he say, didn't he say he was doing Kevin Samuels' uh, affair? And that ended up being not true? Uh, no, yeah, that nigga so, lying. He showed he showed himself with a bunch of Jewish lawyers, and they was all doing the class action. So I mean, no, I'm talking about the Kevin. I mean, he done lied before. I'm just saying he's probably the last lawyer in line. The old Jewish lawyer, he probably the last one in line. And shit, he probably getting all the coffee. He, nah, he's a good lawyer. He lost, he, lost me, he lost me, big game. He lost me when he had the quick slippers on with his when low rider. Quick slippers on with his low rider. Yeah, I know. You hate it. You a hater. This nigga still still trying to be still playing them old videos with him him use back in the street. He got like a TL sixty three or sixty four. That shit tight. Trying to bang and shit. Still trying to say I used to be in the street banging. Get the fuck out of here, man. He never said he was gang banging. Ray, you talking about Dennis Berlin? Yeah, right in the six four and shit. He got a shit quick. Yeah, quick slippers on. I know. Come on now, man. But yeah, he went to manual art. So I mean. They talk shit about cookies and No, that? no, he went to Fremont. He didn't go to Manual Arts. He went to Fremont. Yeah, my dad Fremont. went to Fremont. I remember my dad told me he went to Fremont. That's a swan school. He said that's a swan school. <laughs> it is. Brian is crazy. <laughs> you know what it is. That's swan hood. I don't really know where Fremont is, honestly. Oh, it's, it's probably close to Compton. 54th and San Pedro, nigga. Yeah, my dad. You said, you said it's 54th and San Pedro? Either something like that or seventy something in San Pedro. Nah, what's his name? What's his name? J uh, Jerome know where it is. He went to. Uh, he said he went to Fremont. I know he in there. He could tell. Well, all my dad yeah. and all them was from Compton, so you know. So he said all them was from Compton. You know, my dad and right. my grandpa, all them <laughs> from niggas from Compton. I got him. I got to mean. I'll be back yesterday alone. <coughs> About an hour, thirty minutes to an hour, thirty-five minutes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Peace, Brian. But yeah, yeah, I'm in a meeting right now. Yeah, this is a <laughs> routine meeting. They be doing this like this. <laughs> what my bad, Brick Gang? Go ahead, bro. Oh, no, nah, I was just saying, as, as far as the, um, yeah, they need to get a lawyer because that's bullshit, though. To, I mean, that's obviously some form of discrimination, even if it's not racism. That's a bullshit. And I'm sure it really do happen to the black content creators more than the other ones. Let's keep it. Let's keep it real. We like everybody over here be getting destroyed. Hey, hey. So, hey. So that that dude who made that video, right? You were talking about on the on the uh, last thought just. I wanted to touch on that. So he he made a good point that I can't. We can't move past, right? We you got niggas in this space. You got Kevin Samuels at one point five million. Mediocre tutorials is up there. Alpha males up there. Steph is cold is up there. I mean, O'Shea, I guess you could say, if he managed for still. Like, that shadow ban argument ain't really valid. No, they you wasn't being, they wasn't right? shadow ban. That's the thing. Well, no, see, this the thing. You letting that nigga gaslight you. Now, I'm not saying <laughs> it's necessarily, that's what that nigga's here to do, is gaslight. <laughs> niggas know, they, like, we don't, we know, What's said don't need to be uh what's understood don't need to be said, man. Like and I'm not gonna say yeah, niggas just they 
they totally uh, destroying niggas. But no, a nigga like um, AMS, he appeals to a bunch of white people. So he, you could say he's so. Of course, he's not shadow banned. And even if, if he is, he still has a bunch of outside sources to where it'll overcome it. I mean, you know, he got like a but, website, probably got a newsletter, he probably got a bunch of other shit. A Discord. That's what I'm all saying though, like if you so if you can appeal, I mean there's more white people in America, so it's like if you do, if you dabbling in just you know, just a, a specific demographic, you're not gonna I mean you're just not gonna grow as fast as people who tap it in to multiple demographics or, or a much bigger one like them Asians in tech YouTube. They should be yeah. like million subs because they got such a huge demographic to tap into. Yeah, that's true. Of course that's true. Of course a, a space specifically about black males isn't going to be huge. Now, like I said, there's going to be some people who can make it huge and they and, and there's going to be some because he and you got to figure they don't directly deal with black manosphere issues. Oh, 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 oh. Alpha male strategies don't. Um, Ste- uh, Steph is cold. He more universal. Who else did you mention? O'Shea. O'Shea is gossip sector now. O'Shea do celebrity gossip now. So, of course, okay, he going to be saying. booming. And then so give else? me so well, let's I, I help you. Let, let me help me out there. Give me give me some people. You would say a shadow ban. Everybody else that's not <laughs> <laughs> But no, like look at a nigga like BGS. Like he he was at fucking like thirty thousand for like four years. Not to say that you know that's not accurate. You, you know what I mean? But still, like how you be at thirty thousand for that long, barely getting subs? Like some of his videos be going, you know, be getting twenty, thirty, forty thousand, like. Somebody got to be well, something, dude. Well, let me ask you this, though. Is, could it be that, like, his demographic is not that big on YouTube? Who's yeah, that? Yeah, it could be he maxed out. He could have maxed out his demographic. I feel what you're saying. Who's that? Who's that? At the same time, but, uh, BGS, I was talking about like, BGS. Like, maybe, like, baby boom. Like, yeah. yeah, I told you that already. Yeah, he's stuck. He's not going nowhere. Let us say he gets some new, new, new subscribers from somewhere. But he maxed out. He's at the top. He can't get nowhere. That's it. He's stuck. Cause you know what's funny when, when you look at when I look at my audience, man. It's like it kind of reflect. It's like my audience is like fifty percent, twenty five to thirty four. You know what I'm saying? But you look at other people, they shit probably like thirty five to forty five. You know what I'm saying? Like depending <laughs> on the the person. So I'm just, and that's why you see like Austin Holloman blew up because he came from TikTok. You know yeah, yeah, he so was like, booming on TikTok, and then he got uh, a lot of the young people, and then the past for the quote unquote passport bros. Yeah, that tapped in right. So, I mean, and, I don't know. I just that shadow band thing. I don't. I think sometimes some niggas use that. Like, nah, I think nah, because when they just, I, I give you a perfect example. There was a um niggas used to be like uh when when, when people play Madden, niggas used to be like yeah um uh, yo when you start you know when a nigga start losing. Like, let's say I'm blowing a nigga out by 21. And then mm-hmm. somehow I start fumbling. Nigga, the fucking uh, DeAndre Hopkins can't catch no passes. Like, fucking just some crazy shit that don't ever happen. And then what happened was later on, they found out that it was written in the code. It was a thing called DDA. It was written in the code to do that. But it's always been in the code. But they had to disclose. But they disclosed it today um, when they wrote a little memo. They disclosed it to their um, to their shareholders. So they used to be like, "Yeah, oh, nothing like that exists in the game." You know, people used to be denying it. Even the people who worked for EA used to deny it. But once they wrote it out to the shareholders, they wrote it out to the shareholders because it what the D, the DDA does is the algorithm in the DDA it makes people want to play longer. Like, so mm. if you're winning, it, if you're on a win streak. It'll make you, like if you're on a certain level of win streak, it'll make you lose. And then what happens is, you know, you want to buy more, um, you want to buy more, uh, like better players. Or if you're on a losing streak, it'll put you against somebody and then help you beat them because That's it still like wants you to NBA play. That's 2K would do. Exactly. You know what? But no, I mean, what I'm pointing out, though, it, wait, wait, what I'm pointing out no, is I see, I see, I see you say, but you know, that. they used to deny it. You know what? I was playing Tetris, the other Tetris, and I was winning like a motherfucker. No, but then they 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 they, they stopped me from winning. They 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 shut my shit down. No, they start get, giving no, you, you some get, fucked up. Yeah, yeah. No, not that. No, no. They 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 made the. 
program where it, it, it malfunctioned and I had to start over again. But they didn't want me to win because I was winning, and I guess they found I was a black guy or something. No, nah, dude, I'm telling you, man, I was tearing motherfuckers up. I was, I was getting all the. It was the one, it's one where you can get a lot of points from. The square. No, I was, I was getting out. I don't care, motherfuckers up. I had more points than everybody. I was at the top. You know, these motherfuckers love beating everybody, and they were just saying, "No, you can't beat everybody." That's what I think it is. They don't want you. They want everybody to have a fair chance of winning. Something wrong with your audio, Rich? Or maybe what do you mean? I don't know. Maybe you speaking too loud into the thing, or like I don't know. Oh. it's like a. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of. It's a little hot. Yeah, it's a little hot. Is that like too high? Yeah. yeah, that's good now. Yeah, that's good. Now it was low. It was hot. Is it all right now? That shit was. Yeah, you good now. That's okay, good. okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I yeah, had it. Good, all right. No, I'm just saying. I guess he turned down the game. Okay. But, oh, damn. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I see what you're saying on that point. They did catch uh, Twitter doing that shit to niggas. They was shadow banning, stopping niggas' reach. And stuff like that, but that's but that's that, that's back to the point I'm saying though, man. Like, you know, well, I guess it is kind of hard to just build your own shit, especially with all the infrastructure. Something similar to YouTube that's like integrated with a search engine like Google. That yeah. would be hard. To it's just see. like nobody haven't did it before. Now I thought that Elon Musk buying Twitter was going to be did, able man, was able to, but then. But Elon Musk is a lying ass, yeah, scamming he, ass. Yeah, he wasn't gonna do that shit. He backed out of the deal and shit. Dumbass. Yeah, we called him dumb. <laughs> Fuck Elon. Elon, Elon Musk is a super scammer, though. I agree with that. That nigga is a supreme scammer. I can't stand when them fucking motherfuckers be dicky, bro. They be dicky. Elon, uh, you know, I'm in the tech, tech side. These motherfuckers be dicky. This shit is, it should be disgusting how they be, they be calling this nigga the smartest motherfucker in the universe, and <laughs> he gonna, they call this nigga our modern day Tony Stark, he gonna take us to Mars, that nigga ain't going nowhere, that motherfucker, that, that nigga sitting, all them rockets he's sitting up in the sky, them shit's tax write-offs, that nigga ain't doing shit. So, 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 do you yeah. believe, do you believe that they're gonna go to the moon? Remember, there's this Artemis rocket, was supposed to go, but they canceled it, it's supposed to go off Friday. They said it was something wrong with the fuel, you know, you know, leak and all that shit. And do you Man. think they're really gonna go to the moon? Well, anyway, if 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 it's possible, he ain't gonna do it. I say that. If it's possible, he ain't gonna do it. <laughs> if it's if it's possible, that nigga ain't taking nobody nowhere. Fucking scam ass Tesla, this shit, nigga. You gotta buy one hundred and fifty dollars just to get one dollar earnings. This shit's an inflated ass stock. I mean. I mean, this shit just, like, I can't believe motherfuckers just fail for this shit so crazy, like. Like that one dude, remember that one dude, uh, he made, like, a, uh, a, a self-driving truck, and everybody know that self-driving truck is some bullshit, but this nigga still worth, like, $400 million. Oh, see, I didn't even know about that. <laughs> yeah, that's Elon Musk, basically, nigga. But at least Elon Musk got some actual shit, though. But his shit is just pushed by the government, like. He, that's all he, yeah, exactly. he just found a way to get government subsidy. That's what that well, nigga did. Yeah, he don't, he don't that nigga, Well, he's gonna make about a lot of money in about ten years from now with the with the with you know California with the electric car shit. Everybody be driving yeah, electric so I, car. I, I, I read that. I read that article. That that, that shit was kind of. You still can own non electric car. They just said by two thousand. Yeah, they're just gonna sell it. Yeah, they just not. Yeah, gonna they sell won't sell it no more. But you but you but can they, still go to Craigslist and do like private sales. Well, yeah, but they you know, did. They've been trying to phase them out, though. Yeah, they're going to phase they, them out. They, I mean, they're they, not they going to make started, them anymore. No they was already, um like, even back in, like, 2016, they was already giving, um, car, this specifically California, though, but they was giving car companies credits for every um, plug-in hybrid they, they sold. Like, they would get, like, credit for, like, a, um, like some kind of tax write-off or, like, some kind of credit for how many, like, for their fleet. Like, cause, because they... If you notice, they're taking cars out of their fleet in general. Like, just go to a website. Like, go to a, a, a what's that? You you see very little, um, very few gas powered cars in the uh, in like sedans and shit in a lot of lineups. Now it's either SUVs or electric cars and wow. trucks. So so you know what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen? It's gonna what's gonna happen is that California might be one of the first people, and a few other states gonna follow behind California. 
and you roll into the state, you're going to have to have an electric truck in order to drop off load and stuff. I'm some shit. That's what I'm thinking. Is that already? I don't know, maybe. They're actually already no, you still, no, you you still can have gas-powered cars. It's just that they not gonna, you're not going to be able to buy them at the lot. Well, yeah, well, I mean, they're probably, they're probably gonna tax you or something. yeah, they're going to tax you extra money for having having a gas car, especially if, if it's if it's the classic, the classic cars and stuff. Yeah, I can see you. You got to pay extra tax. What your boy, what your boy Elon is doing too, and what he has is a conversion kit they have to take your car from a dad going. Oh, there you go, Joe. There you go. A conversion kit. They show you know that nigga Elon a lot. <laughs> you don't like Eli. Let me tell you something. They showed it. In a, it was a a '62, I think it was a '62 Chevy truck, pickup truck. Mm -hmm. They took the engine out of it, and basically, you know, it looked like a raggedy ass typical pickup truck or whatever. This dude out in California he said, "No." He said, "When you open the front thing up, it was done with a big flat battery, almost like one big ass battery, like that." So and they he, converted uh, he it. Plugged it in with a gas. Tank. Yeah, so he could totally converted it, and you you wouldn't know the thing was on. You wouldn't know anything about it. It looks like an ugly ass pickup truck from back in the day, but you wouldn't even know it's on. You can't even see it. And it's actually faster than the gas vehicle that they had. That there was a straight six in that bag. You could get time. it, man. We so gonna, that's what they're going to get you. With. Yep, it's gonna so be yeah, all you don't want to flip over. No, we're going to get you. We got to convert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's the conversion kit is still going to be like probably 10 grand or something. So it's okay, not even. Well, yeah, nothing. well, the price hasn't come down on that yet. Unless you can't. Doing, yeah, it's gonna take time for that price to come down. Yeah, I was it's the same thing like they're doing here. So, so they what they're gonna do is that all the old cars they're gonna convert. They're gonna have you yeah. buy a conversion kit. You want to get a buy one? Yeah, so you're gonna convert or buy one. That's what they're gonna make you do. Yeah, you know. And what happens too is because they're doing it now, and like I know, like cast of the landscapers and stuff down here, and even like um at some of the farming level stuff, um they're converting you over to electric. So like you know lawnmowers and all that stuff that was you know we weed whackers and stuff like that's all gas. You got to buy like battery powered shit or electric ones in order to do hey, it. That nigga, that nigga Elon didn't lied about. Nigga said he's gonna send send ventilators to hospitals. Lied about that. Nigga said he's gonna drop money to the end world hunger. Nigga lied about that. Nigga this <laughs> space link shit. Whatever you talking about. Nigga this nigga acting like he putting satellites in the sky. This shit. That shit ain't even, man. This nigga is a liar. And let's not forget Twitter. Is lying. Let's not yeah, forget somebody, Twitter. Yeah. Said he's gonna buy Twitter. <laughs> now he talking about there's too many bots and y'all lied on this. So many bad. All he do is lie and finesse. The only thing that worked out for this nigga was the PayPal mafia shit. You know what I'm saying? The niggas <laughs> Reed, Reed Hastings and, and Peter Thiel. The motherfucker was running San Francisco like a motherfucker, and. You know, they just uh, sent, they were like the first, whatever, it was Zip 2 first. They were like the first, you know, sending money over the email and shit. That was the only thing they did. And, and they sold the shit for a bunch of money. But my thing is, though, like, he's just a nigga that, that was at the right place at the right time. They make it seem like this nigga's just, like, he Iron Man. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. nah, nah, he, this he is, comes this up with all these ideas. You know, it's like they come up with all these ideas, even like the Tesla itself. They had a sport model type looking Tesla, like a damn Porsche when you see it. But it was supposed to hit the streets a couple of years ago. What happened? Okay, we yeah, don't. Back, if you remember it, back in 2011, they had a Tesla. It was a, um, like you were saying, it was more of a sports car. I don't think it looked yeah, it like a sports car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was like a sports car. It was like a It was that roadster. Now, 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 yeah, Dennis yeah, Spurling, yeah. sometimes he, he come out with some stuff. Now, he talked about this. It was already out now. The, semi, the electric mm -hmm. semi trucks. There you go. Look well, at yeah, that one. That's a nice one there, man. They say 200,000, 300,000. Look at that. Yeah, they got the Five hundred miles. Oh, you talking about the um? You talking about semi trucks? That's right. right. Oh, about, uh, about semi -trucks. Trucks. Yeah, five hundred miles way, right dude, now. Now I, I'm not opposed to automated cars and shit, but they gonna have to have their own highway. Yeah, I feel well, you. Because about it, a lot of niggas ones. crash on the autopilot with the Teslas. A lot of niggas be crashing. Right. They gonna, exactly. Asleep. They gonna have to have their own shit. They <laughs> well, they be probably doing some fuck shit up there and only paying attention and shit. But it's called asleep. autopilot, yeah, though. Man. I know, but you no, know you can't trust the autopilot shit. all the way. You know? <laughs> so you want to sit in the car and just be doing all kinds of shit, <laughs> fucking and shit and all that, and 
you know, down in the down in the seats, looking at shit and looking at videos and shit, taking a fucking nap and shit. And come on, man, it ain't that advanced yet. You better look at that road. Because I'm expensive ass electric with these batteries and shit in these cars. It's like they were blowing up at one time, uh, uh, and then also too the cost of them. Yeah. Because I mean, I almost went in the sticker shock. We got um, a gas electric, no hybrid vehicle, and uh, we gave it, you no, know, gave it to our son and stuff for him to go back and forth, and um, it needed a battery. And I'm thinking like, okay, <laughs> you know, uh, okay, I'm thinking like a battery. You go there, they'll get you a diehard for like about 150, but shh, nah, nah, <laughs> this wasn't. Mm-hmm. They were talking five thousand dollars, <laughs> five thousand American dollars. It's like, oh hell no! Mm-hmm. This, this shit here, <laughs> man. I mean, this is like, like this is an automatic. That shit under warranty, yeah. thank God. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's um, it's about to change up though. You know, I mean, and really if you don't want to change, change with it, they're gonna they're gonna tax your ass. Oh, five G, six G, seven G. They said they're supposed to be able to run, you know, run these vehicles by that time. I, I just don't trust an autonomous vehicle, but that's, you know, who am I, though? You know. Mm-mm. Oh, shit. Keep it taking. Thank yeah, you for I that. Mean, thank, keep it taking. Thank it, you for that. It'll work eventually, though. I mean, yeah, I yeah, think, yeah, yeah, eventually, yeah. But I mean, they're going to have to have a bunch of fatalities, though. So, like, it's going to take a show, bunch of fatalities show to get it right. <laughs> Yeah, they showed semis over there in Germany. They, they were because they've been playing with it, and they they had these things in the road in the autobahn where they um you know where the satellite would pick up the particular signal or whatever, so the truck would always know where it's at, where it's going. You know, so that's a whole infrastructure change now. Now you gotta spend mad money to change up all these roads. So, you know, so you could drive truckless. I mean, personally, well, you would still gotta have somebody in the truck. They say, but. Still. You said change the roads. What? Well, what? Well, maybe that's what the infrastructure bill that Biden passes is about. There you yeah. go. There you I mean, go. That could be the case. Yeah, but they are doing we, hella construction over all the roads. Like every uh, every city, they doing hella construction. And it's not just like shit. You know, it's not just like maintenance shit. It's like actual uh, no, they changes doing to whole the roads. Shit, because I, I, I mean, I like I said, I'm right off I twenty, and um, they 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 constantly doing some damn shit on I twenty now. Especially going, you know, if you're going westbound. Well, going into Georgia, you know, it's they they always doing construction going into Georgia. But, um, that's all it is, man. All of the infrastructure project, you know, trains, all that stuff. This stuff will be running itself in about another five minutes. And Elon, if he don't hopefully lie, now because he said he had another <laughs> one. If he don't like 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 Lou was saying, if he has another one that is a um, like a fuel cell thing where you can run your house. Basically off the grid without having solar power. Hmm? So it would be like a fuel oh, cell damn. that would run your house. You know, a fuel cell. So you just charge a fuel yeah. cell up and yeah, you basically had the fuel cell would run you control your house. We I mean, it would run your house in terms of the electric and everything. Man, and, if anybody uh, gonna, I'm sorry, Drew. No, no, go ahead. Luke. I'm sorry. Man. I was say if anybody gonna change some shit, it's gonna be my nigga Jeff Bezos. Like, that's what's gonna change some shit. Nigga. Yeah. Nigga, Lex Luthor, nigga, that's what's gonna change some shit. <laughs> nah, G- Jeff Bezos just got lucky with the Amazon shit. Hey, I remember Amazon used to be shit, like that's a hell of a lot of luck. <laughs> that's like, a hell of a lot of shit. no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because uh, Amazon I used to do, they have anything on there. Like when I no, went no, in, no, I first no, they were using Amazon they, like 15 they, they, they years ago. Books. It was they were selling books. Yeah, 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 they were selling. But books. even yeah, when Amazon they just started shit, the right? Amazon was straight up books. Yeah. No, but even yeah. when they started selling other shit, it was mostly like counterfeit shit or like just, yeah. you know, random bullshit yeah. niggas was selling. It wasn't no No, ones. but the thing no, but the thing about Amazon, a lot of people don't realize selling like the the, the, the selling little bullshit Chinese trinkets, that's not mm-hmm. what that's not their money maker. AWS, the Amazon Web Services, nigga, seventy percent of the internet is run on AWS. Mm. Yeah, I remember right. hearing you or somebody say something like that. You know, like that nigga got the that nigga got the internet on lock, and and them niggas did that shit so like did nobody see it coming. Them niggas was just in the back, nobody was paying attention. Just slowly yeah, but it, surely, the so, niggas started. Well, it's uh, so his shit can automatically be integrated with the with their website, or like why uh, is it just better, or why did they use that? It's easier to uh, they got the infrastructure set up, so they got like a bunch of data centers around the world. So mm-hmm. like, if you wanna, like if you if you like you in California. You already got like a whole data center like that can if you want to start like a big app like snapchat or something like that 
you can already have all your infrastructure set up, so you ain't gotta like buy data centers and you know pay store. You just you just rent them from a- Amazon. Hmm. And then they charge you they charge you by the by the data or whatever. So in other words, they're not making any money off the little trinkets and knickknacks and shit that you buy. From yeah, no, nah, that shit ain't. No, nah, that ain't. Uh, that ain't. That yeah. ain't their money making. They money making for AWS. Them niggas. Is, I think uh, Keep It Taken. We were talking about. I think they said Apple paid them like eighty million dollars a month. Yeah. For AWS. Damn. For, for the I, for iCloud. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like like us with the bank. It was like the money maker ain't that that little bullshit ass checking account you might go open with some dude. <laughs> it's, right. the, it's, the fee, it's the fee revenue we get off your ass. <laughs> right. So, mm, right, them interest yeah. for that back, that back end that they don't see. Right, man. Don't throw on that. Them overdrafts that y'all be stacking. Yeah, uh, incorrect. Y'all, 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 y'all be stacking 50, them uh, incorrectly. That was over 50% of the revenue I made in, in my daggone branch. But basically, when I ran it, it was like, okay, fee revenue is where I made my money at. <laughs> I mean, I can sit there and be like, oh, all day long. You know, cast it over pass due fee, overdue fee, such and such fee, overdraft fee. Mm-mm. Hey man, that's how they make their money. Well, that's one of the big ways they make it. You know, same thing with debt service, you know, servicing that damn debt. Yeah, there's always more money on the back end. Yeah, there's only yeah, that stuff that's behind the scenes. See, there's one thing I would, I would probably say that they how they do the Amazon, they probably selling that like. A, a very more a very small profit margin on like the selling stuff. Mm-hmm. I would probably if, if I if I had to look at it, you know, I don't know. I'm just I think the sellers probably just got to pay a, a a fee or something to sell. What are you talking about? Sell it, sell it on the, with Amazon or sell it on, on, on yeah. eBay? Yeah, they take a percentage. The, yeah, uh, they do take. Yeah, a percentage. No, you got we got to pay taxes now. That's what I'm just, saying. Yeah, that's all you got to pay. Now. But see, the uh, thing about it, if you sell it, if you sell it some on Amazon. You send it to them and they'll host it in like one of their warehouses. I haven't sold on Amazon. I don't know. I, I haven't sold. I sold on eBay for years, but I haven't sold on Amazon. Well, Amazon, well eBay, you got to hold the stuff to your house. But Amazon, they'll take it. Like you can send all your merchandise. Oh, whatever, send all the merchandise right there and they'll sell it for you. Say that's what you're saying. Right. Yup. And they'll put it in the warehouse and then they'll ship and it. Then, and, then, and then they pay you money for. Okay. So they take their percentage out and then they pay you. Yeah, the they rest. pay you. Uh, yeah. Because they're oh, they're dealing with the overhead. They're dealing with yeah, the actual yeah, product the itself. Right. Now, that might save you exactly. some postage, but the, I was like, how, how much how much you gonna get yeah, back? Yeah, and, from the and storage. That's the thing. And storage too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but how much really money you gonna get from that? Because they might want to take a pretty large. Yeah, I've been hearing people. A lot of people be you know they be complaining about. The shit. That's why some people wrote they don't even use Amazon FBA. They'll like yeah, they'll really. find like another third party logistics center and they'll like do but, it to them. They said Walmart though was snapping on their heels though. They said yeah, Walmart, Walmart basically is doing the same thing, yeah. Yeah, they're doing yeah. the same thing. Well, same thing right. as Amazon. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They're snapping on their heels. Because and they the are. next thing with Walmart is they deliver like, you know, you order some shit on uh, Walmart dot com or whatever or in a little app or whatever mm-hmm. on your phone and that shit was at my damn doorstep like an hour i know there. that was yeah it was they they, they like, real yeah, quick they it. real quick because i ordered some stuff and, and shit was here in about an hour i know and i know for a fact now i don't know amazon profit more, but i know i know walmart operate at a very small profit margin so it's hard <laughs> it, it's hard to fucking well that's the thing it's the profit margin i mean that's what if you do that with amazon your profit margin is going to be small, but if you do it the, the, the eBay way, then you, you have a little, little larger profit margin, even if you ship it. But so what kills you in eBay, I know, is the shipping. Right. Is the but shipping. See, like, you got to find a way to, way to how to ship shit, you know, you know, you got to tell them, okay, I'm, this is a book, and you get a discount on so some shipping books. There ain't no books so are heavy. It would be like a drop ship type of thing, where somebody, they take care of everything for you. you yeah, but you be paid, but they're going to get more of more of your money. Yeah, yeah, but the thing with the drop shipping though, it take it take longer. Yeah, it takes. Yeah, because uh, yeah, it's kind of like a, a person that so you got a guy that go through almost a circle to kind of get to, <laughs> to where you got to be. But but a lot of these places don't have heavy. Um, there's no, no they're not really large margins. Shit, if I told you where the gas station was, you probably laugh. Mm. <laughs> so it's a hey, joke. What's that? How y'all doing? Oh, let's keep it hey, yo, what's up? Keep it taking. Chilling, chilling, chilling. <laughs> Yeah, um, I just wanted to say something. Uh, like, uh, Amazon started off as a bookstore. They weren't just selling trinkets or whatever. They started off as they true, true, true. marketed towards like, college students. Yeah. Oh, y'all said yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah we said the bookstore. Oh, yeah, that's not writing. Shit, ninety five, ninety six. Oh, I'm talking about now. They selling the trinkets now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they selling right. the freaking houses, the freaking uh, cars, and everything else now. Yeah, they back in hey, keep, it, to keep it real. To keep it real, you know what they were? How they really came up? Like they were that nigga Be- Bezos was collecting niggas' data off floppy bits before like a lot of people were doing it. He was like he was collecting their customer data, seeing what they like, and then he was like putting. You know, they made a little algorithm, and they was mm. like, okay, if you like these stuff, you'll like this stuff. He was doing that. He was doing that in the '90s. So he had an edge on a lot of people. So he, before they cracked down on him. Oh yeah, and uh, like the the mailing list, cause that used to be real big back then too. Earlier, when they started, yeah. you know, sending people like uh, uh, a tailored email with products you think they'll be interested in, based mm-hmm. on the information he gathered from the customers. So yeah, yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Lou right. Lou right. right. Though majority of the game. money, majority of the money they make. Is from AWS, like they they even they even cutting in the or they even getting money from from Microsoft, uh, using a platform and who else? Netflix. Netflix use their platform. They use AWS platform, uh, um, to to host all they all they uh video content, and so they pay out the yin yang to uh to Amazon. That's part of their monthly expenses. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a fact. Because, uh, like I was saying, because like a lot of people who sell on Amazon, it's better. It's really better. If you're really doing it, you're really selling some stuff. Like you got some stuff you want to sell. It's better to like have a third party logistics center, like somewhere probably in the middle of America or whatever. And you send them your stuff, and then they'll handle the product. It might be they'll still take a cut, but that might not be as steep as Amazon. I'm not sure. I've never done it, but I know I was. You know, I just know that's what people do. Yeah, they're gonna take a cut. You know, they always gonna get their pay. Yeah, they gonna take a, they gonna take that cut. I just don't know how yeah, it's just how big of a cut. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that's the only thing I was worried about. How big is a cut, man? If it's too big, you might as well do it yourself. <laughs> but then if you got a lot of product, it might be better for them to do it because you'll get overwhelmed unless you start hiring people. And then you're gonna be paying someone to help you out with employees. Yeah, and then you might as well just go ahead and pay them a cut and then, you know. Do that I, I used to work at that warehouse but, that warehouse I used to work at, they kind of operated like a third party logistics type. Like they, they sent us, they sent the Charmin in, and then we had to put the Charmin in a little zip lock bag, you know what I mean? She used a little, little plastic, mm-hmm. and we put it on the conveyor belt, and then they, they sent it to Fort Lift niggas, take it to the trucks, and they sent it to like Walmart, Target, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, like. Well, it seemed, it seemed like that. That whole thing was like a, like a scam for the regular people. Or whatever. I mean, I know y'all didn't see those. Oh, get rich out of Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All you got to do is buy the product and send it to the, you know, the facility. Yeah, the FBA, whatever, the Amazon FBA. Yep, yeah, that was and uh-huh. yeah, they was they was getting like the people that was signed up for that stuff. Because at the end of the day, the people don't. <laughs> a lot of people not good with business that they get, you know, signed up for that stuff, and then they end up keeping the product and making. You know yep. the money off of it in the in the long run. You know because they they already had the capital to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? So but you gotta understand the margins game when you in um in terms of what how much they get, how much you get. Yeah. And I see a lot of people you don't understand that. It's like okay, look, man, it might on the on the surface look like okay, ooh, I'm making all this mad money by doing this, this, and this. Mm, nah. Like I told you, it's like the gas station scenario when I had clients that owned gas stations. I'm like, damn. That's all you get is two cents on the gas, <laughs> you know. That's, that, crazy, that's it. Yeah. Whereas where they make their money okay. is them damn hot dogs. That's yeah, for the stores. Like, yeah, that's why yeah. it's so overpriced. Yeah, that's right. what, like the record yeah, business I was in. Yeah, same thing. The profit, it's, profit was it's low the selling the tapes. Flying Jays or whatever. It's them hot dogs and shit that they get you on. <laughs> you know that, yep. that raggedy crap. They make it yeah. double the triple the money off the hot dogs. Right. Where, yeah, that's how the mob. That's how the mob was able to make so much money back in the day because they was. They wasn't paying the taxes. Those companies mm-hmm. got to pay the taxes. You know what I'm saying? The mob was just coming in, creating a, a a business, or take over the business, sell the gas, and wasn't paying the taxes and close the shit down. I think that's what that dude Michael Francis was doing or whatever. Yeah. I, I don't know. Oh damn. Yeah. 
Yeah. Exactly. I wouldn't be surprised. Because the taxes Shit. is what kills them, you know? Right. Because the taxes you know, on things like that and cigarettes, for instance, another one. Taxes yeah. on cigarettes is astronomical. Yeah. They, they, I mean, they, that's why you got states like like New York. They're paying twenty dollars for a pack of freaking cigarettes, and you know, and and say some place down here, they're paying you know, like four dollars for the same pack. Oh, how much like, cigarettes down in New York? Shit, I mean, yeah, but it's pack of cigarettes. It's Brian's I mean, I don't smoke, so but the thing I know, it was like fifteen, twenty dollars a damn pack. Damn, it's, it's, you know, like, I mean, it's so, like nine, ten. You know, I see somebody else. You know, God damn! Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, pack of cigarettes. Like sixteen. It's yeah, like sixteen, eighteen dollars. Sixteen. What? Like, oh, that's off the chain. Yeah, yeah. niggas going, yeah. niggas going broke. Ooh. How are niggas still smoking? Ooh, that's what I'm wondering. How can you even yeah. afford to smoke now? Hey, a pack of cigarettes in uh Mexico is like two dollars. Yeah, it's, 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 it's two dollars to sell come back. We'll sell over here in the states. Hey, yeah, Mexico they, got I, everything. Mexico got the fire pharmacy. You can go down there and get all type of shit. Yeah, I heard about that. Totally heard about that. Yeah, you can get you can get steroids. Oh my, my ex girlfriend yeah, went get, down there. Yeah, you for like 20 bucks, 40 bucks to get some beer. Oh, no, I'm an ex wife. My ex wife went down there. She took a picture of that shit. She was in Mexico. Well, yeah, they, 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 well no, because my. Never peeled no, this shit. That's just crazy. Now, you, no, some of them painkillers, you got to have a prescription, though. They don't let you take anybody. Yeah, they not going to let you oxygen. Yeah, but you get, well, antibiotic, you get antibiotics and shit, too, though. Yeah, yeah but don't they be that, checking? Man. That's crazy. Don't no, they be checking? Don't they be checking for that stuff at the border, though? So if you bring it in like a certain amount. No, you know what I'm saying? I I can I can I can bring in some some stuff with me. They do. I, you do got that look. I, I, I think it's like two hundred, <laughs> three hundred. I want to say three hundred a day. But you got Two hundred. But you got to like I think you. No, when you come in, they ask you like, do you got anything yeah. to declare? Like, you got any fruits or yeah. you know, food oh, no, stuff like that. Fruit. People crazy on fruit. They, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, they yeah. care about in California is if you don't. Yes, yeah, it's the it's fruit they worry about. For some Man, fruit. shit. They as long as you about that, you're too. As long yeah, as like you got Mexicans border. in your seat, in your in, under know, your seats, I then know. you look you cool. <laughs> yeah, I got I got, I got I got patted down one time in like three years. Oh, you did? I got For what? They, they, they got thought about fruit. They fruit will have you have you damn damn near locked up. I had an orange in the damn car by mistake one time. <laughs> damn. Dude, flip, dude, flip the hell out. He like, we, you got to go over here. They they tear the car apart and everything. I'm like, I for an orange. I'm like, oh come on. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, my wife had it in the car. Damn. It was for lunch. She had it in the car back, you know, she forgot all about it. So so Luke, so Lou, 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 why they pat you down? The Joe Toy story about it, the orange. It, 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 it was it was it was just yeah. a random and he just patted me down, it, you know, it was just random. Yeah, they do they, they do random ones too. Yeah, they do random ones. Yeah, it was just, it was just a random pat down. Uh, that's the only time it ever happened to me though. That was like like three years. Going going into America, you know. <laughs> Leaving the country is easy. Going back into the country. That's the is problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the yeah, problem. Yeah, they be bringing, hey, they be bringing, because they got, like, they be bringing weed in New Mexico, because they got the dispensary yep. right on the border. So they can be getting all their weed. They're going right, they go right to Mexico. It's kind of funny, because, like, you bring bringing drugs into Mexico. It's kind of funny. But they don't check or nothing. They don't hey, give a fuck. drug mule, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hey, it was one time with some niggas in my apartment club, but they asked me to bring some weed, you know, from the uh, dispensary the gate. They would give me money and shit. I didn't stop that shit, though. I was like, damn. Yeah, they had a couple of soldiers when I was living down uh, in uh, California. Uh, up there, up there near the, whatever that Marine base is, right there, north of, uh, in between San Diego and L.A. Yeah, Whatever that is. Yeah, Pendleton. In Oceanside. Yeah, Pendleton. Yeah, yeah, Oceanside. Yeah. Oceanside. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. they had, like, I think it was like eight soldiers they had uh caught but they was they was bringing they was bringing people across the border yeah uh, some coyotes okay yeah they no, was yeah, because um, you they, know they, they don't check the marines down there yeah they don't yeah, check they you some marines down there that they were bringing that shit in they were bringing yep. people in um mm -hmm. i think it was like about eight or ten of them like you said that yep. they got caught because uh, like you said the camp pendleton's right there yeah um Miramar, Miramar, um, yeah, Marine Miramar. Air Station, yeah, Miramar yeah. Marine Air Station is there, and then they um they was bringing them in, and they got caught. Same thing they used to hey, do the, back when I was in there with drugs. The same thing, you could bring in what, like you know, and tanks and artillery pieces and all that shit. They didn't check us. <laughs> you yeah. know, you come back from freaking Libya or some crazy ass place you was at. They didn't check our <laughs> shit <laughs> back in the eighties. They didn't check. Uh -huh. hey, you brought that crap in. Mm -mm. Hey, that's what ain't that how uh, how the New York cat was bringing it bringing in the yeah. heroin? 
Yeah, which is Frank Lucas. Um, yeah, yeah, Luke. Frank Lucas. Yeah, that's how he was. Yeah, and them, and them, and them body, and them bodies, wasn't it? In body yeah. bags, yeah. yeah. He'd bring them in body bags. Yeah, but um, that's how they. No, yeah, they, they no, they were in bodies. They was cracking niggas' bodies open and. Oh, yeah, oh they were doing. That's right. He, he did it in body. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because you had white cat that was bringing them in body bags. <laughs> you know they um, because they don't open the. <laughs> you mean it's the same thing with the caskets? Chances are they they you know they, they always gonna open that damn casket. After once they once it's been done, it's been dealt with. Everything's up. That's it. But see, but see, that's how I know that niggas in the military was complicit in that shit. Cause they know way. I mean, cause Frank Lucas, he was like enlisted. I mean, there had to been some other people involved in that shit for him to you know get it. You know what I'm saying? For them to crack open niggas' bodies and sew them back up, like you know what I'm saying? That shit wasn't. Yeah, like, it, it was way more. Yeah, he had a whole operation. Yeah, yeah. You had the cat that was down there at the daggone, uh, okay, at the medical facility. You know, the the, the, the I mean, well, we had corpsmen. You know, the corpsman that was down there or whatever, and the doctors or something. You had all. You had a lot of people on the payroll, probably. You yeah, and then the army. Like, yeah. yeah, and then the army they got a a job for that. It's called mortuary affairs. I think it's a a ninety two yeah. series, and they deal with, you know, uh. Collecting the bodies and sending them back. Yeah, and I think they do. I think they do all the services because I think it goes to an army base. Even if you are mm-hmm. Marine or Navy, or whatever. I think if you're killed, um, I think they send you there. It's either there the Air Force. Like I know it goes to Dover, Delaware. <laughs> it goes there, and then it goes to someplace else where they do the bodies at. And then they, you know, they have all the uniforms of the person of the individuals, you know, for service or whatever. But yeah, they have, that's that's a whole job unto itself. Yeah, I think they deal with everybody. So, you know, same thing with um the burial detail. I think the army does that too for everybody. <laughs> hey, but that's what that's what Mister Organic said. He was doing. Uh, he was a coyote <laughs> bringing yeah. over Mexicans. <laughs> yeah, they shit. That's what the Marines. Yeah, they, was doing. yeah, they'll, they'll give you like if you are on text. Like I know they be paying people like to pick niggas up at the border. They like yeah, like they soccer moms. Money. Like soccer moms be picking up niggas at the border, get them like five grand, ten grand. <laughs> they pick up a mini man. That's crazy. Yeah, and it, it'd, be it'd, be it. it'd be motherfuckers you would never expect. Yeah, it would have to be. Because they got to be able to get over without getting caught. Mm-hmm. You'd be surprised. Yeah. Shit, and then they, they watch the borders. Now, the funny part is, we look at the southern border and they say all these problems and this and that. They watch more the northern border than they do the southern one. Because they would have at the border at nighttime in Buffalo, of course, um, shit at the, like the waterfront areas. Because you know, you got Lake Erie, then you're sitting there looking at Canada. They have, um, it was actually a small marine detachment that would sit there and they just watch the border. Mm. I'm thinking, like, because people, they would catch people every now and then <laughs> trying to swim over or. Which I don't know, that'd be crazy too because of the rapids are. You know, it's, yeah, it's but bad. I, you know what else? What's funny how they be watching all these damn immigrants, like all the like the borders. But I, I, I thought that most of the people who um are illegal here came here on visa, and like just had they a visa expired. Yeah, they overstayed yeah, their visa. What, yeah, that's yeah, that's either either that or their parents brought them over when they was kids back in like mm-hmm. the nineties when they were in all that crazy street, and then they kind of <laughs> just and they never they never. You know, they, they weren't born in America. They came when they was like two or three. And then, and then right. they get they get, they get in trouble. Is, those are the put them in a ones. book sack. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, it's much. hella illegal uh, white people and Chinese people over here. Yeah, it is. It's like a lot of yeah. like European, like Greek motherfuckers be illegal and shit. Well, they don't tell you about that. They always concentrate on the Hispanics and or Haitians hey, hey, you know or whatever I'm like that. That's crazy. And y'all know Haitians are considered Latino? Yeah, they don't huh? know Hispaniola. Yeah, I What's didn't that? know that. They said, yeah, the definition of like Latino is like you come from a, you know, a, a, Latin, a, 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 a Latin country with a Latin based language. And French yeah. French is a Latin based language. Yeah, French is, is a Latin based language. French? Yeah, I thought French, French was different French, from French. Spanish. French is no, different from Spanish, man. Spanish. Come on. No, no, it's different, no, no, but, it's but it's a same. Latin based language, though. Yeah, it's, they have French, like the Italian, same grammar structure. It's Italian and Spanish. Yeah. It, I thought it was yeah, considered like, like, Caribbean. So, is that a difference? Nah, or nah? I, no, people, I never thought no, that French was different from Spanish. I thought it was a, both yeah. different. 
Oh, it's different. They're black, so people assume like would would consider them Caribbean because technically they are Caribbean. Yeah, but that's they, what I'm saying. Latino like, too. Okay, it's a Latin yeah. country. Well, that's okay. That's weird. Like, really that's country. weird. Yeah. They consider Haiti. Yeah, Haiti would be considered one, actually. Then, if that's the case. This, but that's French. They they their language is French. Yeah, it, no, it's Haiti. French, Spanish. Their language no, Spanish. is Spanish. It's, uh, what, what is it now? Creole is a derivative of French. Yeah. But, so it's, it's mixed so with, uh, so it's mixed with sp- French and Spanish. Spanish. It's Spanish. That's what Creole is. Oh, okay. Okay. Shit. okay. Yeah. 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 So it's so so it's Spanish, French, oh, Portuguese, wow. Romanian, Italian. They're all Latin. Yeah. All of those are considered. Yeah. Why would they Creole. consider them Latin? Not, Creole is not not. Spanish? What? That's what I'm saying. No, it's, it's, no, it's with a no, bunch of words. A, no, it's with a Creole bunch. is a hodgepodge of languages. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a I know what it is because my grandmother Creole, but I, I mean, it's it ain't no, Creole. it ain't no Spanish. It's, it's, it's Haitian Creole. It's Haitian Creole. No, I said it's no, it's it's a derivative of, of, yeah. of French. Oh, I know, oh, I know, it's a together. derivative of French, but I heard somebody say Spanish as well. So no, I'm not, like, no, it's not okay, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, all right, maybe I'm that. tripping. Okay, no, no, he was just he. No, they just named issue. all the languages. They just named yeah, somebody was naming oh, okay. all the uh, I got romantic you. or all the Latin languages or whatever. Yeah, I got so, you. so you My basically, bad. you mean your your Spanish speaking and French speaking countries in the Caribbean, and then you know, of course, South America. Because, you know, Creoles, there's a lot never... of Creoles in, in Louisiana, in mm-hmm. certain parts of Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. That's where all them light-skinned chicks come from. Yeah. Um, but my thing was, I just never, you know, I just found out that yesterday, I never considered it Haitians Latin. But when I got the direct definition of Latino, I was like, oh, okay. That, don't, that still don't make no sense, Lou. That's still, because... You you tell a French person he's part of Spanish, he gonna be getting all he getting on your ass. Well, they're not. Well, no, I didn't, no, they're I not didn't say Spanish. I, 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 I didn't say Spanish. I didn't say Spanish. No, Haitians are not considered Latino. My wife is Haitian. They're considered Caribbean. In the sense, in the sense, is if they're American, they're American. But when they come as immigrants and they don't have, and they just have their green card, they're considered Caribbean people. <coughs> they're not no, considered no, Latino. No, 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 hold on. Well, no, no, no. So, no, I'm saying by the direct definition of Latino, they no, fall under that. No, no, because they're not considered Latino. Their side of the island look, is not look a Latino, definition Latino. Based, Right. Their side of the island is not a Latino based uh, country, it's a no, French based country. With a no, with a derivative of French and African language, the country, the island of Hispaniol is not the description of both sides. It's just the description no, of the well, island I, I know, and, the, and, I know the, and the geographical uh, name. But no, the I know, Haitians, I know Haitians are um, not considered Latino. I know they don't. And the, I know they and don't the, and the nation is not considered there. a Latino nation. But they are. Yeah, they, 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 they no, are. no, Haitian is not considered a Latino nation, bro. It's considered a Caribbean nation. It's not. Consi- yeah, it's considered. A, it's considered a West Indian nation. It's not considered a Latino nation. No, they do. The, no, I'm just saying. Like I know that's. They do, I guess that might be the nuance to it because they don't consider themselves. No, that's Latino not the nuance to it, bro. Because the Dominicans the did what they did that, to them. Right. It has. But, it has nothing to do. But with I'm that. saying though, it's with the, Dominicans they, they def- or. I'm just saying, bro. Like it's just like how we're American, but we don't. It's not. It's the they're same not thing. No, they're considered Haitian. They're not considered. Latino, hey. they're considered West Indian or Caribbean. No, it, they're anybody not from a, a country of Latin origin. That's not Latin, a country of Latin, Latin origin. Haiti, Haiti is not Whoa. a country of Latin origin at all. It has no Latino origin at all. It has a French bro. origin. Its origin is French. It's you can French, look it up, French, bro. It's French, it's, a, you can look it it's up. French, a, it's French, no, it's not. French a is a romance language. language. French is a it's romance the same language. Thing. They all came from okay. Latin. They, bro, what they French, mean by Latin, Latin is this. Spanish, they all Latin come from Latin. They're all Latin-based right, language. It's not, Romantic it's not, languages are Latin-based languages. That's Latin. <laughs> that's the language Latin, not of describing Latino. That's the language Latin, a defunct language. Okay. That these I didn't say Hispanic. Notice I didn't say Hispanic. I know you didn't say Hispanic. I didn't say you said Hispanic. No, I know. I'm just... But you see, French that's is like a the, romance language. It's, it's a considered Latin, a romance language. A, a romance language. I got the answer for you right here. Okay. Go ahead. It's it's a French is a romance <laughs> language. Well, the meaning that it is descended primarily from a vulgar Latin. Right. Okay, but it says Mexico, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Cuba, French-speaking Caribbean nations, Central or South America. That, that's, it right yep. that's it right there. That's it right there. Speaking, speaking region. Man, they, that's oh, so why are not Spanish, Portuguese, not Latino or Latin descent? Haiti is not on the Latino part. 
Say and that's fucked up that they say Haiti name. Okay, Haiti is not on the Latino part. The French is not part of they, what Haiti they say is not part. Latino part. He didn't yeah. say Haiti. He said okay, it's a no, Latino. To be considered, okay, no, be, to be considered Latina, Latino, Latinx, um, you or your ancestors must have come from Latin American countries such as Mexico, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Cuba, French-speaking Caribbean nations, that's it, that's Central Haiti. or South America, though English-speaking regions. So in other that's words, Haiti. they're saying... I mean, they're saying that Jamaica, for instance, Dominica and the Bahamas, even though they're English speaking countries, they don't get lumped into Latin American because somebody thinks of them as Latin American countries, but technically they're saying they kind of are. <laughs> because Brazil because because Brazil is a is a Latin, not a Latin American a Latin. country, technically but, <laughs> yeah. right, right. It is Brazil a Latin, is a Portuguese, Portuguese based country. No, it's a right. Latin it's no, it's considered Latin America. They say Portuguese, Spanish, and French, and Italian are, are, are Latin cultures. Haiti, Haiti, so just, French, Haiti, Haiti just not considered Latin because their culture originated from the Roman, Roman Empire. They just not mix, okay. so niggas say Caribbean as opposed yeah, to Latino. That's not, but, yeah, and that's the people not, spoke, that's spoke that's Latin in Rome. So they say that all that language came from the Roman Empire and they spoke Latin. Right. So the derivative right. of, that's, so that's all right. the all the origins come from Latin, the okay. Latin, now, Latin also, language. Yeah. Now, also, right. is saying here now, Suriname, which is um not a part of Latin America. Yeah, they speak Dutch. They speak Dutch or something. No, that's different. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, yeah, that's different. Suriname, that's different. it does it different. They're saying which but, is um, but they're in South America. But like Belize is in Central America, and right, <coughs> you know what I'm saying? And they speak English. Chandoris. Yeah, oh, this is weird, yeah. man. Wow. Yeah, okay. From, from yeah. what I, from what I'm reading too, it's like they, it, it's I guess it's a misconception or not misconception, but they it, they not really looked at as Latin because the Latin or other Latin countries don't. Don't recognize them as Latin because of their skin color. And, and, and that's you know exactly. they, they and that's what I was saying. Yeah, because yeah. they actually white people. They are actually European white people, basically. Your mic hot, my nigga. It is. Is that loud? Yeah, they, yeah the Haitians are. Uh, the fuck? They, they yeah, skin but, tone so is black. So, so Latino. Color, but, Latin. but hold on. Wait, 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 that's basically what they're hold on, saying. This, hold on, this is what I'm saying though. Hold on. The reason why I said that, because I know what y'all saying with the conflict with them Dominicans, how they be treating them because they dark skin and they, you know. But at the end of the day, they are Latin. That's that's why I said it. I know they're we don't look at it like that. But due to the definition of Latino, they are Latin. They are Latino. Latin. Now, I don't, I don't, Bro, don't look Latin. at them like this because of skin color. I'm talking about the definition. Let me go. Now, actually, Lou, what Lou is saying is actually right. It says Latinos refer to French, I mean, sorry, to France, Spain, Thank Italy, you. That's what I'm and saying. other regions where these languages are spoken. Nowadays, the definition comes of Latin America, da 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 da. The former, no, it tells you about the former, former uh, Roman Empire. So they're basically they're saying anybody who speaks French, Spanish, and Italian is considered Latino. That's what I'm saying. I, that, 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 I learned that. I learned that yesterday. That's why I brought it. Up, I brought it up. The land is running the land. Based on that, I mean, that, it don't. No, it's just that. That's they. I mean, they speak. They speak French. It's a Latin. I mean, Joe just the, 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 how they didn't put. I heard. I heard what he said. I heard what he said. You know what I'm saying? How they didn't, you know how they, I know, you see how they didn't say Haiti name? That's, that's what it's that's from. The they point. Don't, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, it was almost like a, just lump them all together and say, yeah, those group of people over there. And that's why I'm saying it's based on them owning the land more than them culturally being connected to it. That's the point that I'm trying to make. That, right. That's what I'm saying. I get what y'all are saying in the technical definition, but in the cultural... Yeah, exactly. Only the, tech, yeah, only the technical definition. That's all I'm... That, I get what you're saying in the technical way. I sense I get that. Because I'm with y'all. Y'all right. I, mean, I know everything y'all talking about, how they don't treat them like they really, you know, they be treating them like, you know, the Dominicans, you know, they be fucking them up and all that bullshit. No, I'm with you on that, but I'm just saying, like, regardless of how them Dominican niggas or anybody else feel, they Haitians are Latin. Due to the deck, just yeah, the right definition, because it goes on to say basically about Brazil, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, Haiti, Honduras, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, and Cuba, where they have huge black populations, basically in uh, Latin America, and they they consider them, of course, Latino. But they have Brazil here is Latino though too. Yeah, Brazil is the largest. It's the largest Latin American country in the world. 
And Brazil was once the largest black country that had the most black people in the world until Nigeria replaced them. So that's Nigeria even passed, they put by. weirder. Yeah. That's an even weirder irony that it's considered the, the the largest Latino country in South America, well, in the world, I guess. And then on top of it, it has the largest black population in the world. Well, it used to have the largest black population in the world. Largest. Literally. Second largest now. Yeah, I think it's 90 million. 90 million is a change. And being, and I think another criteria that I was, when I was looking at it said also being from the Americas. So like, you know, Central America, all that, South America, North America. We're you from North America. Latino. We're not Latino. So that's saying, we're, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, because we speak English though. That's we that's speak why English we're though. Latino. So that's we're not Latino. Latino. We're, Latino. In North we're not yeah, we're Latino. Not, uh, English is right. English, English we're not, is right. we're not in Mexico. We inhabit the whole, damn it, a whole North America. No, English is a, English is a Germanic language. But it says English in there. It said people who spoke English. But you gotta be. Read the definition. You gotta and be Joseph. a Mexican. You gotta be in Mexican area. To be, <laughs> you gotta be surrounded by Mexicans to be uh to be Latino if you speak English. Yes, like that's what I'm like saying. Belize I don't even think that that that's. But America old, wasn't. I, but but America was never conquered by Spain. It was never. Well, yeah, Louisiana kind of was. Yeah. What, yeah, Florida, the South, Florida, Florida, Florida. Yeah, so I'm about to say Florida. Florida. I was about to say that. Yeah, no, no, no. They only had Florida. I think they had Florida, but Jackson but the French had 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 Louisiana and a lot of the other Louisiana, other stuff. Yeah. Texas. yeah, they had that. They they pushed no, the French out. They pushed by, the French out. It it just go by your area, and if you uh speak um if you close to niggas who speak Spanish, that's pretty well. No, you got the if you go about the original <laughs> American <laughs> map, the thirteen colonies, um. We're pretty much, of course, English. Yeah. Right, parts yeah. of those colonies that we compare to those states that now that are now states like New York and all that. The other half of those states were actually French. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And then. No, and then no. What spent, I'm saying. No, 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 the territory. Joe finish. Let Joe finish. Because what happened is, the, I mean, the, the French pretty much ran in a, a, almost a swath across the middle part of the country, and the Spanish had everything. Of course, Texas, mm -hmm. Mexico. What we consider Texas, New Mexico, California, all of that now. All the way up to damn near Montana, but but, but but Joe, my rebuttal to that is that it, it was a territory that's yeah, different territory. than like yeah, a, yeah, yeah a no, territory they, they don't, really have, yeah. They don't yeah they don't have yeah. rights they don't really have it's just kind of like a you know what I mean but you know it's not I mean? the they same. were territories in the sense of they became like say oh, like Oklahoma and all those countries you know states that were a part of actually something else until we purchased from the span no, the, 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 war the Spanish didn't own the Spanish owned like Louisiana not Louisiana but no, the French no the French owned Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah, French yeah. owned that. The whole big part of the middle part of the Louisiana country. Purchase. Yeah. That's what, but that's what the right. Louisiana purchase was. It was right. all that shit we know as Nebraska, Oklahoma, all that shit. Yeah, all, about, everything to the middle they, part. You know basically, French. It was like a dollar per acre, right? So, but but the, my question is, right? Does I don't? I guess not. Y'all said it. I guess not. I guess. Yeah, because I don't like know, I said, it just seems like it's a weird French. definition. You know what I mean? Like it's just it seems archaic and outdated. Like it doesn't match yeah. to that's, what that's, it's. That's, that's what I was saying with the nuance. The nuance makes it. You know, because I, I didn't know that either. It, it blew because my mind. They, just, I we, I think we they basically just lumped all the niggas in South America together, except the ones that's controlled by the yeah. British. That's right. what they did. Right. 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 Yeah, right. pretty much. Yeah, pretty right. much. Yeah, that's exactly what it did. Because we're, we're three right. different things. Like, we're actually three different things. Because think about it. Like I said, the English was the eastern part. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it, in some parts of it was Dutch. Okay, then you had the middle part was the French. Yeah. Okay, the Spanish had the freaking west coast part. And mm -hmm. then the Russians had Alaska. Exactly. <laughs> and Hawaii was its own day on um, a kingdom. Hawaii. Was coming up, Polynesian day. Y yes. And so. So yeah, so the Russians. You gotta remember, because the Russians is uh, talking about they might want Alaska back. <laughs> so I mean, they, I don't know how they gonna get it back, but but you know, yeah, yeah, Mexico trying to, like, hey, they, hey, Mexico got finessed so hard. Damn, when you really look at it, them niggas got fucking fleeced. It was that war they had the Mexican yeah, U.S. war. Okay, and then you want to go, you want to go that one? Okay, that's why we got Puerto Rico, the Philippines at one point, and um. Something else we got from the Spanish. No, I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about Mexico. Like we he, bought, yeah, he's talking about California. the Mexican and the U.S. Yeah. war that happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mexican American war. Yeah, yeah, because the Spanish American I mean, war is when we got Puerto I mean, Rico and um, which we call it. We we got like fifty percent of America <laughs> off the God, yeah, damn, pretty like much all revenue coming off that shit. Yeah, because I mean California alone, shit, it's the what the fifth yeah, largest country. 
Yeah, yeah, they still had California, they'd be cooking. Yeah, man. And, and Texas. <laughs> and Texas. They won't call so it California. California. California is a big state, man. You drive they all the way up, it, man. Though. You be driving for a long time. Yeah, it'll go through the Shasta Mountain. Yeah, all that shit. They'll no, have not really. All the oil you know what? Not really. A lot of them. All that oil wealth, they'll be all right. They'll make off pretty good. All that oil wealth from the Gulf and California and mm-hmm. shit like that, they'll do yeah. pretty good. Yeah, they would. And then the thing is, we got, like I said, we taken in a lot of places. U.S. Virgin Islands later on from the, um, from the Danish, uh, Puerto Rico. Nah, they, the Sp- nah, they, they wouldn't world. have, I don't think they would have Silicon Valley like that, but uh, they, they, they would have a lot of other shit that they good at. They would have where Los Angeles is, though, at least up to where. Well, no, they, uh, no, like no, 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 they got, no, no, they got Los Angeles. They got. Oh, you Mexico. say, oh, you, you oh, mean Los Angeles? Angeles? I, oh, okay, I see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, the Mexicans they got all the way up to uh all the way up to probably Salinas. Sa- oh, that's right. Yeah, no, they was, yeah, no, yeah, I was, Salinas. Yep. I was yeah, saying I don't, right. I don't right. think I don't think they would have I don't think they would have created Silicon Valley. That's what I was saying. I don't think they would have. No, no, I think no, they're gonna no. take this whole shit back. I'm be honest. I don't think so. I think I they, already, they already they already got place. they already got Los Angeles on. That's, that's what, what I was saying. saying. They, they got, got they, they got California they gonna take this whole shit back. I think estimate this white man. Come on, man. That, that's what I was about to say. I'm sorry. I take that back. I take that back. I don't I don't uh, I think they're gonna try to take it back and the shit's mm-hmm. just gonna go bad, but I think they're gonna <laughs> eventually just Jeanette race and, and burst and they just they're just gonna get it back. Just natural whatever. Yeah, but but the you got the numbers. Because uh, of the you, numbers, you know, they might end up getting it back gonna, through the numbers. Nah, gonna Mexican, fight very hard through the numbers. Mexicans love numbers. white people too much to uh to fight America. Mexicans love no, white people. No, 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 Fight no America. Yes. Yes. don't like white people like that. No, they know how to play. They know how to play with them. Fight, to fight the white man that's letting the Mexicans come in. That's what we're talking about. We're and not no, talking about oh, white guys from the country from the Boondocks. They, they ain't feeling the Mexicans. No, we're talking about a civil war. We're not talking about no Mexican and white people fighting. No, we're talking about a civil war between the white people who don't want it to be diverse and, and have other groups take over and the group that's like fuck it is gonna happen anyway. Now, now, now you know, you know, know that that book was a turning down. It was one guy was a racist dude. Not sure the diary. Yeah, he was talking he about the wars gonna be between the, the Hispanics and the white. And then in the movie The Purge, the last purge, what was that about? Hispanics. What you know? And the white, not nah, had to do with no black people. Mind your business. No, no, the first one. Oh. No, I'm not the Turner Diaries. I'm talking about the other other book. Perfect. Some other. Oh, now she came on. Because the Turner Diaries, a long time ago, he was talking about the war was going to start between Hispanics and blacks. I mean, the whites. Hispanics and I'll say because the Turner Diaries, I think, talks about that, though. Yeah. You talking I don't about know about necessarily the Spanish. I know because at the end of it, I know they talk about fighting the Chinese after they take over um, America. They talk about fighting the uh, Chinese. Who? Oh uh, yeah, the. the yeah, I, um, I think I think yeah I think yeah, I think China might be. No, no, no. Who's gonna fight Chinese? Yeah, we talking about who's gonna America. fight Chinese? In, in the Turner Diaries, they talk about uh, in the Turner Diaries oh, after they oh, take yeah, over America because that's what it's yeah. about. It's about taking yeah. over America. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, dude, after, um, dude, they got nuclear weapons. All they gotta do is just hit them through. I'm, that's it. That's man, it. It's I'm finished. Saying, I'm just Come talking on. about the book, Reg. I'm not saying that. Yeah, that's, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Them motherfuckers are stupid. They stupid as fuck. No, but the thing is, with with them, they don't even need the nukes, bro. Like we depend. I mean, we got the trade deals with them. Like they, you look at all these politicians. They got Taiwanese, you know, exactly, exactly. They wives. I mean, they are Chinese national. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chinese might not even have to fire a shot because fucking economically, we could take them. They could take us out economically. Right. So, yo, let me. Y'all don't think it's gonna be a civil war? Y'all really sleeping? No, I'm not saying. It. Look, look, something's gonna happen. Really? AAC, something's okay. gonna happen. But I don't it's think it's gonna be like what you think it's gonna be. And that's the it's thing. We don't know what is what we where it's gonna, gonna turn be. out to be. It's gonna be worse than what we think it's gonna be. How? It's gonna be How? worse because they're gonna do it Where? in every well, capital in every state. They're but but, but if, if we have a civil war, that's gonna open up the. It's AC, Trump, they don't care. They rather AC, stick the battle AC, and let somebody. AC, else you gotta understand, they might win, even if they Red, fucking 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 nationals win. Red, they're, they're gonna be open. Gonna, they open the country up to attack the other people, Red, and then they're gonna just gonna nuke them. And that's the it. And then there you go. Game over. They're gonna yeah, stick they gonna the battleship, and they're gonna regroup as the thirteen original colonies, and they're gonna try it again. 
They're not going to sink the battle. Shit, yeah, man. They're not going to come gonna... try to start no 13 colonies. There's no way. Wait, man, Red, wait, you you, said... you got to fix your mic, Red. You killing they're me. Gonna, they're going to, listen, man. They're going to sink the battleship, bro. They're going to sink the battleship. Like, we're going to know the fact that there's going to be a civil war. There's going to be a civil war. Between it's gonna who? be. A, I just said between who, bro. I just said it. It's no, gonna be between. It's that. gonna be between the white people who are allowing diversity versus the white people who are like diversity is about to wipe us out. It's gonna. It's the oh. same people that it's all the usual suspects. Yeah, oh, that's, a, well, that's, a, that's, a, that's already going on. That's already going on. I call that's it, what I'm called, saying. But it's now it's the gonna, un, listen, it's and, the and I'm gonna tell you what's gonna be the tender box. If Trump's get indicted for what he just did in Mar-a-Lago, it's gonna set it off. They're hey, not. We wait, hey, we wait. Hey, they, hey, AC, they got indicted him because he they had, got it. He had top secret. Documents that shit no that was so don't that don't, motherfucker no president brought it. home. Look, Nixon was the only one that came close to that shit. No president brought home a whole what? Uh, they see, said he was trying to conceal Nixon the shit. shit. They yeah, said he was trying to was purposely conceal yeah. the shit. He was trying to purposely hide mega secret fucking uh shit, man. Like, come on. And they got an indictment when they indict him, it's gonna pop off. Gonna no, I do think off. I do think just like how the dude who just got locked up, he said, I still think they stole the uh the election. The nigga who just the white dude who just got locked up. So I I, I think there are there are like some sleeper cells, some trumpet sleeper cells that's ready to go off whenever he say so. I do he think that's true. Than, I agree. He got more that. than Trump sleeper cells sitting in his motherfucker. The enemy already been here. Now, He's already here. Tell me <laughs> why 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 they didn't have it put the hit out on him. Oh, who? Because that'd be even worse. That'd yeah, be yeah, if they kill Trump, if they kill Trump, it'll be it'll be hell of a be even worse. Uh, uh, no, 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 Listen, Fred, Fred, if Trump, Fred, if Trump, if it would be a bad time for his ass to die. God forbid something happened to that man. Bro, it's over. This country is Yeah, over. if Trump if Trump dies, it's going to be some riot. If that nigga dies anyway. Riot? They might do it anyway. You say riot? Because you're not in the bad too much. So, so if he uh, dies just naturally, if he said the motherfucker's going to go to war anyway because he died naturally with natural causes? Yes. Yeah, they're going to think that we so, killed so, him. So, so you're in a, you're in a no win situation. So they better have a Trump win. Win. That's, that's, win. Win. that's the they point bet. I'm trying to make to you. And y'all talking they about and all this other stuff. That's the point I'm trying to make. Hey. They're going to say, y'all, y'all killed him. So you might as well go they to better war have anyway. a, uh that's They better the have a Trump clone somewhere. Because these white boys, they are going to kind of turn up a little bit. Ain't no kind of bad. Ain't no kind of And the thing is, and the bad thing about it is, they're not going to want to call the National Guard because they don't want to kill a bunch of white people. So they just really gonna be turning up to win in a fair fight. Ninety to ninety-five percent of these ninety to ninety-five percent of the guys that we're talking about are either ex-military or ex-police. That's true too. Ninety-five percent. That's true too. So their weaponry is gonna be. I don't know if it's that high, but I do. They're not gonna let nobody in that don't have the skill set and that they can't trust in some kind of code. You're not just going to come off the street, not the militias, but I'm talking about the ones that's going to put in that work. I ain't talking about the weekend warriors that be playing <laughs> in Ohio and shit like that. I'm talking about the yeah. motherfuckers they that had their arms on them. each other the marching up. <laughs> right, I'm talking about them. You the but players. there are going to be, because you got to remember, it, they already setting up for shit. Remember the, the kidnapping shit. Remember, it was a it was a um group called Rape. Uh, oh, they, well, it was called Grape uh, right Waffum it, or something like that. But anyway, they was talking about going around raping white women to have their babies. So it's white people like they really believe this Turner Diary shit. They really trying to turn up and uh, like trying to trying to make the um you know trying to replenish the white white uh trying to replenish the white um what's his name the white race the white that's all like the Russian war. I think you was back in those Nazis when I'm over here. So if something go off, it have numbers. But that's what the Roe versus Wade was to replenish their stock. Yeah, like yeah, they exactly. They can't compete with the Africans and the Spanish, Latino, the Africans and the West. But they, they, they downfall. They, 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 they can't keep up. The Indians, the, the, they can't keep up. They downfall so they, is that these white hoes don't care though. That's their downfall. That's why they gotta try to force we get them because 
They they don't care about that so shit. They just want they. Okay. What you say that they gonna have to force you white women to go back and be with the white men, fuck niggas. Right? Yeah, they are because even if they don't want they, they don't want the white dudes that that that's gonna be in them groups. They don't want them dudes. So they are gonna have to do something because it's over. Like in the next fifty, and, and what I will say though is that they will probably just graft another race into being white. They, I mean, if push come to shove, that's what they're going to do. With, with who? Probably Mexicans, quote unquote Latinos. That's probably what they're going to do. But at the end of the day, they still might they, they still might not even really want to do that. But the ones that can pass, that's the what they're going to do. I know yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Maybe like uh, is, Spain, the motherfuckers of Spain or Portugal or some shit. Nah, nah, the ones from Mexico. It's white people. In, it's white. It's white. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know people. that, but the, the white. There's a bunch of white Mexicans. Texas. Not the dark skinned ones and the brown skins. Yeah. Nah. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, they just got to find the uh, the tall white Mexicans. I think and when the motherfuckers say, come on TV and say that they indict Trump, bitch, I think shit just not going to go right. They going to do it, man. I and I think, they, I think they're gonna not going to indict They going to do that shit. Man. That shit. They're, they're gonna, gonna I don't think they're gonna do it just so they don't so they can save the shit. I'm telling you. They because it's anxiety. Yeah. Listen, they even if it, but, but, but wait a minute. He's gonna get elected again. He's gonna get elected again. Okay, but no, 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 no. But hold up. If you got an indictment, but okay, and say you get a conviction, but it doesn't mean that you have to do jail time at all, though. You can say that on your You're fucking with the feds, you're going to jail. Ain't no I mean, but I'm saying in the case like know, this, I mean they can they listen, you know check, mean, it out, but, check it out, check it out. The thing out. about it is that okay, but like it, bro. but like I've said I before hate. though, you would have think of a time if think about it, if this this would just set a precedent that we don't want. So because what happens is the next cast that come in power sit back and say, Well, yo though, let's look at such and such and such and such what they did. <laughs> you know, and um you, you That's you, my point. So you, it, you starting something that's yeah, it's, it is just a slippery that, slope open right, to the disgusting third saying. world politics right, like, where niggas right. be killing the, uh, the yeah, right. This, right. this right. becomes right. some banana right. republic type shit. Right. It's because you got to think about, okay, the bullshit. next cat comes in and say he Republican. Oh, he yeah. Republican. Like, oh, Let's so, yeah, remember Obama when motherfuckers did. got Trump? Yeah, we found this tape in the back of your car. Nigga, you got 30 years. You know what I mean? That shit, that shit just going to go crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I would think, you know, convict him. And that's why they're not going to indict him. And then he's gonna yeah. run for president and win. Yeah, that, and they, win. yeah. I'm about to say that the Democrats really ain't got too many. And it's not. The it's not that it's gonna be because Trump. of the turnout. They're gonna cheat because all those Republicans that won those state houses and those secretary of state seats and shit like that, and election officials and shit, they're gonna and cheat. They're, they're not gonna let it be. Yeah, everybody cheat. don't like Trump though. That nigga's an uncool savage. It's everybody don't really like that. Trump. It's not no, even see, whether or not is, everybody don't though, like him. But like, listen, this, this, this is the thing, and it, no, like, he represents Trump white. Trump don't even want Trump see, in there. He right. represents no, white. See, it has nothing to but do no, like with. But like AC is saying though, the only one that stands up. What AC is saying is true though, because a lot of those cats that run the state level stuff, like when the Secretary of State in the particular states, they control all that election shit. <laughs> you know, they're the ones that, you know, the electoral college and all that kind of crap like that for that particular state. They the delegates and all that kind of crap. That's why your girl old oh, next door, what's her name? Um, oh big girl there, Abrams. That's why she didn't win <laughs> as governor to become governor of Georgia. Because guess what? The cat that was running against her, which is the governor now, he was the secretary of state back then. So I can okay, I can fix my own shit. Hey, there hey, let me let me hop in now right fast because uh I've been wanting to say this for a minute. I was just letting y'all like keep going, but AC kind of got a point. Um uh, that's that's kind of what it's gonna be like a a civil war, like the like the FBI. Mm -hmm. what, what was this like a month ago? They released some somebody leaked it or whatever, but they leaked a document by the FBI, uh just talking about the domestic because they're going to classify people as uh, domestic terrorists. You know how AC, mm -hmm. a lot of them guys, and, and you too, Joe, a lot of them guys, the white guys that be wearing all them crazy patches like the Betsy Ross flag and, and all these yeah, different you know, flags and stuff. Or whatever. Yeah, the they three percenters and quote-unquote yeah. Christian nationalists. Yeah, yeah. Don't tread on me. A, yeah, don't tread on me, tread on me. Yep, yep. They yep. starting to the classify a lot of that like stuff. Uh, as domestic mm -hmm. terrorists or militia groups and stuff to yeah, that. Yeah, and they said that's the so, biggest threat. That's yeah, the biggest yeah. threat. Yep. Yeah. And see, hey, I noticed that every time like a Republican is in office, it's always some domestic like 
crazy shit going on, but when Democrats are in office, it's like international conflict. Mm-hmm. Because if you look at the history over the last 120 years, one, let's see, World War One, two, Korea, Vietnam, all, all of them Democrats. Were Democrats. All of them were Democrats. And then you look at the war on drugs, the Civil War, 9-11, Republic 2020, the 2020 shit. It was all. It's all. It always be Republican. Uh, Damn. Yeah. Maybe that's because the new world order them. pattern that they want us to recognize. <laughs> right. That shit so yeah. Yeah, because I mean, each one of these cats did a job on us. Which were we got to understand the reason why it's like that because each administration has their agenda. So for the Republicans, the agenda is always to suck the money domestically and to take advantage of what's going to economics domestically. They don't give a fuck about no foreign shit, but what, when it comes to Democrats, it's about foreign shit. It's about business and corporate shit. And you know what I mean? That's why everybody like these motherfuckers bought and paid for. So their agendas let you know why you see certain conflicts. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers that's a Republican, they don't give, they ain't not trying to share their wealth. They're trying to build, get, get cut, make the tax cuts in the country, they're trying to do infrastructure, they're trying to do um, taxes on houses, and they're trying to tell you to move to different things. Their agenda is domestic, but when you take it, so people push against that because they know what's happening. So then when you take it with their international shit, we're trying to get oil, shit like that. Only, But you got to take it back to the bushes. They kind of was international too because oil was they shit so they kind of started that shit in Iraq and all that fake shit from 9-11 yeah that was Dick that was Dick Cheney yeah so Cheney. that was and, and yeah, you, Dick and Dick right that shit, hey, so you, you know who they, George Bush won he was a CIA director right you, know, you I mean, see what his shit was, was right and you see what he yeah. did. He went into a country to take over the petroleum and control what that leader was doing and stop right. him from going into another country. Some CIA shit. You know what I'm saying? You see what his war was about and stopping right. an invasion. You know what I mean, so and you can kind of and, and the sun continued on. Yeah, right. You can kind of see, you know, what minute what their agenda is and how they play their game and shit and how shit play out. So Lou, you, you got a good point there, bro. Just there's some, you know, intertwines that's a little different, but when you play it all no, the Still yeah, cause you're right with the bushes. Cause with the bushes, them niggas, I couldn't. I don't even really consider them Republicans. Well, see, no, they, they had because they would have been the they, only. They, they was clowning on conservatives, right? They, they, they would have been only the only Republicans per se that would a conflict would have happened under them in the in the twentieth century. Because, like I said, Woodrow Wilson, World War One, Democrat, two FDR, mm -hmm. Democrat, Democrat, Truman, and that nigga, <laughs> and Truman, Truman Korean War. That nigga FDR can <laughs> you know, Truman was Korean War, and freaking Johnson was that going Vietnam, and the only one that was like basic was the, was the Bushes with um, Kuwait and that whole bullshit dub in uh, ninety one. Oh, I think. Yeah, that little uh, little first golf war nonsense. See, yeah. Democrats don't come from rich families, so they don't have no money. They don't have silver spoons, so they got to go get their resources and their power by going to take it from other people. See, they don't. They wasn't born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Oh, like, well, I, I disagree. Woodrow Wilson went to Princeton. I mean, but well, he, he was he was a professor. Yeah, have money though. Like his yeah, family was, didn't have like a, a, a something that they ran or his family wasn't known for running something. You know what I'm saying? They, did, they didn't have like a, the, a background. He was just a smart biggest, kid and they had a couple of hours. I don't know about that. Well, no, no. Your biggest Democrats, I think your two biggest, your two biggest Democrats, your richest Democrats would have been FDR because the Roosevelt's would have basically been. They, but they were Reagan, look at Reagan had and, the backing and, of, of, of rich people, super yeah, duper yeah, rich people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Kennedy, Kennedy had the was a fucking he, had the he was a he was a, he he was a king, yeah, fucking street king. And then you yeah, had Illinois. Yeah, they they they. He, and he the only other rich family, um, the only other rich Democrat would have been um JFK. Right, about, he was a, um, that, and it was the mob shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I know, I, mean, I know, I know. Bill Clinton didn't come from money. Nah. Um, Jimmy Carter didn't come from shit. Oh, Nixon, Nixon, Nixon didn't come from Nixon didn't come from money. Nixon was a Republican. Oh, Nixon, no. Yeah, Mixon Nixon, Nixon oh. is a party when the Republicans were saying Republicans kind of came from money. No, Democrats. Mm -mm. They, yeah, Republicans. <laughs> but Nixon had money. Nixon family had money. Nixon, Nixon was a brainy Nixon, 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 Nixon started out. Poor, Nixon family had started money. Started out kind of from a poor, humble family type of thing. That's what I'm saying. Y'all remember um, reading that? They said that nigga Nixon was Eisenhower. Like, oh. Eisenhower was pretty much from a same kind of poor, little humble military you know, type of thing. Then Teddy Teddy uh, Roosevelt was broke. 
Yeah, well, no, nah, well, the nah. rest of the family had money. Nah, they had <laughs> they money. Had, no, no, they had money. The thing about nah, it is, is like, Teddy money. Roosevelt might have been acting and like And Wilson's <laughs> family had money. Woodrow Wilson's family had money. For All sure. the shit named after Reading Woodrow Wilson. Mark. He was a terrible president. Woodrow Wilson was a terrible president. I mean, Thanks to him, the worst. The worst. Probably one of the worst. Him and Andrew Jackson. Him and Andrew Jackson probably the worst of all time. Right. So the black man is the worst one, huh, Lou? So the black man the worst one, Right, 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 right. If Andrew Jackson, oh, wait, if Andrew Jackson black, he a cool ass nigga. Wilson was black. Yeah, right, right. Right, no, right. Andrew Jackson. That, that, that was more. That was more in Jackson. Jackson. Harding. That was when they thought was black. No, I thought it was Woodrow Wilson. No, it's Woodrow Seven Wilson. Was black. Seven no, Woodrow black. Wilson was the most racist. He hated but black. He's black because he was black. <laughs> no, Andrew. No, no. They said Andrew Jackson was like the room. Yeah, they said he was a chain. He no, he was up, he was a, he was a no he was a straight up black dude. Yeah. He that shit. I want to say this. What did he? What if he black? He was a cool ass nigga. Yeah, nah, Andrew Jackson wasn't black. That motherfucker was white as the purest. He ain't white as that. You sure you got this? Yeah. Nah, he wasn't. Yeah, he was, if he, he, was, if he was black, then nigga, that's an L. That's Andrew Jackson, Jackson don't need to be bragging about. Brian got no. the real history for you niggas. No, I want to say Andrew something. Johnson, baby, but not Andrew Jackson. Nah, Andrew Jackson was. <laughs> what are you about to say, for, Brian? For you, big game. I right, I was watching the video with the homeboy Maga Hulk. Now this dude is I don't know how I think he's like six something, like two hundred ninety pounds of muscle. And they were like, do you experience racism being part of MAGA? He said, no. I'm like, of course not. Well, why are you going to say this to your big ass? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> their head off. Oh, that this MAGA, nigga, hope, yeah, that, that big swole nigga, yeah, yeah. I see yeah, that, yeah, I'm like, who's going who's gonna to call him the N-word to his face? He has slapped, the, he has slapped the head off the shoulders. So, yeah, I said, of course nobody's going to say that to your ass. Hey, I never right. heard of that, dude. I'm about to look him up right now. Yeah. Oh, no, so hey, no, y'all right. Hey, y'all right. Teddy Roosevelt inherited, like, 65000 like a million dollars in our, in our money when he died. Cause FDR, yeah, y'all right, y'all right. Family, TD, yeah, he was. Because uh, the yeah, family yeah. still got, it still was based out of, um, it was like, I uh, thought it was New York. They got money, money, you know. And uh, like I said, yeah. JFK, JFK would be your, um, your, your one after that. I heard you talking earlier about like Civil War and this and that. Never gonna happen. The, the media, don't, if these dudes ain't do shit pop off when COVID hit, these dudes emasculated. They ain't doing nothing. Yeah, this ain't the Yeah, this ain't the This ain't the 1800s where niggas Listen, fellas, it's their own worse, legs it's, and shit. It's, it's worse than the 1800s. Nah, it's worse than the 1800s. Listen, it's fellas, it's worse than the 1800s. 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 It's Hey, see them niggas back in the day, they would cut their own fucking I got you, legs bro. You off, man. Right, because that's how rough they was. But listen, this is the point that I'm trying to make to you. Y'all are not thinking about this. These people are about to lose the greatest empire man has ever seen. They're about to lose it. Imagine that. Hello? That shit was about to slip out their fucking hands. You think they're gonna do that without going out with a fight? They they caused they're gonna it. Lay they, down they, and they, give they, that they up. They can't stop. They, they can't listen, stop but listen, I don't. I'm not saying anything about stopping it. I'm asking you. Do you think they're gonna lay down and allow it to happen? They ain't gonna have no choice. They 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 created this serious? atmosphere. See, you like, talking they, about? They, I underestimated the no white man. They created. <laughs> they created this atmosphere. Yeah, I think. I, I think. I, I kind of. I, I agree with uh, they AC to a point where and, uh, a lot of people they, is not down with the bullshit the, no more like that. Exactly. At, the, at the very, like, at the very least, have the numbers. At the very least, numbers. At the very least, we're gonna see some small riots. It, it, it. it you know, it, they may not be a full turn up, but at the very now. least, we are gonna see some <laughs> small, small riots. riots at the very least. I agree on if that. They, they are gonna be disgruntled, they are gonna be fully the disgruntled. They are last and, and if he if he vote if he run for president again and lose, it's really gonna be on him, Pop. It's really going because they already had their drive run with the first January 6th. So they're gonna know how to execute even better this time. That was yeah, and they know they ain't gonna do nothing either. How you have a call, how you have a damn uprising and only one person gets shot. That's that some shit. Yeah. And it's a, and, it, and it was a and it was a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah that white chick was more tougher than the white man. She, 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 found know, her, she, she found out it was fake. That's why they shot ass. We ain't put and you know that. They don't even care, so they're just uh they're like, oh well, we just put them in the front lines. And then they try to put um, <laughs> that black dude, the black cop in jail. 
They did try to. Yep, they did try to put him. I thought they gave him a key to the city. No. He got bombed. They tried to put him in the city. Yeah, they tried to put him in the city. Yeah, they tried to put him in jail. They tried to get him locked up. He did his job. He did what he supposed to do. I thought they were calling him a hero. Right. No, no. Some people did. But they had other cats who were trying to run. They were trying to run his ass up the flagpole. They were trying to run, put him in front of the bus. <laughs> and run him under. Yeah, he did it. He did what he supposed to do. He did his job. Yeah, I thought. I thought blue lives matter. <laughs> well, he, well, well, he wasn't. Well, he wasn't a police. He was. He was capital police. It's different. Kind of like a different. Man, they say blue lives matter for Mounties. They say blue lives matter for whoever. Man, the Rangers, that, that, that whole thing was set up, man. Put it way. That yeah. whole thing was set up because from the so beginning. So now they're saying blue lives here, matter why the why uh, death threats to the FBI is at an all time high. Right, exactly, openly, and they're they're saying, openly, they say they say they gotta saying? abolish it. They saying they want to abolish the FBI. Yeah, what's his face? Somebody he went up, Ron. Um, what's his name? Ron, Ron Paul. Um, Paul. Yeah, yeah, he's about to abolish the FBI. They said we need to abolish the they're FBI. What kind shit. of you know? They get rid of mind you. We should have been. We should have been abolished. The FBI was built on spying on fucking black people. No, no, no. The FBI. We're talking about the CIA. We should have. We should have been. We should we should have been a boss of CIA. That them niggas mean, should have been. You need the CIA, make it. No, you see, no, I see the CIA is going to do that dirty. Yeah, see, CIA yeah, going to do all that dirty yeah, clandestine. Yeah. Right, they go CIA is there to do all that dirty clandestine. Those CIA probably would have had a dirty, a lot of dirty bombs and all kind of madness in this country by I now. Thought, man, I mean, the FBI they be handling the, the domestic threats and shit like that. See, the FBI deals with domestic and threats. national they, threats. If we didn't have like, a CIA. Yeah, to, to like, like thwart a lot of shit that we don't know about. Yeah, I don't. I think we would struggle a little bit. I think motherfuckers be trying to knock us off every other no, day. No, I think no. The reason why I say that is because they kind of operate independently. They don't really. They they play multifaceted roles because think about it is just like the FBI. The FBI is kind of a funny thing because they do do overseas stuff. And the same thing, like CIA is not supposed to mess around. There's no domestic. Mm-hmm. They're not supposed to do anything domestic. But don't be. I mean, don't. I, I don't believe that bullshit. Same thing, like Secret Service. They not, it's more than just watching the president. <laughs> That's all that counterfeit yeah. bullshit. Yeah, that's right. All that other crazy nonsense. I mean, they do. They do all that mess. Secret Service does all. You know. So it's each one got their own little multifaceted role that we don't know about. But like AC said, every day we probably under we are, we're probably under attack by something. And some government agency, you know, because like, what's the purpose of the NSA? Well, you think ain't no about? attack. No, that all NSA? that's for internal. Oh, NSA, that's for internal their purposes, is, NSA yeah. uh, and that's, purposes is found. That's that's they found the right. so, so, so you NSA think about it. I mean, you can condense a lot of that shit down to two agencies. Because I mean, think about the you're right. That's, 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 you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because all think about MI5, MI6. We got multiple agencies that, I mean, that, that's what the British have. We got multiple agencies that do the same thing. You got to think, DOD, the CIA, the NSA, <laughs> they all do this. Well, I thought, it's like, okay. I thought the DOD was like, the, um, DOD was like the, the highest point that everybody fall under, I thought. They I, know, I think it's the CIA. I think it's the, yeah, well, maybe DOD. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. No, I thought, DOD, yeah, they they know, like, DOD. Really, no, because DOD and the CIA kind of do the same stuff, <laughs> you know. Which one is the lead? Which one is that's the what, lead? Yeah, that's, that, that's what I'm See, asking. See, that's the part. So, like, you see that's on TV how they fight over it? So, what happens yeah, is... Yeah, so who's the lead? With, yeah, who's the lead would be, like, pretty much, okay, depends on the domestic or, I mean, foreign situation. I was going to say, I think... They would say, okay, well, look. Yeah, it would depend on whatever situation. Okay, so... say right, so if it's involving like, some like military shit... They'll yield right. the DOD would take the lead. DOD fit was talking lead. about it. Uh, the dude fit, fit off fresh and fit. He was talking about how sometimes they had cases, and um, like sometimes he'd be on a case, and some mm-hmm. other motherfucker from another agency would try to get on a case. He'd be like, yeah, I, I think, I think the CIA. And whatever's above CIA is the lead. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think the CIA is probably the top I, I, shelf. I, I think yeah, that's they would take. Yeah, 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 yeah that's what I would. Everybody and every any any any. So it's in their deal, in their yeah, deal, but see, thing is, yeah. Yeah. deal does the same in, thing, Red. Right, CIA. Yeah, yeah, but, and but I, they, think, I think they have the highest security clearance as well. Right, I think would, their yeah. security clearance they, is the they, highest. The agency because that's DOD, above the CIA. Yeah, that's what oh that's God. what Brian. Yeah, exactly. That's, there's an agency above them. It's called the DIA. 
Right. You, you had the DIA. You had the yeah, DIA. Yeah, uh, director of intelligence. What's his name? You yeah, right. that, uh, national uh, intelligence. Yeah. Is DIA. Yeah, 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 all that stuff. Of See, intelligence. What happens is so whoever takes the role. Well, it's no, like that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying earlier, though. The CIA has no. The CIA has no governing body. The CIA has no governing authority. They operate independently. That's what I was saying earlier. Yeah, because no department puts them in check. Right, but so you're they're the lead, too, then. Though. right? So it's they the same have... thing like the military. Who takes well, the lead? Well, I can't say. Well, they, they're not really the lead. They just like independent. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't really. Nobody can it's tell like, them okay, what to do. It's like it's basically like Navy intelligence. I got you. Naval I got intelligence you. or Air Force intelligence. Which one? They is ain't the Army lead technically, but you know, don't fuck with them. Right. Like, let yeah, them can, do yeah, that. yeah. Right. They're not the lead, but you can't tell them what to do. You know? Yeah. Let them do them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. And if they tell and you see, what to do, so you that's ain't what I'm got saying. no choice but to listen. Right, and it's the same thing with the military, same thing with other stuff. Okay, who takes the lead on this? Okay, small conflict. Okay, what's in the Marines first? Then the Army come and do it. They got to do it. Yeah, the, the, F okay. the FBI operates under the... The FBI operates under the Department of Justice. So like justice, the, right. The Department, the Department of Justice, right. Right, they, they right. Do have and, that. They, and the DOD is, you know, the Secretary of Defense, so that's like Army, Navy, you know, and this is the military, but they also do the they have an intelligence directorate part no, of that, that's the NSA. That's the NSA. Yes, yeah, the NSA. Right. NSA and so the yeah, because they hand in hand. Because matter of fact, Kat, I went to school with shit. I think he was in the army. I think he was a colonel, or, or I think he ended up being colonel with West Star, and he was like something big with the NSA. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. And so they must, you know, they do a lot of stuff with the military too. That's that's your, right. your everyday spy shit. Yeah, they are yeah, the DOD. Right. That's, that's, all, that's, that's why the CIA need to get abolished because them niggas don't have any. They don't answer nobody. Because that's what I'm saying. They could smash them into two different agencies. All of that crap could be one dip bag on or two different agencies. That ain't gonna we got one for domestic. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, no, think that's that's gonna happen. Happen. No, you see, JFK, JFK tried it. You saw what happened. Because so, without yeah. them, I think we'd be fucked up. I'm sorry. I know y'all don't agree, but I think without them. Oh no, no, no. We agree with it. I mean, that one. I think I feel, I mean, I'm not the that point of, of it's not the point of how we deal with you though. No, no, they, no. They, you would still okay, have wait, them. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I'm sorry. So you would still have them. But like I said, that, they, they would just compact you know, compact that into something else that deals with clandestine overseas type spy issues. So it, mm -hmm. maybe it still might be called the CIA, but you also gonna have something such and such. Yeah, you're right. That's 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 probably just, yeah, change. Yeah, I don't think they work group. well together in the sense of certain things, you know. Yeah, it's kind of like okay, does the NSA tell the CIA, yo, we we all caught up on something here that, or did they tell the FBI? It depends on probably what the situation is, you know. So I mean, and then you know yeah, they, they have their they, own they, little. Yeah, they say this. Yeah, the CIA is a civilian foreign intelligence service. Yeah, they can say, they classify it as a service. So they, yeah, they, they, these niggas are sent to contractors, and they got their own pyramid, like they their own damn paramilitary type shit forces. Because you you think about that shit that happened in Benghazi, for instance, if you ever, even even if you see the movie Thirteen Hours, you didn't even spell those out. Them cats weren't military; they were former military. <laughs> they were former Delta Force. They were former Marines, former daggone uh, SEALs. They were working for the CIA. <laughs> so that's what happened. So that's why that whole you know the, the military plays a role sometimes with the CIA, but it's kind of like yeah, <laughs> nah, but in the way they don't. Because they had their own intelligence gathering network. Army, Navy, Air Force. They got their own intelligence. And we we feed off of the Marine Corps fed off the um, Navy. So, so that was like, or, that's how they did. Yeah, because we didn't have Marine intelligence. I mean, well, you did have it, but G2 was not that. We didn't do the kind of shit that you know, Navy intelligence did. You know, intel. We just get off, you know, we get it off the Navy. Oh, okay, this is what happened. All right, cool. <laughs> we need for y'all to go in there and do this and this. Okay. And yeah, I just think that. And but then you have war, Army oh, CID, so you have different groups. Yeah, Army CID, same kind of, yeah, same thing. Yeah, I mean, I, might, I, I guess, can y'all hear me? I don't know if I'm, I just got another question. Okay, Lou, Hello? Lou, you can't do it because you, you get rid of you can't CIA. Do what? If you get rid of CIA, it's what about all the other intelligence agencies around the world, like the Russians and the Chinese? Oh no! You still gonna have no, you have to have foreign intelligence. You, you, you got to, you, you can't get rid of the CIA. I mean, you can't. You no, what I'm problem. saying though, they no. What I'm but, but all I'm saying is though, like I'm, I'm back to what Joe was saying. Like compact them, Make yeah, them yeah compact them. Into, yeah, the problem is, Ridge, is that they don't answer anybody. They are essentially independent. They don't. 
They they have their own jurisdiction. They can do whatever they want. That's all I'm saying. That's what maybe that's what's keeping America alive. No, well, I, I mean no clandestine. Man. Clandestine, they could do you know that, certain Yeah, things. but Lou, aren't you libertarian? And aren't you libertarian? Yeah, I am. So when you find a libertarian organization like that, you know, hey, shit. No, no, it's know, different. They, that, that's different. They, no, they, they don't um, operate in the. In my opinion, I don't think they operate like they said they do no. for the interest of America. Right, but in my six is a interest of America. Go CIA. We on our kneecaps hurt. I don't know. I think I think we got enough. We got. I think we got enough checks and balances to our different huh. Department of Justice and, and DOD. I think we got enough entities in America to where the CIA is not that. Well, know, CIA I, Charlie, I, I, they, I, can't, I, they can't. I think. I, yeah, I think somebody can the, absorb their responsibility. You talking about um fucking agencies that had to do with inside the country, internal. Right. CIA yeah, can't. They can't. Do they can't the go country. outside. No, yeah, FBI really well. FBI kind of sort of does, but the CIA can't deal domestically with anything, allegedly. That's supposedly, <laughs> you know, they're not supposed to. But then too, you know, with posse comatitis and all that stuff, you know, having you know, going out kind of out the window, it, you never know. <laughs> you know, hey, they, they're not know, supposed man, I'm, to. I'm just saying, man, that Cuba, that Cuba missile crisis. I mean, that shit right there should have got them up out of there, but. And we end up losing a president instead of them niggas. So, all right, man. That's so all I'm saying, man. Shit just ain't, shit don't look right. Well, sir, I mean, every time, every now and then, it does come up when they talk about doing stuff like what you just said with the CIA or mm -hmm. even like um, some of the militaries. I mean, how many times do I think I heard shit? They was talking about getting rid of the Marine Corps about, and they brought it up again recently. Just roll it into a part of the Army, and the other half would be part of the Navy. All right. Well, what does they talk about getting rid of the Marine Corps anyway? Because they was because they because okay well if some people feel like okay well what's going to be the role for them as we go and become a more you know, um, high tech high this high that but they, they said well you know well, well hell we could put them in an army unit the ground pounders and the navy could take the other uh, flyboys yeah I remember we do both the Marine Corps did both yeah so so, so they, they, look at the cost to, of it trying to say that well we can replace the military with automation. Right. But see, now what's happening, though, is they call it, I think it's um, Marine Corps is going to this 2030 thing. And what it is, is they basically scaling back. They got rid of MPs. They got rid of damn near half artilleries. They don't have tanks anymore. What? They're going back to almost yeah, like yeah, these new carriers they're building in the Navy. They, they require like less people. Yeah, they require. But what's happening is we're going. We're playing a greater even role with the Navy. So it's going to be like, okay, we're not going to be like as class as I mean, they won't be as class as like Navy SEALs, of course. But it's going to be a smaller, leaner force. That okay, yo, we need for you to go into such and such, tear up some shit, and get the hell on back. Hey, y'all <laughs> you know, a hey, fun, hey, fun know, fact, y'all know they're going to combine with y'all with the Navy. Yeah, Navy and so that Air yeah, so Marine so what they you know so what they're going to do is make it a smaller Marine Corps. And then basically bring it back to the good old days. Yo, we gonna drop you off over here on somebody's little island. Now you y'all tear up the shit, <laughs> you know, and then bring your asses back on home. And then we you know we if we need the army, go ahead and do what we gotta do. Hey, fun, hey, fun, hey, fun, fun fact: the Navy got more fighter jets than the Air Force. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because you gotta think Navy. You gotta think about it. Army. Is, I mean, Navy is okay. Sea and air. Yeah. The, uh, only, Force, the, only, the only way you fuck with America is coming across that ocean. That's the only C way. Air is straight up Navy. Okay. Army, I mean, the Air Force is basically straight up air and all that you know, space shit. Along kind of like Navy kind of does it too, though. Okay. The Army is basically your, your ground pounders along with some air in terms of they, they got um helicopters and shit. And they do they do have um missiles and technology and all that bullshit. Now, and they deal with all that biological chemical shit too. Now it's <laughs> kind of funny how Star Trek based the whole entire force. Now this is a petition. Off of the Navy, not nobody else. It's off the Navy, right? Yeah, so because you got transport what people. To, what we trying to say is, it's just the Navy is going to be the only one. In yeah, the because we have the because the Navy basically does the transporting part for for us when we win the Marines. You can't. You have no choice but to. You got to get on the Navy ship to get somewhere. <laughs> you know, you got to go on a Navy frigate to get there. If you're going to transport a lot of troops, you know, a lot of Marines got to go in one spot. Navy going to be the one. 
So I mean, that's that's why the Air Force. Yeah, well, you can fly. You can fly cast the way you got to fly up to. <laughs> but that's a whole, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's, who, that's who that's who we travel with. The Air Force is our yeah. transportation. Right, because they were the, the Air Force was the Army yeah. at one point. Yeah, the like Air Force when, we, was a when I flew to yeah, when I flew yeah. to Saudi Arabia, we flew there. We went from an Air Force base, Ramstein Air Force base. Yep. And see, we would go from a, we would go from like I say a, a, a Norfolk or someplace like that, or down in um what's the one in um Jacksonville, <laughs> um uh, someplace in like in that. A, in, a, in, in AS. Yeah, Mayport uh, or something like that. Yeah, Mayport, there, Mayport, that Mayport, Mayport, Mayport. Yeah, yeah. You would go down there. So yes, yeah, so that's what would happen. So with us, you know, so it's like they, they, they the ones that get you to where you gotta be. But so like I said, what they're doing with the Marine Corps though is they're gonna make it a smaller. We don't need tanks. Shit, the, the Army can take care of that. <laughs> we don't need that going. You know, MPs. You know, you know, we, we the Navy could actually. You know, we got short, short patrol and shit. They can do that. You know, but um, as it gets smaller, it's gonna be leaner, and they're gonna be do, doing a little bit more of that clandestine sneaking around type shit more. So I think it sounds like, you know, and they still gonna have flyboys though. They still gonna be flying though, because they got them uh, F thirty fives that they dropped on them. So, and they can land on an aircraft carrier that's flat. They they, they have um, we call that like the like the Harrier jump jets. They can, they don't need to like land on the damn runway. They can just land straight flat down. So it's gonna be a new day. Now military and um they changing all this shit up. Yeah, they're changing all of this up. Police too. Because they become more paramilitary now. If you notice that. Cops are becoming more G.I. Joe ish. <laughs> yeah, they got all those uh fucking vehicles and shit. Yeah. yeah you know, you start to see you now. Yeah, see, because police forces are starting to become more like damn, like the shit that you saw in South Africa back in the day, <laughs> doing the apartheid. <laughs> you know, they was like the, they was like military, like almost like yeah, know, they're gearing they gearing up, coming out. Yeah, they gearing up for it. They gearing you know, up for these boy. domestic terrorists, but they only using it on niggas. Yeah, they make it because, <laughs> because I mean all these little bullshit ass like we see on TV is a little bullshit ass carrying calls. I'm, yeah, they got saw, some MRAPs. And yeah. you know, MRAPs is really only made to deal with roadside bombs. They're not really yep. made as like a urban war, you know, well, urban warfare, but not like urban policing. You know what I mean? Their their intentions is to stop the percussion of roadside bombs. Like that shit is crazy. And now they you they pull up in the hood, you know what I mean, when shit goes south. Yeah, they're gonna pull up in the hood. When shit goes south, it's gonna be like, okay, because um, guess what? The bad guys got toys like we got toys. <laughs> like they got toys in the military and like the, like and like the uh, police forces. Well, the police forces get outgunned anyway. Because you saw the case of I think it was out in California, Bank of America robbery. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, LAPD was totally outgunned. <laughs> they they had to go to gun stores and get shit, you know, because these boys was yeah they wasn't expecting that firepower for a damn bank robbery, you know, you know, because when these guys come in, they come in AKs, they come in, you know, they come in with all kind of shit. I mean, I believe me, I've been to 30 bank robberies over my years. <laughs> 30, <laughs> I've, I've had, plus wait, I've had the good, the bad, and ugly in bank robberies. The saddest one I could think of, dude wanted to get locked up for Christmas. And he was living on the streets, so he robbed us for the 50 cents. Got to go to, he still got to go. You know, <laughs> it's sad because he thanked us. I've seen the craziest ones, guns blazing, get on the ground, I'm killing every motherfucker in it. That kind of shit too. Damn, you seen people get uh get get chopped up? Like, from, from Damn, the they're people. almost chopped up. Want to see a nigga get chopped up? Look at that. No, uh, you don't. Be no, I'm not saying chopped up. I mean just shot. I mean shot, like you know, like no, no, no. But it's, it it got close to it one time where these cats came in, you know, you know, balaclavas and shit on, and they doing the whole, you know, you know, gay by to get on the ground type shit, guns blasting and all that, and um, nobody got killed, thank God. Hey, my cousins was uh my 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 second cousins. They notorious bank robbers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I got to a bank jacket, bank jacket to get you what two years if you don't brandish a weapon. You two years if you don't brandish a weapon, and you brandish one. I think it was like five years. <laughs> so, yeah, crazy. you know, and the FBI got is real. Uh, bank bank um, hmm? bank robbing. Heard about What's that, Reg? What? Uh, his crew, them dudes from uh, Mac Dre's hood, they used to bank rob. And Mac Dre didn't do nothing. They, they still give him money. Damn. I think I heard about that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. 
niggas was robbing the banks and shit. He didn't do shit. He still gave him like maybe five years, I think. Man, Shoot, bank crazy. jackets got so bad, man. California, y'all got the worst. Y'all got the worst ones, usually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that book, Black Good Man? California is the king of bank, bank jack. Yeah, <laughs> Southern yeah. California. That's a lot of dudes known for that down here in Cali. What's that one? Um, Miami. Baby? Shit, Miami was like number two, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, What's that big buff dude, Reg? He a bodybuilder? What's his name again? Oh, Craig Munson. You talking about Craig Munson? Nah, he's he's he's. I think he's from the Bay. He, oh, he, nah. he, oh he, Cali he, Muscle. Yeah, I think he said he was a bank robber. I could have sworn. Nah, he, nah. He said he robbed people. He didn't. He wasn't a bank robber. No, that's what's name was a bank. The other one was a bank robber. What's his name? The other guy, the ball head one. What's his name? Oh, uh, convict. Uh, he be talking. No, no, no. Um, big hurt. Big hurt, because he's from yeah, that's um, what's Richmond, Big hurt, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah big, big hurt from the that's Bay Area somewhere. Then. I think he's from Sacramento. Yeah. yeah. I, think from, I think Big too. hurt from Sacramento. Hey, you know, he got exposed and shit, but I ain't gonna say that shit was funny. Well, I told you about he got that exposed for what? From the Bay Area. <laughs> I told you the niggas crazy in the Bay Area. I told you that already. Wait, you said Big Hurt Big Hurt got exposed for what? Uh, He was, uh, he was, he, he did porn back in the day. Oh, that's that's right. Right. Yeah, yeah, as long as it's straight porn, though. Yeah, yeah, you get it. I don't care. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> wait, how, 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 wait, how, how, how is that? Wait, how is that they, they double up, man. They double up on the back end. How is that, how is that exposed? On that gay porn shit. I said somebody <laughs> put out his business. Yeah, I'm trying to say somebody put out his business. He put his shit on yeah, Front Street. No, it, no, if he did, if he did, I thought you were about to say, find out he got fucking jail or something. I, I thought you said something like that. Nah, yeah, if he was he doing some shit, man. But yeah, well, nah, yeah I, I, know, that, I know but... some people put, 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 uh, post up the video and shit. Like, it was, it was, he it talk, was some talk, white guy. He talked about the gay porn and shit. He, he talked about Actually, they do. He, he talked about they do the get porn, though. They do get triple but, double them. But, double, triple them. Hey, on his on his shit, he do be talking about busting cheeks. <laughs> yeah, fucking... that's what I'm saying. He, he <laughs> talked about doing that's... porn. Like he didn't give he didn't give niggas no like link or nothing. He talked about it. It's the same thing with white girls. They get paid no, more money to uh, do interracial doing uh, yeah, joints. So exactly. yeah, you know. So yeah, that's yeah, why but they be losing their fans too, though. After they do interracial, they be losing their fans. That's why they don't be wanting to do it. It might be different now, though, but. Yeah, I know, that was like, the main you know, sentiment back then. Yeah, yeah because yeah, because yeah, that's why she's smiling all the way to the bank. <laughs> but she, that's, that's why you know. Yeah, but now, yeah, it might be different. Now. Remember the, the old porn they, they interviewed her, uh, Sika. Hey. She was a porn star. Hey, you know what's funny? Who was that? It was an old old white girl. She was, <laughs> she was hot, but 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 she was fucking with niggas. She wanted to fuck with mm-hmm. niggas. She got a nigga, a black guy boyfriend. I don't say nigga. He got a black boyfriend. Come on, Texas. Hey, 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 you know, hey, this white boy in the Navy, he, he asked me a question one time. He was like, hey, man, how come when I watch, when I watch, like, black porn, like, how come the dudes be destroying them bitches? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I'm just saying, that probably goes with what Big Game was saying. He said, y'all be, he said, that nigga be, destroy, they be destroying them bitches. <laughs> This this is about to get this is about to get clipped and uh, Big J will have it on by the night. <laughs> Cause you know, you know, I think he's still mad about the trial thing. I mean, so yeah, they, they, uh-uh. picked the, they picked the dude. No, they in the poor. They picked the dude with the big, you know, Johnson. They gonna do that, you know. So no, nah, we're not. We're not, we're not we don't, don't no talking about Johnson, the anatomy. Still destroying the bitches. So. You ain't talking about the anatomy, Reg. We just talking about the the general sentiment behind the smashing. Right? Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I just said, I said it's because dudes, dudes would not to be still destroyed abroad. You know, just I don't know. It is, but yeah, brothers, the uh, brothers has got a way. But of yeah, as far as the yeah, as far as the bras doing, because I remember Alexis Tech, Alexis Texas, she was the most popular one. Uh, I guess she didn't do um, interracial porn. Hey, but she was at that Chris Brown party though. That's what I heard. Yeah, I know. She, I mean, most, I'm sure a lot porn, of them. But she, she want to be with a black dude. Yeah, yeah a with, lot of them smash black dudes. They probably a lot of them already. smash black dudes, but they just know white dudes extra racist, so they don't want to. They just didn't want no, to that's what I'm saying. They smash black dudes. White, white support, I guess, you know. Yeah, they yeah lose exactly. A lot of they lose a lot of yeah, their yeah, that's all right. But now, I don't think it matters now. I'll tell you the truth. It might not. I don't know, though. I don't know. It might not, though. I don't know, man. Just. That shit open up now. It's not like it was. The world, I think, is pretty much people don't give a shit about it no more. 
Yeah. You know, I don't think they do like they did back then. Not like it was back in the day. Yeah, this shit gross now. That shit. It's a bunch of fucking BBL bitches now. That shit fucking porn is black. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> porn trash. <laughs> If they didn't make the ass look so yeah, bad, nigga, back, back in the day, nigga, nigga, we, had, more, nigga we, had the, we had the we had the Ayana Angels, nigga, the Jada Fox. Yeah, Fires, exactly. Nigga, some, Jer- yeah. Some real, Even you know if, what I'm if they had fake, they only had fake tits. And they a lot of the boob jobs was really good. Vanessa Del Rio. <laughs> now they fucked up, too. Well, now the boob jobs be like. Well, well, they should have better boob jobs now. What you talking about? But yeah, they um like if you you a lot of people don't know this freaking Vanessa Blue had fake boobs and Jada Fire had fake boobs. I knew but I knew those Jada looked super I, real. I knew, I knew she had fake. I knew well, you, you, could tell. you could tell by looking at her that was fake. Nah, you couldn't tell. Her nah, you couldn't tell. J- Jada shit. You could tell Jada real. shit was fake. Jada, you could tell that. But um, uh, Carmen Hayes had fake ones too. Her shit was small. No, Carmen Hayes didn't have fake boobs. You sound no, her crazy. shit was real. <laughs> Her and that's some real titties, Reg. Reg. I don't, I don't Reg. know. I think that I think that she that's, the, that's the that's she, the that's she the she grew into it. She grew into it, so I think that's what it was. She gained nah, weight. Reg, she gained weight her, she got she the into it, but but she had a little because you look at the beginning when she started. She didn't small. have small boobs. Reg. She had, small boobs she had D's. She had D's, and then she got kind of no fat, D's, and then they turned man. to S. You that's what happened, a D, man. Back in the Reg, day. you don't know what you're talking I'm about, looking bro. At her, man. I'm, I'm she like, had I'm like that, what? No, nah, nah, man. I'm telling you, man. Nah. Her shit was 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 not. Her shit was like what? Uh, almost a D. Reg, she, she got the best surgeon on the planet. Who who I never seen nobody else go to. Like so, somebody, hey, but you somebody, know, everybody but, need to be going to her surgery. Uh, but you know what though? When them hoes started doing uh, ghetto gaggers, that's when them bitches fell off, bro. Yeah, yeah that's she when they start losing their mind. But I mean, yeah. it is what it is. I, you know, it's funny. I don't look at them that's doing that man. as that's, shit. that's what crept in. I, I, I think it's, I think it's bullshit. But at the same time, I kind of view it like sometimes, nigga, when you work a customer service job, nigga, sometimes you gotta deal with fucking mean ass white people. Shit, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> if, but if you notice, but if you notice though, they shit like never popped. Maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe because they got old or something. Maybe, but. That's that's shit, they that, 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 that seems like they downfall. Yeah, that, that's but a, Lacey Duvall, I think, I think, I think the main one really was Lacey Duvall. When she did it, she just, she just basically was terrible and just her. She was traumatized and didn't even, you know, she yeah. was just out of it. Yeah, her friend one chief couch the uh, STD man. That's what I heard. I think it was her or somebody else. Like what? Oh, you, damn. That, that's the rumor. But yeah, she uh, they they fucked her up, but. Yeah. As far as um, I mean Cherokee, shit, Cherokee still popping. Well, she, I you know who fuck up? Is she on OnlyFans now? Just to do it like that? Yeah, yeah. she yeah. just she in the BBW thing and do the only. Yeah, shit. yeah, a she just ultra BBW obese BBW. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah Pinky yeah. blow up, man. Yeah. Oh girl, yeah, Pinky, Pinky blow up. <laughs> yeah, Pinky super fat now. Oh yeah, with them tan lines and shit. Yeah, Pinky looking like a little oompa loompa right now, but she used to be fire. Hey man, she used to make hella money down <laughs> south. Pinky was making money, man. Yeah, she used to be at the strip club. Hey, website. remember? Hey, you know, uh, Platinum got an interview with Pinky. Cause they all came yeah, from the club. All of them started out at the strip club, basically. A lot of them started out before. Shit, but Pinky looking club. a little porky right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah, she's she, looking uh, a little porky. <laughs> she doing all right though. They said Miss Cleo and nothing is fake. Yeah. yeah <coughs> they said Miss Cleo's was fake. No, no, no. They said not fake on her. She's her. No, her shit was. Miss Cleo shit was stacked, boy. Her ass was stacked in the motherfucker. <laughs> she was built yeah. like she was built like Dexter's mom on Dexter's laboratory. Her ass <laughs> built in the motherfucker. Yeah, but but yeah. see, notice notice it's only a couple bras that was built like that. I hate when niggas see they did a Jedi mind trick on us. Like now with all these BBL bitches, people think that's normal. Like mm-hmm. nah, it was it was a uh, Cherokee and like maybe three other bras who was really like just ultra stacked and still skinny. The rest of these bras with a lot of the a lot of the bras was just kind of skinny with nice butts. Like they wasn't fucking just some fucking eighty inch hips with a fucking twenty inch waist. Like, nah, that shit don't exist in real world, man. But see, but ain't Cherokee a little on the thick side now too? Ain't she a little portly? No, Cherokee obese now, but I'm just saying back yeah, in the day. Say, she, was, yeah, say, she was skinny. Yeah. They say she swell up, she swole up like a damn uh, puffer fish. Yeah. <laughs> if they gave yeah, her skin diamonds, Kamahano, I'm talking about skin diamonds. She was mixed. She was biracial. 
No, I, I might not remember her. I, I mean, I, I probably, I probably she see her nice. if I see her. She was in that Tiger remember video. Her, but... Remember, Tiger had his uh, <laughs> poor, poor DVD and all that shit. Hey. No, I never seen that. Okay, uh, NYC said we got trading cards. I mean, nigga, we ain't got no trading. Hey, cards. NYC. Hey, in the Navy, my nigga. Hey, I, I was the hard. Hey, I had the hard drive on deck, nigga. That shit was like, <laughs> <laughs> like I was. Nigga, I was using that hard drive to get drinks. Hey, don't laugh. Chill. When you look at that shit, was nigga, that shit was, I had that when hard drive. Your ass was sitting in the middle of the ocean somewhere. You, <laughs> nigga. Hey, nigga. I had. Hey, I was dealing. I was dealing like a. I think I had. I was slinging. The, the, he had uh, the pure contraband. <laughs> he had that uncut. My nigga, I had. I had. I had. I had. Hey, nigga. I got all the HBO series. I got Showtime. I got the movies, the anime, the porn. Nigga, I had it all. Nigga. Nigga, I had coding <laughs> manuals on my shit. Nigga, I had. Who was this? Says Spartan X. Yeah, she. Had you had the experience. Military, he was he was a new, life was, <laughs> military life was vastly different. <laughs> and he was the new DVD <laughs> man. He the new improved yep. DVD man. <laughs> yeah. The the, the modernized the modernized DVD. <laughs> That, Rich, yeah, Cinnamon that? Love, she got Come a big on, gap. I know you watch some of those hey, videos back Cinnamon, in the day. You know, Cinnamon I Love. Say, I, I always told y'all I was a little poor hey. master. I ain't say that. Cinnamon <laughs> Love look kind of Cinnamon Love look kind of like uh, that shit. She looked kind of like uh, I told y'all that already. Rich. But yeah, Cinnamon Love look kind of like Courtney Michelle. <laughs> Hey, you see her now? She still looks like Hey, she kind of do. Hey, she kind of do. Hey, she kind of do. Who's Courtney Michelle? The chick on the beef. Oh, okay. too. Yeah. The, the, the only, the it. only, the only feminine one up there. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you mean the broad as on the No, 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 no. He said, no. He said she looked like cinnamon love. Oh. Yeah, just a little bit because they both got that, that gap. They kind of yeah, that gap. That's why I laugh. That's crazy. They do, they do look like. They got, they got, they got the same skin tone too. That'd be bugging me out, man. They got the same skin tone too. You can make it that much money, share, but damn orthodontist. They ain't, so, making, they, ain't, they ain't making money like that. Well, yeah, that's true. Nah, they but that shit add character, though. Oh, Sometimes no, the shit no, add character. No, we gotta get this up. People there. like. <laughs> no, I see. No, sometimes you. No, sometimes. Sometimes you need. No, sometimes you need something that make you stand out. Like yeah, you need a quirk. Dog, dog. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Look, I understand. On the word SQ. Okay, I give you one, but not three, four, five. With the same shit. No, all I'm saying is sometimes, like, like remember Danica Marie when she had the messed up teeth? It kind of gave her character. It didn't. Uh, it didn't really take away from her looks. Well, but she got a teeth. Yeah, yeah. Now she well, her she, teeth she technically was little, short, as a little and big and little. No, short her shit was all man. No, them shits was raggedy. Yeah, they were just crowded. Her man. Her bottom no, was just really crowded. Hey, red cooking. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, y'all don't wear Her, her shit, yeah, yeah. her shit was ugly. Yeah, yeah that, 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 that last thought was a mile or an hour from now. Now that <laughs> y'all won't wear junk. Yep, y'all was told right? all that military shit. Joe was in. Red was like, uh, I said, last thought's coming. But the free say talk about porn. That shit was good. We had to talk about the military. I'll never. But yeah, no, nah, she uh, her teeth was messed up. But no, nah, she just it, it added character. Though. It didn't really take away. But now well, she fixed her teeth, right? Like, she yeah, got a more universal now. look she now. Change her whole look, man. If you look at it from the, and she don't show her she her chest same, no more. Man. She, she still looks the same. No oh man, that shit. Looks, nah, she looked different. She switched she up. Way different, man. Yeah, she don't show her titties no more. But she looked. She looked. But Red's way different. How better or way different? Works. She don't look her original self. She looked. I guess she well, the, I guess the, the look that she wanted, she got it. Nah, I, she looked the same. That. I'm gonna say that the looks that she. She's wanted, dressed she like a, a low key hood rat. And low she ain't on no, she ain't on no Melanie King shit either. She on some, she still look good. She still look natural good. She was looking like Snagglepuss back then. Come on. Nah, <laughs> she was, her teeth wasn't. Her, I mean, I, I don't think her teeth really messed it. Her teeth. I mean, it, like I say, it added character. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brian, what you said, Brian? I didn't hear you. Brian, what you say? No, I, I said uh, Reg was falling asleep with all that. Talk. Last thoughts were coming until you you got this conversation started and woke him up. 
No, with the so, thing with Big Herc, it's deeper than that. I'm not even trying to go there with Big Herc, man. That's why. Uh, I'm, excuse I, me, I'm pulling with anything else. That shit weird. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I, I don't even want to say because I found that. Days, man. But somebody told me, man, <laughs> that shit weird. With Big Herc, I, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna keep it like that. Black, you know, gay porn shit, whatever that's, that category is. Believe me, somebody will be clipping it to by the night. Now, they talking I don't about think he, uh, the bad guys. <laughs> I don't think he did no gay porn. I don't know though, but now nah, he's not gay. Porn. I'm just saying, uh, a white dude's recording you and you're talking. That's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like that. Oh man! So I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, said, uh, I was just saying it wasn't really exposed because he, he talked about it, so it wasn't yeah. really like that. I'm, no, I'm saying I'm some, saying some Latinos try to expose them and shit, like you know, thinking it's new and shit. But well, they probably would, they probably hate you for real, for real. He yeah, probably yeah, fucking Mexican bitches. Yeah, Mexican. Yeah, he probably, probably fucking Mexican bitches in that shit. Yeah. Nah, yeah, but, but I think he's straight. He's straight. I don't. He ain't it. I don't think he gets. Nah, he married. He married to a white woman. Yeah, but he cool though. Oh <laughs> damn! <laughs> wow, like I said, you be in jail that long. I don't know how how long he was in in prison. I think he did like eight years, ten years. I think. See, like he like a thug, but he technically uh he technically not a poopy type nigga though. He like just a kind of a smart thug. Yeah, he does. Yeah, his shit. Yeah, his situation. You know, shit. I hate to say. Yeah, the nigga. He just had some bad kind of cards fell his way in his situation. He wasn't really like you know. He got he got caught. You know, sometimes you get caught up in the wrong shit. Oh, you said big hurt. Yeah, that's what I be saying. Oh, okay, I see he <laughs> oh, oh shit. He might redeem himself. But you know, he's in a whole different sector. He in that prison, jail, street sector. So he good. He not he's not in the yeah, manosphere. Yeah. So he, that sector is more lit than the manosphere, to tell you the truth. Them niggas is, is a it prison is jail funny. sector of the man, yeah, so many sectors. sectors. Yeah, there's so it's many sectors bad. in this shit, like the sports sector, the, the, the lawyer sector, like Hey, you have y'all seen um? Uh, have y'all seen no uh young Pharaoh on no jumper? Damn, I heard man. I saw somebody doing a review on it, a dude I follow, but I ain't really. He was I didn't really get to see it yet, but hey, that nigga poetic Flacco, he making uh he making no jumper super lit, nigga. That nigga yeah, poetic br- Flacco make jumpers. Yeah, he bring it I remember on, he got he spit on. on a lot of I remember he got spit on, man, by that sixteen. Yeah, shots he did. Dude. He got spit on by sixteen shots. Yeah, because what it is, he be holding niggas' feet to the fire. See the yeah. other niggas when niggas do they little you know they say something and then they just let it slide but that nigga be holding niggas feet to the fire. Yeah. I like Paul yeah, Flacco. They they kicked that 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 one lame ass black dude off there. What black dude? You know, it was another. It was a black dude who used to be on no jumper. He was he was goofy as fuck. Oh, you talking I mean, about um house phone? Right nah, nah, not house phone. Who uh, who they kick phone. off? I don't, know. I don't think it's cell black phone. phone. Cell phone, not a house phone. They kicked off cell phone. Stupid. <laughs> Music with these names, house. Yeah, house phone. House phone is like homies with one of my little homies. Mm. But hey, yeah, big game. You heard of some dude named Papa Pimp? I think called Pete Diddy. No, I haven't heard of him. Now he be uh he be recording t- trying to spit game at some females on some on some uh dating coach type shit, and the bitches ain't fucking with it. it. Yeah, said the bitches ain't fucking with him. Yeah, one of them once she told him, hey, I got <laughs> <laughs> and he's still trying to get at her, man. Somewhere down, somewhere down south, man. But that, that nigga funny. Your name is Fridge Handle. <laughs> All right, last thoughts, last thoughts, shit. Last thoughts, niggas. Second time, but this is last thoughts. No more porn. Uh huh. The red guy. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I'm out of here, man. I'll, uh, I'll get up with y'all. All right, young nigga. Peace out. All right, Luke. All right, Luke. That old Luke. man thousand and oh. Catch you on the third shift, Luke. <laughs> I, I know, be on too fucking late. I thought he was doing a video about the old niggas. Oh, he going to do it. Do a video about the old niggas. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, nah. So, Lou, if Lou, uh, somebody else will. <laughs> Trust me. 
You got plenty of people yeah. out here. Yeah, what's the green pill, Reg? What's the, what's the green pill? Is, that, is it about money? Because I'm about to get up. Okay, because I'm seeing these. Uh... Austin Holloman been talking about the green pill. He got the real green pill. What, going to other countries and tricking? What's this green pill? I don't know. I don't even know what. I don't even know what. They I, yeah, I seen him and I seen Anton Daniels. I did a video about it. So I'm guessing it's about. It's about What about, what about you trying to, what about you just, okay, what about like, man, you just, you just a money guy. You don't give a fuck about these bitches. You just want to get money back, paper. Okay. Okay. So, 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 let's say I'm, I'm hustling, man. Uh, okay, I like the green pill, man. I don't really give a fuck about that real pill shit anyway. Okay, and I got one more thing, man. What's up with these niggas? Got the, you see the picture with them with them teenage kids? But they buy, I guess they got white chicks. I think some buy. Oh, they got taking one of them white chicks to the prom. Yeah, what's up with the old niggas worrying about that shit, man? This is right. That was Bernard Roddy stream today. He had like what? A yeah, and I see BJS talk about what's up with the old niggas. Why do you give a fuck? What you thought was gonna show up, man? What's rapper gonna show up? I think he, did, he probably did a video. About he did a video too. on it. He did a video on it uh, yesterday. Yeah. That shit weird. You all niggas care about that yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. No, basically they just saying they were trying to warn these hoes. They were trying to warn these hoes and now, you know, the chick is coming home to roost. That's all. Yeah. Some of them look mixed. I could have sworn some of them look like black, light skin, white, white, almost white type shit. Nah, she just Italian. <laughs> yeah. it wasn't no fat. It wasn't no fat bras. Nope, it wasn't no young fat bras. I don't know why they do that shit because you know we put the fat bras and 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 men too. Yeah, the, what yeah, it is, yeah. they just want to discredit niggas because they they want to make it seem like uh you know they getting lesser than in the other nah, communities, but it is what. It, Yeah, up here, man, it, that shit's normal, man. Seeing brothers fucking white bitches, man. My uncle's fucking white bitches when they got here, man. Uh, it's just normal up here. Yeah, it's normal. It's normal everywhere on, yeah, in California. Coast, nah, yeah. No, other city, I don't know. Them niggas. Not nah, here. Yeah. Niggas happy as fuck, man. <laughs> like they were. No, you see, mostly dudes with like you know, sorry, yo, but Marias. You don't do they mess with Becky's up here like that? Yeah, cause they not trying to mess with y'all. That's no, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, you got a few, you got a few, you got a few, but nah. Nah, yeah, I'm sure it's a lot of. I'm sure you know, cause I, you know it is what it is. But yeah, they more integrated, like with the, uh, you know, with the, uh, with the quote unquote Dominicans, aka yeah. mulatto, mulatto Mexicans. Yeah, you go with that shit. They saying your mic is. Should no, they got them big time no, down no, here, no, please. This is an everyday no, event. No, they said two, yeah. Lou said it was two, two of them looked like they was mixed. They probably was. Mm -hmm. no, Everybody mixed to y'all niggas. Becky's is big time down here, though. <laughs> you would think not in the South, but uh, <laughs> shit. But well, that's because you know, that's that's really most of the demographic, though, too. Black people and white people, yeah, that's pretty much what you are, you know. And like I said, everybody else is Mexican. So it, you know, that's, okay, what the fuck? if you anything Latino, you Mexican, Puerto Rican. Oh no, you Mexican. Oh, exactly. Okay. <laughs> it's like yeah, what? California, shit. Yeah, they always say, oh, you Mexican, you Mexican. Yeah, they somebody. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm a Black Rican. Yeah. Oh no, but yeah, that, you Mexican. But y'all got, but y'all got people from Belize in California. They look black, but they, you know, they speak Spanish. Yeah, yeah, well, we got Belize, people from Belize and some people from Panama too. Yeah, we got pop I don't know where well, he was from Panama. Yeah, yeah. But Legion speak Spanish, a lot of them do. I mean, they can, but they, you know, even though it's yeah, English Yeah, speaking, some of them speak Spanish, yeah. <laughs> All the ones I know spoke Spanish. Yeah, because they're close to Guatemala, and they're, they're in between, the sandwich between Mexico and Guatemala. <laughs> so, you know, you're the only game in town. Man, you're loud as hell, Reg. Yeah, your mic was trash today, Reg. My mic is low, <laughs> No, it was <laughs> trash. <laughs> well, I, had to, I had to filter up. That's what it is. I don't know what it was. It was That's like minus. this wouldn't be a show without you and Brian. Man. I'm telling you, <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, just can't no. be like yo, Reggie. 
Real Red, oh, your is shit that was better now? Old. Your shit was trash, motherfucker. You trash. was good. <laughs> I'm all right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's better than it was, but it was it was like it had like a little back sound to it, and then it was um. Yes, it air was like loud. That's the air it was like ultra loud today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to. I didn't check it. I didn't check it. I usually check it, you know, before I go on and stuff, do a little little test. But I didn't do it this time, so uh, I'll fix that later. Mm. I don't have to worry about it going on, on, you know, um, stream labs. I mean, stream yards or Zoom. Mm-mm. It's all good. But as I said yesterday, we didn't really get to talk about it. Um, white folks really shut Abercrombie and Fish down, though. Showing that fat white girl. They said, uh-uh. Keep that shit with them Negroes. You're not teaching our young women to be obese. Fuck Get out. Shit. When did they do this? What Recently? happened? Yeah. What happened? Yeah, what happened? I was going to say, what happened? Yeah. I'm going to copy and fridge. Well, they, not they, a, they, what they do? What they put a, what, they had a video out? They had, a, a, a no, they had a, like a advertising, advertising out of big room, and they, and they, and they had a, a fat white woman. Okay. No, no okay. white folks said, uh-uh. Nope. Uh-uh. Take that. They, they took it down. down. They said, Take that shit down. You keep showing them fat black women. They don't care about their health. You're not. They said uh-huh. they ain't, they don't they don't want their young the young girls to see that image. Yeah, like that remember, image. That's good. I'm glad. Now that, now, that now the sister you do the same thing. They need to need to shut down Lizzo. That's the Abercrombie and Fitch, uh, the Abercrombie and Fitch crowd. You know that's that Orange County beach yeah. type motherfucker, Laguna Beach motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they all. Jog and shit they, like that, and yeah, they ain't all, promote yeah, no fat. Not, yeah, ass ain't over here. no fat motherfucker overweight rolling around in the sun. In the sand. I'm surprised because yeah, Abercrombie is normally normally um they real conscious about a lot of shit like that. Shit, they barely want to yeah. put any niggas on. Well, no, oh, yeah, remember they was racist. Yeah, oh yeah, you yeah, that's what they they put the, the uh, on. <laughs> I remember they had the um back in the day they had this shirt that said two wongs don't make a right it was like two, an asian dude on there like a stereotypical <laughs> japanese asian dude on there and they, right, was they up would get in trouble for shit like that they wouldn't yeah. let yeah. Some sister, some sister make, okay right mm-hmm. i better not say I nothing and they used to get me on me if i fight, fight, fight and they, my channel they used to be they used to get like all the black people that worked there used to complain they all they never could work the register <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shit, that's a, that's like some with no money. That's some bullshit. No, that sounds like some Italians would do that shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, you don't trust with no uh, You can work for what you make on it. You ain't touching the register. <laughs> shit, oh, that's some bullshit. Yeah, but uh, no. So yeah, hey, Abercrombie was known for that, and then um, some sister sued him. I know, cause um, I think cause she was too dark. <laughs> and they ain't like dark. Oh right. no, the too she, dark. she was too dark. Shit. Yeah, she was too damn dark. Yeah, they would they wouldn't let her on because she was too dark. See, because Abercrombie didn't have no fat. No, no you know, wasn't no fat bras on no damn Abercrombie. Um, you know, like or the Gap or Old Navy or any of that. You know, that kind of guy. But niggas still bought this shit after all that. Yeah, bullshit. they still bought it. Though. They still bought that goddamn mm-hmm. bullshit. They don't do it no more. They, I don't see no people wearing it. Yeah, now no, no Gap is with the um. Gap with the alternative, not alternative, but they with the, you know, the um, inclusive shit now, Gap and Old Navy. Yeah. That's what, when you be walking through, you always see like a mulatto chick or like a dark-skinned black chick on the, uh, on the, um, on the little, um, the, yeah. on the advertisements and shit. Right. On the little, yeah. Yeah, they, um, they turn, they, cause, um, they, I mean, come on, let's face facts. That's where the money at. And yeah, then the Lizzo types, and, shit, yeah. yeah. You know, you mean the little Lizzo types? I mean, they got what's it? Uh, what's the what the big girls go to? Um, Lane Bryant, Bryant, Bryant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lane Bryant. <laughs> you know, but nah, they can go to Fashion Nova and shit now though. They got they got a lot of plus size options for uh all all the stores, even like Forever Twenty One. All the stores no. got a lot of plus yeah, size. Oh, yeah, yeah, because all the women now, <laughs> if y'all haven't noticed. Because a all lot of them, of them are them, all yeah. getting overweight. All of them is overweight. Even the white women. With well, the, and, and those, this, those, those, those sizes go out real quick, the big sizes, not the small sizes. And this sizes. the thing, too. This is how crazy it is. We already have vanity sizing. America sizing and uh, like European sizing, that shit way different. Like, way, I mean, way I mean, different. Fashion Nova even did men's stuff. I was like, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, Fashion Nova do men's stuff. Yeah, they got men. They got the, the for the fat bras. They even, hey, Fashion Nova fully progressive. They be having fat dude models too. For real? So, yeah. Fat so, hey, I'm with, I'm with Fashion Nova on that one. Hey, I'm yeah, rocking. Hey, if they're going to do it all the way, I'm rocking that. with it. 
Reg, you can get on there. You better, you better do Fashion Nova, <laughs> Fashion Nova I'm, I'm Mature. Gonna my... they gonna have Fashion Nova <laughs> I got some weight, but I'm not like no goddamn big ass giant size belly, look like Fucking a bowling shit. ball and shit. But yeah, but, you know, but, but hey, no, I'm gonna yeah, lose I, weight. I'm gonna lose my weight by the end of this year, so I ain't worried about. See, that. if you go, if we gonna have diversity, I'm. If we gonna have diversity, it's gonna be all diverse. Like that, I'm with that. Like, okay, they got fat bitches, they got fat dudes too. I'm, I, I'm okay. I can't even say nothing about them, but. Everywhere else, you don't see no fat dudes. Mm. Nope. Yeah. You yeah, go to man. old. You go to old. You go to old navy. All the women clothes is big as hell, and all the men clothes getting smaller. <laughs> that's crazy. All the men are smaller now. All the men are small. The women getting bigger. That's I don't think that's true. Red. Dude, that's dude, the thing. Exactly though. Come that's on, an old man. Man. I think niggas just. Nah, but honestly dude, though, the on. clothes are kids. Kids are wearing bigger clothes. Gen Z, they wear bigger clothes than millennials. They like baggier stuff. Now it's a mix, though. Some of them wear baggy. Some of them wear more tight clothes. But no, as far as uh, G- uh, Gen Z, they more baggy than uh, tight. Yeah, you niggas was niggas was on that uh, that half a fag thing there. Skinny, skinny jeans. Nah, shit. we wasn't. Nah, yeah, we wasn't yeah, on no yeah, half a fag. We just on some. We was on some, some, some tight shit. Skinny jeans. It's not even like when you were wearing tight Levi's we and shit, even shit. the Walker shit. Oh, now, the one they did, y'all was y'all was y'all on some other shit. No, the one fashion we was on give it was the damn uh, uh what do you call them <laughs> give it to that shit. The what wait I say what'd you say? With them freaking bonnets or whatever the hell they call them? <laughs> they yeah, wearing, yeah, yeah, yeah. wearing bonnets. Come on, man. Y'all y'all doing that shit. Y'all generation, man. Nah, dude, if a dude shit. wear a bonnet, it's either for a joke or he wearing it in the house to keep his dreads. Like niggas not really wearing bonnets outside. Hey, man, why you always give him excuses, man? You know what it is. What do you mean giving them excuses? It's the this truth. Like, straight you wearing bonnets bonnet. out here. Come on, man. Men don't wear it's like bonnets. Like pajamas to Walmart, man. Come on. Yeah, pajamas. <laughs> niggas come walking out here, but I saw a couple niggas like that. Look what the fuck this nigga got a pajamas on, like a little kid. Well, that's just that's just being lazy. That's not necessarily a style. But now with the shit? chicks, <sighs> like with women, it is. But with dudes, he might just be being lazy. That's all. He he had to well, pick that up from his mama. Or his sisters, come I on, guess. man. But yeah, I, no, I don't see. I mean, if you got dreads and you want to keep your dreads from messing up, or you got, you know, some uh, some uh, twisties or something. It. I mean, if you wearing a bonnet in the house, that's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But as far as outside, there's something wrong with it. Yeah, a dude is supposed to wear no bonnet at all. Well, that's one of the best garments to keep your hair clean because the uh, no, to keep your hair. No, you um, do it like the pimps do. Put the rolls in. Not the hair, clean. You, know? you put the, put the roll. You know, because the bonnet thing, man, like I said, is one of them kind of trends where, nah, put a do rag, do rag, man. man no, but it, I mean, if you wear a do, no, I'm just saying, if you have a do rag, it's it still leave you the the ends of your um, braids out, which I still wear a do rag, whatever. But I'm just saying, it leave the ends of your braids out. Yeah. So some people might want to have to put them all the way in the bonnet, so it'll Dude, be. Man, but it just depends. That bonnet shit, it man. That's some bullshit, man. I don't know why y'all, why you don't see it. I, I didn't Ooh. say. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is, hey, the shit, the shit do look moist if you're wearing it outside. All I'm saying is, inside your house, it's okay. Like, no man, the young is different. Inside right? is no good, man. Yeah. Women are wearing them shits like crazy though. I mean, they, you know. Red, these young dudes are different. Red, big game, Poppy Parker's truck. It got to be Feng Shui or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Feng Shui. <What? laughs> That's why the young people are bugged out. He's a ginseng. <laughs> Hey, Brian is crazy. <laughs> you know, I'm right. See, no, nah, big game drama. This truck is going feng shui now. Yeah, got it. got it. Yeah, yeah, got a, got a face. Yeah, like, yo, got big a face game. Yeah. Their star, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so big game. Have you, have you stopped by Bucky's yet or what, man? Have you gone that way? Nah, nah. One day I'm gonna stop by though. <laughs> oh, they say yeah, I'm mad because I said rollers. No, I'm talking about the old school niggas, but they was like. It was gays that they wrote a pimp, you know, they had to they had to press their hair. Yeah, they had a perm. Yeah, they had a perm. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what they yeah, had. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's not that's not, you know, they wear that in it's the house. And once they took that shit, then they what, just say shit. What you but yeah, they had a uh they would they, they would tie the uh, the rag around it. They would have the yeah, rag. Yeah, they had a rag around what, it. Yeah. Reg, what do you what you used to put on your jerry curl, Reg? Gary you use Gary Curl the Jerry Curl No, come on when you go to bed. I, I didn't wear nothing. I didn't he used to wear the stocking cap. No, I didn't uh, do Red that. No, no, Red I just, I just laid on the pillow. The pillow was so. Red I just changed it. Uh, Reg, he talking about bonnets. He a shower cap. No, no, no I didn't wear bonnets. no shower cap or nothing on the first night. I wore a shower cap because of the because it was there. But after that, I just took it off, and then I had uh, had had, Red, had, had no, a change of sheets. I had to change the sheets. Change, change the pillowcase. 
That's it. Because that shit See, was, that was, was one, that was one bad hair trend. That was one bad hair trend that I'm glad it's gone. Yeah, I'm glad it's gone too. I'm glad that shit's gone too. <laughs> That's one hair trend. I'm just, there's certain things that should never ever come back. That's one of them. Right. Yeah. We all had Jericho oh, back glow. then, man. Most people had Jericho back then. Reg had the yeah. soul glow. Reg not Reggie so you stay so fro on this. He used to spray the stay so fro on there. Nah, I might as well like end up turning on scary, actually, that's scary curl. Why didn't turn on scary curl after a while? Because it's just dry out and shit. You know? so the scary curl. <laughs> and I was glad. Yeah, I'm you know glad what? when the flat top came. I was when I got the flat top. I said, yes. Yeah. High top fade. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was happy. The kid and play joint. Mm. Mm-hmm. And you had a gumby wrist? No, I didn't get a gummy. No, no, no. no, no. I didn't do that. Uh, asymmetrical freaking uh, haircut. No, I didn't do that. Yeah. Those shits took a, I took a long time to cut too. <laughs> Back in the day. Now Sean oh, James yeah. shit be fucked up. He needed he needed me to shape it. I used to shape Damn, mine. Damn, why you time. gotta bring him up? Because he because he had his but, but he didn't he, he let his shit just, just go. I used to know how to cut my hair. That's why I started cutting my hair. So I used to shape it up. All of my shit always be shaped up when I go to the club. You know, I wasn't fucking around. You know, so you know, you got to keep that shit in shape, man. You got to shit be going way out here to be all weeds, like weeds and shit. You know, yep. And some things I'm glad, like I said, they changed. <laughs> some trends need to do. Everybody had Jerry curl in L.A. All them niggas is bald now. I know that's what they did. Stupid. The, the Jerry curl did. Nah, did kind of mess Cube your hair got up. His hair. Ice Cube still but, got hair. Well, Ice Cube had, had actually head. good hair. He had a little better grade of hair. I'm gonna say better grade of hair. So what? That's yeah. a hair. That's yeah, a hair yeah. unit, man. That's a hair unit. Ice Cube got a hair <laughs> unit. <laughs> so, <laughs> Brian crazy. A hair no, unit. Ice Cube don't this, have no damn hair unit, dude. You might have. You never know, man. You know, it is. It is, it is I hate be having hair units now. But yeah, as you far as see uh, big game, will later get about 50, 45, 50. Nah, Jerry curls didn't mess you. Don't, don't make you bald. Jerry curl did not. Make well, it you does bald. something. It, just... it does something to your hair. It does. It does no, something. Didn't it make your hair grow. <laughs> didn't it make it? Didn't it do something? Made it, I think it made your hair grow. Up. No, it, it, it probably. It, it probably. It probably unshrunk it. it like it, you, you got less shrinkage, so it stretched it out, so it looked longer. Oh, okay, but I know nah, something. It wouldn't make it grow. Nah. Yeah, that's that why. Yeah, it. that's why nigga shit used to be dripping down to their shoulders. Yeah, you're right. It looked longer because it was uh, looser. That's why. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can make a tight <laughs> throat to a loose girl, I guess. Yeah. Uh-uh. I know too many people had that crap. <laughs> but yeah, that's true. They didn't have. They didn't rock Jerry Curls in New York. Oh, they had them. <laughs> they had them. My, my parents wasn't having that shit. <laughs> but they had. Yeah. We were too pro black. We were too pro black. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Was, yeah, him. but California man, it was that was it. We had, I can hear my mother now with that. You messing up my yeah. sheets, man. Eh? <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, uh, too. I remember the uh, like, yeah, some dudes, some dudes had the they had the S curl big game where they, they, they had to shave the sides, it'd be like a flat top. Well, they, they yeah, um, put the S curl in the S curl, and curl the top, yeah, yeah. Curl, yep. Yeah, that, but that, that was later. later. Well, came out later. I know as far as California, yeah, that was later for yeah, us. But yeah. maybe y- y'all was doing that already. Yeah, all the, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the that's, top. that's what it was. The perm the top. It's you, the top. You, you relax the top and shit. Because you know why niggas was doing that, right? Because the girls like dudes with curly like yeah, because they like the I'll be sure type niggas. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll be sure. Damn, I'll be sure. I'll be sure and freaking out. Uh, what's his name? Uh. The ball, uh, Williams, yeah, uh, Williams, yeah. Uh, Chris, yeah, Chris, yeah. yeah that was Mr. Uh, one album wonder. Yeah. Nah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah, they related. I think those are Ella Fitzgerald. I think her nephews or grandson or some shit. I don't. Yeah, I, I think, know they yeah, related. They both were related. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're related to. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, they're because both made um, the industry and shit, crazy. All one made it a little bit further than the other one did, though. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm one, sure had a longer career, yeah. better career. Yeah, his, yeah. Way I think career. Christopher Williams, I mean, he had the voice, but. Yeah, he could sing better than I Alvin. think he, he pissed somebody. Yeah, he, he sang a whole lot better than that. Yeah. I think he pissed him. He must have pissed somebody off. Because yeah. it's like, okay, you got the voice, you got the look, you got the whole thing going on. You know, they got the little loving and crooning and shit, bullshit. And it's like, you only got maybe one. Two albums, nobody never heard of you no more, and then you popped up on what? Love and hip hop or some shit? <laughs> you know, 20, 30 years later? Like, Damn. 
Yeah. You know, it's like, Damn. I mean, what happened, man? <laughs> I don't know. Man. You know, maybe she sleep with the right no, person. Maybe a lot behind the scenes shit. I think a lot of behind the scenes that you didn't even know about, like that, yeah. come out. Like, I'm sure if you look it up, like, because niggas used to be getting shell or like they have a problem with a producer or like the, the like the A and R or something. Like, it was a lot of yeah, like yeah, trying, low key trying behind to the scenes shit, shit that used that to happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing about it. A lot of it was that, you know, you didn't mess up, do the right thing with the right person with the right situation, and you wasn't down with that. Oh, yeah, that'd be your one and only album. Because <laughs> you got a, you, you got a lot of, you got a couple of them that are like that. From you think about back in the eighties, nineties, like damn, they should have blown the freak up. <laughs> it was like, nah, they got one album. <laughs> you know, that's it. You got like the Keisha Coles of the world that shouldn't have had no album, <laughs> but oh, she did. Keisha, God, Keisha <laughs> Cole was fire. You crazy? Well, she yeah, had that please. one album, and then it seemed like that. It, it kind of seemed to me that after that, fun. after that first album, it seemed like that was it. It's almost Wait, like, even, hey, that first, that first Keisha Cole album, that, that was shit about was it. fire, man. And I didn't, I never listened to that shit by choice, but I used to be, I used to hear that shit a lot, and that shit was fire. That's like Mary J. Blige. I mean, nobody, I had to listen to that by somebody, my wife. <laughs> anyway, I mean, I went to Mary J. Blige concert. I don't know if she dragged me to this. Sh- I'm like, oh man. I, I, like, I, never, I never liked her. I never thought she could sing. That's what I'm saying. saying. I mean, Mary J. Blige, just, wait, she's um, better in concert. Because we saw we were Madison Square Garden. <laughs> I, I ended up seeing her like twice. Madison Square Garden, and we ended up seeing her um, in Toronto. And I was like, man, I mean, she's not bad in person. But I was like, always kind of like, she got better as she got older, I think. Mary J. Blige. She got singing, she got singing, uh, singing classes and coaches. But the only yeah. thing that blew up, she she just was like, she ushered in the ratchet. Yeah, she was yeah. like a relatable hood chick. Yeah, that's what it was. She was a hood chick. She mm-hmm. appealed to the ratchets. And that's then they, that they they put her in combination with the right people, though, too, in the sense of, yeah. okay, her collaborations with people. I think, what, Red Man, Method Man? <laughs> I mean, she did well, something. Yeah, that Method Man song was fire. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. one. You know, you're okay, with Method Man, you got, you got, she did another one with, I mean, you know, she went across the other side with the Bono from YouTube, from YouTube yeah. or whatever. The oh, it is. Damn, well, that was later. That. that was later. Yeah, that was much later on. Yeah. And then she, you know, she went. Okay, who else? The freak Mary J. Blige was saying with a bunch of people. And she, you know, I think that's what kind of helped her out too. You know, she, you know the combinations of people that she went with. You know, she was around. She's a, she's a goddess to the ratchets. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. And they all. Every she started that blonde hair shit. So. Well, you, you remember that she got burnt too, dude. Um, she married. He he, he burnt the. He pretty much burnt her shit, in terms of uh, he he wanted what so many. He was about to get paid some stupid amount of money per month. Yeah, yeah. But he was. He took her to the cleaners, right. and uh, in her she got burned, and um, Jill Scott, another one. Crazy. With some nigga that Good. burned her ass. Okay, last thoughts, y'all. Last thoughts. Yeah, because we about to go sundown around here. <laughs> I've been with you uh, niggas too long now. <laughs> okay, it's good to see two peaceful days here on the uh, uh, Red <laughs> Bad Guy show. <laughs> um, you know, I, I mean, certain individuals, I know they're going to have something to say about it. I don't know if you've seen the video or not, but um, <laughs> it, it was rather kind of funny, though. But, uh, you know, uh, it was good to see that, though. And, and uh, you know, we had Serenity and we had big game up here and, and, and Brian and Lou and you know we can keep that going <laughs> and uh keep it peaceful. I guess your boy Gabe will come back sooner or later. Yeah. You know, I mean so we'll see what happens with that, man. You know, I, mean, I, I think we pretty much done and over with that. Hopefully that war will be over with. <laughs> and I don't know if you're still doing the trial or whatever, but uh you know, know. listen. No, I don't might I don't know. I'm just thinking because he they did some video today about me or some shit. I don't know what the fuck. Going on. For real? Yeah, was, oh yeah, that was that <laughs> shit was kind of. <laughs> no, I I happened to catch the weather the night. Oh, uh, uh, my man, old AC <laughs> popped up on him. Oh. <laughs> that was AC was like, nah, man. Uh-uh. So yeah, him and AC had have a little chit chat. <laughs> is it pay so bad? Uh, I don't mean now. Hmm? <sighs> what's what's that? Peso man got a video out. That's what Jalen said. I don't know. Oh, Peso. Oh, shit. Ain't that shit no mind. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was like, yeah, I don't even know who, you know, I, I kind of know who dude is, but I don't, I think y'all, y'all ran him out of here one time, so. <laughs> yeah, we ate that simp up. Yeah, y'all did. Oh, the All peso right, so, man? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you, yeah. you was there, you too. It was me, you, and AJ, the game. Yeah, we was up here, yeah, yeah. AJ was there too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we told him to come up here. He got the hell out of mm-hmm. Dodge with that simp talk. Yeah, he was trying to come up there and be cool, which rightfully so. I I, I kind of agree with him. If we are, if somebody's you know on a topic, I guess technically you should always come on a topic. But we didn't tell him to come up there to come on topic. We told him to come up there to come off topic. Mm-hmm. But last thought, he, y'all, last thought. All right, y'all. But no, I'm out of here though. But y'all, peace. We'll see you tomorrow, man. Peace, Joe. Right. Yeah, hey, 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 I was gonna say, Peso <laughs> man need to leave. Uh, don't like why mess with Jalen of all people. And then he got a video. Hey, Pace, I, one thing I give him, his titles are fucking hilarious. He got one title. It, he talking about Black Ram. They say, another dumb nigga from Chicago. <laughs> but that nigga, he, he's a clown, though. He don't need to be. Uh, and I like Black Ram, so that's no disrespect to Black Ram. But that title is funny. But uh, that nigga, he just need to chill. Like, why do he care so much? Like, And then, like, um... These niggas, this fake outrage is just so annoying. Amiri Brown was on today talking about, um, yeah, you guys just wanted to integrate so you can have sex with white women. Like, come on, man. Get that bullshit out of here. It, the same, the same sense. So he he going to make make sure his daughter marry a white guy. What a piece Exactly. Of shit. Like, it's so weird. Huh? Like, these people, like, like, no, he said um, if, if his daughter brought a, a black, like, Basically, his daughter brought a black guy home, and he's like, "I really don't like him." And then he said, "Would you feel the same way if uh, somebody said if you would you feel the same way for the white guy?" He pretty much said, "Nah, I wouldn't." I'm one of them channel. He said he wanted daughter. He said he wanted daughter to be with a white man. Oh damn! I didn't even know he he actually said that. But yeah, that was on. Uh, who trying to think that was on? Um, because on Bernard, uh, he didn't say that, but maybe somebody else. No, that was on uh, uh, a teapot. I think it was on teapot. Oh okay, yeah, he probably did say something like that on teapot. But yeah, like that's the thing. It's like, all right, bro. Like, it, it, like, come on, man. It's not like you. You're clearly pandering. We know you're lying. Like that's what I don't like. We know you're lying. Like you're you're telling you're blatantly lying, and then you know the broads are gonna latch on to it. So it's just disgusting like it shows a lack of integrity the same with the fd signifier nigga same with um aaron uh fountain like just a gross misrepresentation and they couch it with having decent points so it makes them uh, like like so you so dumb niggas yeah they got a point they got a point like not not all you know not everybody who say that is it but it's they just getting over on it's easier for for him and people like him to um to get some black dudes on their side because they still trying to make it seem like, yeah, I'm about black male empowerment, just a specific type and all that weird shit. Like, nah, man, we black male empowerment is a black man doing whatever he feels should be done. Even though to, and you really should be empowering your community, but not at the expense of, you know, you should have to sacrifice yourself, your whole self to fucking help out the community. Like, these hoes got to sacrifice something too. And that's what a lot of niggas get mad. Like a lot of niggas don't want to do like these hoes got to sacrifice too. It can't just be the dudes or it's not going to work. And you see it not working. You see the little niggas and, and what's fun. Cause you know, they'd be like, Oh, these are just the lame niggas. Nah, those the football players. Those the basketball players. Those the cool niggas. That's who's, that's who's with those white bitches in that picture. It's not, and it, you know, it might be some niggas, you know, cause all, it all overlap. They probably watch anime and shit, but, those are the those are the cool niggas who and they don't want no fucking well we can't say they don't want no black bras but they clearly chose to go with white bras now you know we don't know the full circumstances of the school it could be they the only niggas there but mm. at the end of the day we see what's going on man everybody see it if you want the black community to thrive you just we just gonna have to check these bitches it is what it is niggas gonna have to get these bitches in check it ain't no way around it mm. like y'all niggas can pussy foot yeah, white supremacy, which white supremacy is one of the biggest problems. But at the end of the day, if half if half of your 
cohort is the fucking third column for the white supremacists, then oh. nigga, it ain't shit you can do. But yeah, all right then, red, red shit. Uh, uh, no, got me off. you be taking too much time, big <laughs> All right, I'll be cutting mine short because Red be like, I gotta go. Do not, do not eat. All eat. right, Reg, it was a good one. It was. You always say you gotta eat, but you never eat. Well, the game always cut into my time now, so I guess we're gonna take over. <laughs> well, I ain't got, but I forgot what I had that what I had to tell you, though, but I forgot. Oh, oh, yeah, check this video out, Reg. I'm gonna put in the chat. Oh, it's your sure plane. It's your sure plane standing still. It wasn't even moving. It was standing still. It was like it's a glitch in the matrix. Watch that shit. All right, I'll check it out. All right, all right, y'all. I go. Reg gotta go, so I holla at y'all. All right, people. That's it for me. I'm out of here. That's it. Thank you for coming out. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the super chat. Hit the Tell somebody, somebody about the channel. Hit the like button. Double time. Now, tomorrow the next day, I don't know if I'll be on. You know, but I'll do some pre-recorded videos. You know, because I got some stuff I got to do tomorrow. First and the second. You know, first of the month. So, hey, support the channel. Support the channel. I appreciate everything you get.